Oh shit, is it working now? Link doesn't work, let me uh, put a new link. Get domination here. There you go. Turn this bad boy. There you go. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome guys, welcome to the stream everyone. Glad to have you all over here. It's uh, It's been a minute, hasn't it? But uh, yeah, we got domination. It's not out, Christian. It's not out. I got early access. I've been using it for a while now. So today I'm allowed to stream for you guys. I uh, We have embargoes and stuff. And today the embargo's over. So that means one day before the actual release, I'm allowed to stream it and uh, make videos and so on. So today I'll be streaming so I can show you guys everything. And um, tomorrow I'll have a video out. I'm thinking to release the estates guide out first. And then as I go, Ottomans after, Byzantines after um english and so on because i've i've pretty much covered all the major nations i got guides for all the nations just need to finish editing them and uh release them basically i changed the link on top yeah should be able should be working now russian space marines maybe maybe i tapped at the right time into youtube i guess yes you did sir prusky <laughs> You know your judo well? What's a judo? What are you going to be playing as right now? I am going to be playing as a Brundenberg, boys. Brundenberg, and we're going to make Brundenberg great again. Yo, Pedram, thank you for the 55 TRY. I actually don't know what that is, brother. Love you too, man. Thank you so much for the donation, man. Thank you for the super chat. Will you make an... Fan meeting in Timisoara? No, sir. Why would I make a fan meeting in Timisoara, brother? I don't. I don't live in Timisoara. Are you sure there will be no changes that will affect your videos made? There will. Be, there will be changes, Milan. I already know because because I recorded my videos pretty early on, so the version that I had back then is already changed from the one that I have now. But the videos still conveyed the right message. Small differences, not a big deal. No E4 music, we'll get some music once we get in the game. Alright, so first I'm just going to regularly tag in. I'm not going to Iron Man this because I want to switch around and show you guys um, what's new and so on, right? And then after we'll start a proper game essentially. Alright, we're going to start with uh, Brandenburg obviously because it's the best nation ever. If anybody says it's not the best nation, well, you're clearly wrong, sir. You're clearly wrong, bro. Oh, wow. They got different thingy for this okay what is that oh is that the dlc pack or something yogurt thank you for the 6.66 uh pound sir poland will crush you now nah, we're gonna fuck up the poles big time bro thank you man thank you what's going on 6k what timeline for forming pressure 135 um uh, depends as the two times you can still do it pretty early on as brandenburg you have to have admin tech 10 so it depends on that the provinces that you need to form pressure, you can get very easily. You can even get them in six years if you got a little bit of good RNG. But that's not a, the problem. The problem is you need admin tech 10. And you need to be a Protestant country. So that's what's going to keep you from forming it fast. HCFGA, no clue, bro. I recommend you don't do that, though, because you might get banned. We all know German Empire started in Transylvania. Maybe, maybe. Yo, thank you for the for the Czech Krona ran. Appreciate it, brother. Will there be a Novgorod video? There will be, yes, a Novgorod video. There will be. I plan on doing a Novgorod video. Plan on covering all the major nations. All right, what do you guys want me to show you first? What do you want me to show you first? Actually, do you want me to show you Brandenburg or do you want me to show you like one of the big nations like uh, the Ottomans and so on? I guess the Ottomans would be the most fitting, right? Because the Ottomans are just stupid fucking easy now. Like, it's it's not even funny, bro. You guys want to see something really cool? What's going on, Fadero? Welcome to the stream, man. You guys want to see something really cool? You want to see really, really s something very cool? Check this out, right? <laughs> so, you need to have 90% army force limit in order to get permanent claims on every Masriki and Anatolian provinces. So what we're going to obviously do is just go like this. Actually, no, we're not going to even get that first. We're going to get the Guns of Urban first. There is an event, once we on pause, that gives us Urban as a uh, Tier 2 advisor. So check it out. Boom, we got 25 power projection to that. And then next up is going to be Urban. Come on, Urban. He can spawn in the first month or a couple of months after. Yo, Yang, thank you for the two 
6.2 CA, sir. Much appreciate that, bro. Thank you very much, man. Oh, there you go. Uh, we got Urban. And check it out. Hire him. Let's get a loan first. Boom. Hire Urban. Where is he, man? Oh, this is the guy. There you go. One ducat for tier two uh, advisor. Absolutely amazing. We got four <laughs> iron cast, uh, large uh, bronze cast uh, mortars. We got mortars already. And then we're going to get this bad boy too. And get some Jenny series in here. And that means we got all those claims. And in order to get these claims as well, we need one more general. So we just go like this. And we got these claims as well. We got all the claims. All of Greece, all of Anatolia in the first month, dude. And cannons. So we literally just declare the war on these bad boys here in, in, on the 11th of December. It's so fucking dis disgusting. It's honestly disgusting. Like, legit disgusting. Yo, what's, what's going on, Romain? No freak out. No, I'm just illustrating. I'm not properly playing now. I'm just showing that, you know, it's ridiculously stupid broken. Barrage, assault. Well, I should have brought the whole army. The point is that you can take this shit and literally instantly, basically. Oh, man, it's so fucking broken. It's insane. And then one month later, you declare on the Karamanids. Oh, sorry, not the Karamanids, because you got the truce, the Chandari. And then you declare on Epirus and so on, and the Serbians. And then you do your Eyalets, and then you start getting Hungary as an Eyalet. You get the, the Mamluks as an Eyalet, and you can have the entire Mediterranean in 20 years. Big WTF moment, bro. Like, what the actual fuck? What's going on, Phoenix? Is this supposed to be broken at that age? Bro, it's just, it's really fucking broken. All right, let's go check um, what else should I show you guys. The French have a pretty fucking strong mission tree as well. Should stop saying the F word. I forgot I'm on YouTube. So yeah, you get a lot of juicy early on missions, man. Like so many juicy missions. The mission tree is really, really good. They changed how this works as well. Like um, these guys over here, they're not vassals anymore. They're appanages. So you have a few different things here you can do. They lose development and you gain development in the capital, but that increases their uh, liberty desire. And it's you get the scootage as well, like before, like the vassals and the divert trade embargo and so on. You can block settlement growth. And there's more stuff to this, but yeah, that means you start with the French strong duchies. And I guess the AI gave this one. I should probably reload 1444 to show it properly, shouldn't I? Yeah. When the admin that make a video about the new update used the curse word. Wait, really? Who, who used the curse word? No A with HRE. Yep, no aggressive expansion with the HRE is the most broken thing. How do you annex them? You need to have crown loans. It's not that difficult. All right, let's actually do a proper game. I want to do a proper game and I'll explain as we go along. But you guys decide. Type in chat what country you want me to play. I want to play Brandenburg, but I don't mind anything else really like England, Ottomans, Muscovy, France, any of the big boys essentially, right? The ones that got the revamp and stuff. All right, let's see what people say. Japan, England, Ottomans, Castile, France. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty... Uh, Pretty mixed. Holy shit. Oh, wow. You guys. Okay. All right. You know what? You know what? I'm going to I'm going to play as Brandenburg. Fuck it. I'm going to play as Brandenburg. The proper game is Brandenburg. All right. Let's see. Blun der Borg. Let's go. Cherokee. His and Kaifa. Aztecs. Jesus Christ, you guys are weird. All right, well, the uh, Brandenburgians have a fairly simple start, obviously. They didn't get too much of a revamp. The main things is uh, they got a few extra claims, a few more permanent stuff, a few different events. Uh, and, of course, the uh, new militarization mechanics for, for the Prussian nation are a little bit different. You're going to have to navigate your mission tree to improve the militarization mechanic. F? What, what if? What happened? Did the stream die? What the F? 
Yomakana with the five pounds. Holy shit, dude. I didn't even see it, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much, man. Trying to bribe me, are you? Because it might be working. <laughs> Saluto. Saluto is actually fairly good because uh, of the AE stuff, right? But no, we're going to do some Brandenburg. We're going to do a classic Ludi Brandenburg here. The classic Brandenburg. All right, let me know if you guys can hear the music. Did I just turn it off completely? Holy shit. Okay. I hope none of this stuff is copyrighted. Fingers crossed it's not. I don't have Sabaton, right? Because I don't want that shit. Because that shit's copyrighted. Let me just go through the music first quickly. You guys want to hear the new music pack for this patch? If you guys see the Sabaton thing, let me know also. What the fuck is this? I don't know what that is. Any Portugal runs? Uh, yes, yes. I, uh, I I did do um, Portugal. I did do a video on Portugal. I did literally a video on everything, man. Like, all the major nations I did a video on. What's your opinion on the best improvements on 135? There's a lot of them, man. I cannot say one thing is better than another. Because, honestly, there's so many things that uh, 1.35 have changed with the U4. It's just insane. It's like, it's made it a completely new game. The meta has changed completely for everything. Army, mechanics, uh... Estates, everything's so different now. Always turned off in-game music in any game. Me too, man. I don't usually keep it on. Which country did you enjoy playing most so far? I would say Castile was my favorite. Because I didn't expect the mission tree to be as fun as it was. Honestly, didn't expect it. The Ottomans were really good too. A little bit OP in my opinion though. Um, so I'll likely will have the Ottoman video out first after the Estates video. Let's see. Um, yeah. I'm a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I was hoping that Austria Venice would get a rework because they told us in the Dev Diaries that they would, but they didn't get a rework. So that's kind of sucks, but maybe in the future they will. Let's see. Thank you, Suleiman. I appreciate it, brother. Do you play multiplayer? Nope. No time for multiplayer, man. Plus it's toxic as fuck, bro. The EU4 multiplayer community is the most toxic fucking little five-year-old mentality people ever. Sadly. I mean, I'm not saying everyone's like that, but... The majority of them are so so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep away from the u4 multiplayer community for the time being you know what i mean all right let's do this boys let's do this all right i guess we can talk about the estates first of course guys always give out the plus one minor privilege for any country it's always going to be worth it and it's going to be easy to recover your um your mana point your uh, crown loans afterwards no matter how big or small your country is newmark Oh, no, the province is Newmark. Hell yeah. All right. I got that one. Now, I am going to need one stability. So I'm not going to get my, um, I'm not going to get my privileges just yet. But you guys have to remind me, okay? Please remind me to get the privileges for the, um, for the minus 15% uh, advisor cost reduction ones. There's a few new ones here. You guys probably saw these in my Castile video if you watched it. Like, for example, this one here, the religion, the rights of don donation can give you prestige per development for missionary and missionary maintenance cost. It's worth it when the Protestant Reformation triggers, right? Not before. Definitely not before. Um, institutionalized clergy, again, it offers you a special decision that gives you uh, papal influence, but it takes away prestige and legitimacy. It can be worth it if you want to have a lot of papal influence, of course. Um, will old saves work with the new patch? No, zero, no, not going to work. You got to finish your old saves. What changed for Prussia? Missions are a little bit different now and, um, the mechanics, the militarization is different as well. Clerical education is always going to be worth it. Just make sure you have above 30%, um, uh, clergy loyalty because it can offer you up to... 25 reform progress growth. They changed that recently. It was plus 20, wasn't it, before? I'm not sure. Was it 25? Mm. Yeah. If you go below 30, it can go up to minus 25, though. So there's that. So you want to make sure you have it above, right? 
We also can get the religious delegation decision if we want, but we don't need it. We don't care about the Pope too much, to be fair. This one's pretty good too. Local dev cost reduction in uh, provinces that have a temple or a cathedral, but that means that you cannot seize crownlands from uh, the clergy anymore. So give that at your own risk and give that whenever you're planning on developing in mass your country, essentially. Clerical inward uh, focus. It's pretty self-explanatory, let's face it. Gives a little bit extra unrest and monthly war exhaustion. It does cost five crownlands, so keep that in mind. Don't get fooled by that. And that's it with the clergy. Nobility, we're going to be giving out the uh, supremacy over the crown because we need the equilibrium, uh, loyalty equilibrium balance in there. And we're going to give out the uh, increased levies because we do have 21% manpower since we start with 42% man uh, nobility crownlands, which is a huge amount that we got. This is fairly decent if you're struggling in a war, for example. You get, um, you get defensiveness, garrison size, fort maintenance, and it applies to both forts and ramparts, so double whammy, right? Statesman allows you to recruit a diplomat. Meh, it's so so. I wouldn't necessarily give this unless I'm like really desperate or something. Prestige decay is also good as long as you keep your um your loyalty above 30% with the nobility. And a few more of these that we're not gonna go into right now because we don't need we don't need them for the time being. This one can give you a general with 40 tradition. I have to say, in my test so far in the early axis, this is pretty strong. Like, I tried to not use it too much because especially in their early game, you can get a really freaking good general with this particular interaction. So it gives you the decision, right? You can get that general, but I don't want to use it because it's a little bit unbalanced. All right, let's get the prestige from the patronage of the arts. And this is a fairly good one too for later in the uh, campaign when you want more global trade power. But if you don't have any uh, burger uh, crownlands, then you're not going to get anything from it except, except the extended trade range. So it's a little bit of a, you know, double-edged sword. You want to keep some uh, crownlands for the burgers if you're going to plan on giving this one out, essentially. And I think that's about it for the early bit. We might give this one too because it gives um, province trade power modifier plus 25 and merchant trade power plus 5. That is super powerful. So this is the new combination, right? Essentially, you probably guessed it. These three privileges. So you have the plus one mana privilege and you have the the clerical education with the uh, court positions and with the burger economic freedom. These three are always going to be given out at the start as any nation, really. Yeah, exactly, Speedy. Religious diplomat got nerfed. It got nerfed. It got a little bit nerfed, yeah. The... Uh, this one got nerfed as well. It's only 15% uh, advisor cost reduction instead of 25 now for the, um, for this particular privilege. Will everyone be able to participate in multiplayer about which you talked about when the DLC comes out? Uh, it's going to be for patrons and channel members. Piazzaco. He plays with Brandenburg. What's up, Ludic Chris? What's going on, bro? Brandenburg addict. Ludi in the house. What's going on, Popolvar? How are you doing, man? Periodix released an article today on Steam. All 1.34 runs will be bricked unusable when you update to 1.35. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. That is very, very correct. Alright, so... Oof. In order to get the, the first claims on uh, Volgast and Stetten, we just... We gotta pray to Orange Jesus to get this event sooner the better. Same for the Ansbach one. Show its strength again. We're gonna get that once we get those provinces. So... Until that happens, let's do the classic looty here. And um, and let's recruit our mercenaries. It's a free compano. Boom. Let's make our heir and our leader. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. That's pretty strong. And let's wait actually for the alliance sets to see what happens, right? We're also going to get our own alliance sets. Let's go. Boom. Shakaloki. And Austria doesn't want to ally us. That is a first. Why is that? Brandenburg Navy Strength, Army Strength, neutral, neutral Attitude. Okay, no problem. We can improve with you, boys. Um, can we get a Royal Marriage? Yeah, we can. That's going to secure our Diplo slot with them, so that's not going to be an issue then. All right. And we can also get an Alliance with the Saxons first. Boom. Have a nice stream. Thank you, Lucky. Thank you very much for the six, uh, six euros, sir. Really appreciate that, bro. Like 15 minutes. What do you mean? When Poland gameplay, we'll have a Poland video too. 
Can buy a subscription because I'm, Rus I'm Russian. Bro, just watching is more than enough for, for me, bro. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you for thinking about it. How long has Ludi been live for? A few minutes. We haven't. We literally just started. What's going on, Abdullah? How are you doing, man? I'm still be waiting for the legendary quote. Come on, uh, come on, these bad boys. <laughs> I like the Danes. Uh, is that an option? Oh, yeah, it is an option. They're not a uh, rival to the Austrians, so we can do that alliance. Sure. All right, what else we got here? We can get one more alliance. We can get an ally with... Did these guys get any alliances yet? No. Huh. Let me think about this for a sec. These guys are going to vote for me. I could get the Palatinat as an ally and they would vote for me too then. That means I would get an extra diplomat as consequence. So we can go for that. There you go. Two people voting for me. Boom. One extra diplomat. Improved relations bonus as well. New pressure color is nice. It is, man. I'm really enjoying it a lot, bro. I'm really, really enjoying it a lot. Okay, so we got our uh, rivals. We got Stetten. We got uh, Magdeburg. And we're going to be attacking these guys first in order to get that extra 100 uh, of each mana points that we need as the Brandenburgians. Because we start with pretty much poo-poo everything, really. All right. Mm, let's, let's save in case of anything happens, right? We did our starters. And let's go. 11th of December. Did I forget anything? I don't think I forgot anything, did I? Tell me if I did, boys. If you if you think of something that I forgot of, let me know. Okay, a few more days. Oh damn, no alliances. Awesome. Which one of the which one of the new achievements is uh, hyping you the most? None, bro. I don't usually go for achievements. Don't care about achievements. Um, okay, so they just allied Stetten. That means. Well, that's a very classic start, isn't it? They always freaking ally Stetten. How many trips does Stetten have? 4,000. Okay, let's get... I'm going to need 9,000 to siege this R9. Yeah, but I'm going to need uh, 5,000 to kill Stetten's army. So let's go like this. Boom, humiliation. Let's go first with this. And then we'll come back and we'll attack Stetten afterwards. Maybe they're going to attack us in Berlin so we can uh, cut them off there. I don't think they will, though. No, they likely won't. All right. Or marriage, sure. We can even ask for military access. It's gonna let us get over there. I right, probably should have sent the other unit. It's fine. Stability. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. There we go. That means we can give this out. Boom. Let me know if the music is too loud, by the way, guys. I appreciate it if you let me know if the music's too loud. We got that. Let's see. We need uh, we need thirteen ducats. We're gonna take one regular loan. Actually, the reinforcement speed is pr pretty much the best one out of those. Ottomans, hey baby. What about Ottomans? Audio is good. Balance, good. Glad to hear it. Can you listen to pre-order music bonus some uh, somewhat? Yes, I can. Of course. Um, that would be this this one. Is it? No, it's not this one. It's called Ottomans. There you go. This one. I actually like the the new music. I actually do like it. It it it, it sounds really nice. This is the music. It works for EU or her peanut. Yes, it does work. The key. Should work for every word. What's going on, Patrick? How you doing, bro? When you form Prussia out of the Teutonic Corps, is it the same Prussia as Brandenburg? It's a different one. Well, it depends because the Teutons have uh, three different uh, options they can go for, really. So quickly and take care of Stetten. Uh, all right, let's uh, also improve relations with the HRE electors in case we get elected. And with the Austrians, we need to improve as well. Love you too, Eagle Skater video. Thanks for the support, bro.
Oh man. I really gotta take that stupid four though. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, uh, you know what? In that case, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna call these guys in. Uh, I cannot because I got um, I got a. They would only join if I took land, so that I can promise them land, which I'm not gonna take, obviously. All right, let's go back here. Fuck it. If Stetten wants to siege me down, they can do that. And let's continue improving relations. So we're going to go for the show of strength, obviously. Hey, there you go, boys. We got the provinces from the Teutons. That was fairly good RNG right there. That means we got permanent claims on the, um, the uh, Pomeranian provinces. And, oh shit, mm. should have gotten this first, but it's fine. Yo, Grimgush, thank you for becoming a legionnaire, sir. Can we make a world conquest as Ottomans in this DLC? I suggest you to do it. So, so it's fairly easy to do that. Definitely can do that one, bro. Yeah, we, that's definitely easy to do. The Ottomans are so strong in this DLC. It's insane. It's actually insane how strong they are. Alright. Oh, actually, we can peace out Stetten now. We can peace out Stetten. So let's do that. Um, do the old switcheroo here for a sec. We can piece them out because we just got the, um, the provinces in Newmark. So we can bypass the fort. When is the DLC live? I think it's 24 hours from now or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Why is Tlemcen green? Why not, bro? What do you have against green Tlemcen, man? Green Tlemcen is life, bro. You didn't know that? It's life, man. Come on. Gotta embrace the greenness. Alright, so once these are sieged, we should be able to do a white piece with them. And let's bring this guy back from Trier. There you go, 52-52. Should balance out in a month. Or two. I found this on uh, Street of Kosige and Tlemcen in uh, Zemplin region. So here you go, hopefully Martias Corvinus will not have any issues that I'm sending it to Japan. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Martin. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you for the five euros, man. Really appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much, man. Humiliate Stetten. No, no, we're not going to humiliate them. Because um, that would imply I would have to wait for this. Mm, should I humiliate them? I don't know. Should I wait for that long? Because I would have to siege down that fort. That's going to take a while to siege that fort, man. Let's see how fast we get the Magdeburg Fort. Depends on how lucky we got RNG with the Magdeburg Fort, let's say. It's a level 9 fort. Sorry, level 3 fort. So we would need to have 9,000 units to siege it. So it would take a while. Oh. Too long of a truce. Also, yeah, the truce would be really long with them. I prefer a shorter truce as well. So I can attack him again. Oh, let's get back our relations improvement. Boomius. When I saw when I first when I saw it first, I thought that they added new countries. I don't think they added any new countries. I admire your self discipline in uh, night five, not five speeding everything. I like the three speeding man. If I'm if I'm five speeding, it means I'm rushing to finish a video faster. I'll be honest. I I normally play on three speed because I enjoy it more. I enjoy it because I get a better overview on the whole map and on everything that's happening basically when magdeburg fall then come to surrender yeah yeah they will unconditionally surrender they might even unconditionally surrender before i take the fort that's been known to happen as well what stuff do you get when uh, pre-ordering instead of uh regularly buying the game i have no idea merlin i have really no idea bro i play for through a microsoft store can i uh also support you through that platform 
Uh, Eastgate, I don't have any link for a Microsoft Store just yet, bro. But I, just the thought itself is enough for me, man. I appreciate it, bro. Just watching my videos is more than enough for me. Do you think they should add uh, core creation costs and CG ability advisors? That would be cool, but I know firsthand because I asked this question. There's going to be no new different advisors added until the game is... Until E5 is out, so it's not going to happen. Opinion on opinion on four speeders? No opinion. Is there a global time of release for 135 or does it depend on where you are? I think there should be a global time, right? Usually there's a global time. You get a extra sound, soundtrack if you pre-order. There you go. You got your uh, answer. Thank you for answering for us, bro. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, I'm going to need to change over to that area there. Oh, great. These guys allied Burgundy, bro. Bro moment. It's like the worst RNG when they ally Burgundy. That means I'm going to need to get claims. Okay, so we're going to get claims. We got really bad RNG. Holy shit. These guys allied. Oh, my All my neighbors are allied to strong nations. Um, how about Brunswick in that case? We can get a claim on Brunswick and mine one on Mecklenburg for whenever the Teutons collapse. Wish you prosperous continuation of your career. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the support, man. So excited to see, uh, to try this tonight at midnight. But my fear is I'll get XX1, XX2 patch and it's going to be, I'll be out of effort. That's usually 14 days out. No, man. The next patch is already being worked on. So don't worry about it. All right. Boom. Five years truce. And show of strength. Nice. We got 300 mana points. Absolutely amazing. Let's go. All right. Next up, we can attack Vor Vol Volgast and these guys. Hmm. Would Burgundy actually help them too much? That's the real question. How much would Burgundy help them? Five years truce. We can get Magdeburg then and these boys. Hmm. Now I really want this though. I really, really want this. Maybe I can call these guys in and pretend I'm going to give them something, but not give them anything really. Or maybe I can give them Gotland. That would work, I guess. Give him Gotland. For that matter, I could get a temporary alliance maybe with somebody on the border with the Burgundians. Get some uh, favors in and stuff. Hmm. Would take too long. Okay, we're going to YOLO this. Fuck it. We're going to YOLO this. And hope for the best. YOLO and hope for the best. Yo, Jeremy, thank you for becoming a Legionnaire, sir. Thank you for joining the, the membership on uh, the channel. Appreciate it, man. I wonder why Britain Britain doesn't get red coats as a special unit. They do get red coats as a special unit. Fifty PP. Oh, good point, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's uh, insult our rivals. Uh, Magdeburg, Stetten, Volgast. Let's go with these bad boys. Scorn for insult. Oh yeah, and one month we can we can attack them. Ludi, I I'm playing Hisenkai Fine E4. Any plans to make a guide for the Salatin achievement? So we have we suffer. Watch my uh, Hisenkai Fa guide. It literally is exactly the same in this patch. There's no difference, bro. Exactly the same. Watch my Hisenkai Fa guide. I already have one. Check it out. I'm late to the game. Yep, yep, they do have. All right. So let's yellow the shit. Uh, Volgast. Can I go belligerent anyone? All right, screw it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, wipe out their army. Boom. Arrivederci. Let's go over there. The big problem is going to be when the... Um, the Burgundians are going to arrive in our land. So we got to play that a little bit more defensively than we normally would. 
Do you have a, a have you made our double guide? I already have an our double guide. Nothing changed in that particular area. It's literally the same as it was before. So you can use the the video that I have from before. That actually is a guide compared to the videos I've been making recently, which are just me playing the game really. Yara for custom nation. Rado what? Lara. Tell me in English, happy. I'm I'm so confused. And thank you for the 10 lay, bro. Appreciate it, man. Can you play Anbin R more? I've gotten to love it more than vanilla E4. Yeah, well, for sure, bro. I, I love Anbin R as well. It's a really good mod. Really, really good mod. All right. Um, we're going to keep these boys here for a sec. So, who's in this now? We got Saxon Lemonberg. We can piece out separately. Gotland. We will struggle a little bit unless somebody does a naval invasion in there. And Volgast is not an issue. However, Burgundy is an issue. For sure. They are a massive issue. Lazy Turtle. What's up, man? Love you so much, bro. Love you too, man. Are there any changes to unit templates at various Miltex uh, levels since the video you made 22-ish years ago? There are changes, bro. I'm going to have an updated video for that. Don't worry. I'm going to have an updated video very soon for that. I've made like five mechanic videos. I've only edited one of them out so far, the Estates one. So, like, my main issue now is finishing the edits on all the videos that I have. Because I've, I've got a lot of footage. It's just a matter of editing out. That's a little bit tricky because I'm in the process of moving to a new place. So, um, it's like a lot of IRL stuff I'm doing as well. What is the most fun achievement in EU4? I really like Voltaire's Nightmare. It depends. Depends on what you have set as your goals, man. Everyone's different. Everyone enjoys the game differently. So whatever you feel like you enjoy the most. What's going on, Magros? Ludi, your work works. Your, Ludi, your link works also for Epic Games. It should work for both Epic and Steam, yeah. Why well, build Spy Network? So I can uh, get claims. All right. These guys are going to have no alliances. Maybe one of their neighbors is going to annex them then. Alrighty. Let's see. What are we going to have here now? The big problem is really just Burgundy. I mean, really just Burgundy. I don't think I can get anything to piece them out either. I have to actually fight them a little bit maybe. Um, let's allow our allies to attach to us and attach our own army to the main army. And also, let's um, try and win a few skirmishes, smaller skirmishes a few against them, I guess. That would be the main strategy, really. Oh, damn! They just stack wipe the entire army for the... Oh, no, I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm playing this defensively. Screw that, man. They literally just stack wipe the entire Danish expeditionary force there in the south. Hails to... No. Nope, 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 nope. At least we have the sea, right? The main issue is that they're probably going to target my lands more than anything else. Yeah. Okay, Potsdam Rebellion. Yeah, I'll wait. Maybe they're going to get to Potsdam and I'm going to trigger that. Oh, that's no bueno. Yeah, they stack wiped the entire freaking Danish army, didn't they? 8k left, that's it. Wow. Okay, let's push them a little bit. Try and get some of them small battles in. If we win some of these small battles, we can uh, we can win the war eventually. They're going to merge in there though. So let's go back in the south. What country do you think was impacted the most by the DLC? 100% uh, the Ottomans. The most by far. Burgundy update for 135? Yeah, we'll do one as well. We'll do one. Looking forward to replaying a bunch of old uh, favorites. I'd say the Ottomans, bro, first, and the French, second, English as well, have a lot of different paths now, so, yeah. What's going on, Martin? And Fitzanio, what's going on, bro? Try to get Emperor's ship so you get Burgundy. Yeah, I, I will try, maybe. Let's see. I mean, I got two people voting for me, three now. Oh, I actually have the majority, so if the Emperor of Austria dies, I'll become the Emperor. 
Oh, he doesn't even need to die. He just, nobody's voting for him. Okay. I mean, he does need to die. I mean, that's what I mean. He has to, he, he's got to die. We got to get rid of him. He's got to take, we got to take him out, boys. We got to take him out. We'll wait for them to push a little bit further away. All right, now let's do it. It's a little bit of a gamble. Ah, no, they, they, they came. Oh, you bastards. Nope, that's not good. It's no bueno, boys. Hmm. Man, what are the freaking chances of these bastards actually allying Burgundy? You know what I mean? All right, we're out of foreign. Fuck that. It's too early on. Restarting, boys. Attempt number two. How dare you take down the Austrian Emperor like that? Unlucky. Yeah, it happens. For my Spain video, I had like 12 runs. And that was the best out of 12 runs. So, it is what it is. Huge, hand, huge fan here from Denmark. Please stay allied to my country and not kill it. And I will let you uh, keep my wallet. You're the best. Thank you for the Corona, bro. Thank you, man. Can you show your new Moroccan idea? What do you mean new Moroccan ideas? What are you talking about, bro? What do you mean, man? Rage quit. How many times can you uh, guess that you out there for until you get a nice start? It depends. Sometimes I get a nice start first attempt. It really depends. Sometimes you can be really unlucky, so. It is the way of the game. All right, we're going to quickly speed run through everything because it's literally the same shit. I'm not going to explain anything here. Just I need you guys to remind me to um, give out the, um, the privilege. After we get one stability, of course. Uh, also, I probably didn't mention last time. It's extremely important not to take the five uh, loans at the start because if you have above four loans, whoa, okay, we got the exact same mission. Okay, if we got if you got more than uh, four loans, then um, you're not gonna get the uh, event uh, new mark. So then you basically cut yourself. Huh, we had a better leader last time. All right. We got the exact same run. Holy shit. Wow. This is literally the exact same RNG. So, you know, guys, whenever you load up a new game that you can... There's like a few different RNGs you can... No, it's not the same. These guys, we would have been able to ally. It's really, really similar to the previous one. Though. Okay. So, let's get um, mines in that case. There you go. And one more. Mine, Saxony, Austria. Um, I don't know. Who else do you think, guys? Holy fuck, I can get Poland. Bro, what? Yep. Uh, that just happened. Is this the new soundtrack for 1.35? No, this is the new one for 1.35. Um, no, not that one. Hold on. Ah, uh, this one. This one. Suleiman the Magnific, I think, was also one of them. This is the one, right, guys? Cor correct me if I'm wrong. I know it's only three tracks, so it's got to be this one. I feel like I forgot something. I don't know what. Did I forget something? Oh, of course, now they allied the Teutons, obviously. So I should always wait till the. Bro, are you fucking kidding me right now? Every. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, game. I see what's up. Well, attempt number three, boys. That's why you should always get uh, rivals at the end of the month, man. 
because it influences what alliances they get as well. Well, guys, always cucks me when I play Brandenburg. To be fair, though, man, like the best thing to do is start a restart until you get a good opening. Because if you have a shit opening, you're going to have a shit game completely. So it is what it is. Why don't you give out the cheap advisor um, after the first war from more crown loans? That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Is it me or YouTube compared to Twitch or do you sound really soft? Um, I might sound a little bit soft. I don't know. Is the save right? Yeah, it still is most. So nothing changed there. So how is AI Ming on 135? They explode often or stay strong? Um, they stay pretty strong in 135. Cannot complain about them. Well, in the sign we didn't get the same mission. Feels bad, man. Brandenburg Fort. No, Ukamark. We can get that one. Oh, shit, no! I'm an idiot. All right, sorry. No, Ludi, you restart for time. I make mistake, okay? Shut up. <laughs> I click too fast. It's not out yet, man. Going. It's going to be out in a day. Guten Tag, uh, Scrap Spoon. How you doing, bro? How you doing, Guilherme? The fifth time's a charm. This is a fourth time, bro. What do you mean, fifth time? Excuse me? It's not even fourth time. It's literally second time. We just fucked up the privilege twice, so... Shut up, okay? <laughs> What's going on, Beluga? They haven't fixed the random crashes yet. They will in EU5. There's no more out there for in EU5. So all those uh, speedrunners for World Conquest and shit can say bye-bye to that shit. Because they cannot out there for anymore. Feels bleat, man. Feels bleat, bro. My PC loads so slow that reloading isn't viable. Oh, I forgot to give increased levies last time. See? Told you guys I forgot something. I knew I forgot something. I just didn't know what. <laughs> I was aware. Just not too aware. Like a minimum amount of awareness, basically. Uh, everything here? Yep. Okay. Did they rival me? They did. Okay. No problemos. Oh, he was voting for me. Köln and Palatinat. Cool. And myself, of course. All right. So... Gonna get these rivals in a second. Let me think about my third ally. Oh shit, Poland! Hell yeah. They all, they rival to the uh, to the those guys. No. All right. Boom. Gonna use the poles until we don't need them, and then we're gonna split them up, carve them up. Curve them up, bro. We will curve them up. Yeah, we got better advisors this time as well. Oh, actually, this guy's better. And discipline, of course, of course. Yes, yes. Much discipline, much, of course. All right, let's wait a few days. Uh, let me um, save so I don't need to redo the same shit again. So, the reason I waited for a few days is because most countries are going to get their rivals by this point. And based on these particular rivals, 
they um if if i didn't rival them they there's a lower chance that they would rival me well some did but maybe you know never know anyway my point is that we got our rivals so well the main reason is oh, what am i doing I'm like, I'm like i'm sorry guys it's really late the main reason you don't get the rivals is because if you get them as rivals they will ally each other or they're gonna ally my rivals so you're gonna end up having to fight more nations that's what i was gonna say all right um these guys have no alliance. These guys have no alliance. Let's go. Magdeburg. Where the fuck is Magdeburg? I'm not seeing Magdeburg here. Shetten? Okay. Why is Magdeburg not there? I gotta wait for a month. That's a bug, by the way. That you have to wait for a month for that. Um. Lunenburg, I don't mind also then. I'll wait. Okay, for some reason it's still not showing. Fair enough. That sucks, man. These guys would have been the perfect fucking nation to attack. Literally the perfect one. Feels bad. Feels really bad. Lady Blind? What's up, man? How are you doing, Gregorian? Wait, was it there? Wait, hold up a second. Was it there, Gregorian? I didn't see Magdeburg. Bro. There was Mecklenburg. It was? Bro, no way. Magdeburg, it was there? How did I not see it, man? Bro. Feels bad. You're too strong, it's too strong for Magdeburg. Literally would have been the perfect... Uh, Opener. Feels bad. This is good though. They didn't get Burgundy or anything massive, so that's an easy war there. Hmm. I would have to go for these guys. Teutons are not as bad. I kind of don't feel like I want to fight the Teutons just for Lunaburg though. I'll alt F4 so I can get Magdeburg. Only because you guys said that there was Magdeburg and I just didn't see it. Yo, Empire. Thank you for becoming a legionnaire, man. Appreciate it, bro. Does Mecklen... Bro, now you're telling me after I alt F4 there was no Mac Magdeburg? Thank you. Who said that there was Magdeburg and I just didn't see it for real now? <laughs> now I feel trolled, man. What the fuck? We said it before too. Ah, well, that is what it is now. Magdeburg at home, <laughs> Mecklenburg. Bro. Okay, so we got everything, right? We just need to get the... Um, the this wait, wait wait can i get it now is it showing now it's not what the fuck man give me any, any european country to play for my first return game after four months i'm kind of indecisive at what i want to play right now play brandenburg bro brandenburg is always going to be very fun i highly recommend brandenburg always recommend brandenburg brandenburg is life man i'm telling you now Okay, I think I found a, an easy one to attack. Brunswick. Brunswick. And we're going to get Volgast because, you know. And as a third one. I'm going to go for Lunaburg still. Brandenburg is love. Exactly, man. Exactly. You know what's up. You know what's up. There you go. All right. And uh, what was I going to do with my diplomats? I forgot. 
I forgot, chat, what was I going to do? I was going to improve relations, I think, with the Austrians, right? So I got to do that in a little bit of time. And what else was I going to do? Get this, because that's my alliance. Hopefully these guys don't ally each other, because I rival them both now. Okay. So, boom. Goslar. Ooh. It's pointless, I mean. It's actually even even easier because this is a level one. Oh no, it's not. It's a level three fort. I was like, how is that a level one fort? Uh, apparently, it's because um, it's because they didn't maintain it. That was close. <laughs> um, military access, really no. Oh, I forgot to put my generals. Oh my fucking god, dude. I was wondering, man, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's put mines. Yo, Invictus, thank you for becoming a Centurion, brother. To improve with them a little bit more and we're improving with the austrians we're gonna get a spy network here to make this a little bit faster actually and this is not fully maintained so it only has well it's, it wasn't when we attacked it so it only has um 1200 garrison which means it's a little bit easier to take than it would otherwise be all right that's a pretty solid start these guys got a few shitty alliances so we should have an easy time taking them out all right, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a keeper. We're not going to restart anymore because this is a good one. Even the Burgundy one was okay, to be honest, but uh, I, I restarted because the likeliest thing would have been that I would have had to take a lot of loans to get Burgundy out of the war, so it would have been a waste of my time. Hmm, Poland, you say? Sure. Leader and heir as general. I th did say fifth times a charm for real, man. <laughs> What's going on, Napoleo? Can you check for me? A Slovak finally in Western Slavic. I don't think they changed that, man. Oh, they did. What? <laughs> Yo, they put Slovak finally in West Slav. I didn't even notice, man. Holy shit. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, that fucks up these guys now because they got like nobody in here. And still Ruthenian is... Uh, in fucking Maramuresh, which makes no sense. This was predominantly Romanian for ever. It, it would make more sense to make it Slovak or Hungarian than Ruthenian in 1444. But anyway, it is what it is. Yo, Ibrahim, thank you for becoming a legionnaire, man. What's up, Ki Kishant? Kishant? Shant of the key? Ludi is my favorite nods Levic EU4 YouTuber. Greetings from Poland. What's going on, bro? You didn't take the 1% uh, burger loans? No, I didn't. Of course not. If you take the burger loans before you get the new mark event, you don't get the new mark event. You need to have less than four loans. Triggered Ludi. Nah, I'm just chilling, man. I've played way too much EU4 at this point. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I I play Tarkov way more than I play E4. Like right now, I'm playing E4, but my mind's half here, half at the fact that I need to kill Rashala to get his stupid golden TT pistol. I swear, man, I've been hunting Rashala the whole day today, and I still I still g didn't get the freaking pistol. Like I've I've killed him four times today, not a single one. The stupid golden TT. It should be a guarantee that you get that freaking pistol. Those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, it's another game. Don't worry about it too much. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Yo, Quaka and GOG, thank you guys for becoming Legionnaires. Appreciate it, man. What the fuck? Oh, we got this. Nice. Hello. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We got to wait for one month. Get a garrison in there. There you go. Get fucked. I mean, wait. We're on YouTube. Don't get fucked. These guys have Goslar troops as well, right? Yeah. Uh, you reckon Goslar would accept a white piece without having to destroy their army? I don't think so, to be honest with you. 
can try though. I don't think so though. Did you inherit your heir or not? Not yet, because I need to get a few early wars and I need to uh, have the prestige for that. Because if you disinherit that, that like that, you can end up uh, losing wars because of the morale of armies difference from having lower prestige. Because remember, remember, prestige can give you or take uh, take uh, prestige. Morale of armies, take, pres take prestige. Will you do Tarkov content? I will. I probably will do a lot of it once the new wipe hits, though, to be honest. I plan on doing a lot of stuff when the new wipe hits. All right, we got the event. Beautiful. All right, that means we can do this as well now. Boom. Regards from uh, Istanbul. Keep up the great work. Thank you for the support, GOG. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the content. Thank you for watching, Sergey. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you guys for all the support. I want to watch this, but tomorrow exam. You do your stuff, brother. You don't need to stress if you don't, if you cannot stay here. It's all good. I don't want to force anyone to stay here. You know what would have sucked if the sale of uh, numerous created a truce? Yeah, don't give them ideas, man. Don't give them ideas, okay? They might implement shit like that. You never know. Brandenburg's weak as fuck as it is. Like... <sighs> How do you get early access? Um, it's only for very few special people, content creators. Become a content creator, I guess. I don't know. Show strength. Boom. We got it. 100 of each mana points. Nice. Now let's go and attack Volgast. All right, so, oh, we got to get the alliance with the Austrians too. Boom. Snuck a Loki. And we got to bring this guy back. We're going to use him to do other stuff. I'm going to struggle getting on the island of Rugen, but I don't need to, to be honest. Um, is anybody close to Köln, actually? Oh, these guys are close to Köln, and I could give them Aachen. Yeah, I definitely could do that. Hells to the, yeah. All right, let's go over here so we can prevent the uh, Volgast army from merging with the rest. One month, so we get full morale or close to it. And boom, Volgast, promised land. Sure, let's go. Oh, stab. I forgot to stab. I think I forgot something else, didn't I? Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Um, you guys come here. Wait, what? Did they actually just... Okay. Did their fleet just bugger off? No freaking way. Bro. Their fleet literally just let their... What? Okay. I'm, I'm not complaining. Alrighty. Sure. Big brain Volgast right there, boys. Big freaking brain Volgast. Um, I'm going to get a spine order over here just in case. I can maybe do a quick cheeky attack at some point. Get a claim on that. And same goes for these guys in Magdeburg. I should be able to get my claims on Magdeburg after I fully annex Volgast, though. Stability reminder. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Wait, what's going on? Guys, keep it only in English in chat. I appreciate it.
Do you have any tips on how to avoid devastation attrition in the late game? Devastating attrition in the late game. All my uh, late game wars have uh, me taking just as many casualties as the enemy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it depends how late game we're talking about here. But in general, what you want to do is um, you want to um, get the new privilege. So there's a tier five privilege here that um, lowers, it increases your supply limit by 20%. See, organized military staff gives 20% national supply limit, which is a huge freaking deal for mid to late game. And there's a couple of other modifiers. I think some ideas that help with that as well. And you can also use the um, build supply depot. So whenever you have your army station anywhere, you can build a supply depot to increase the su supply. What's going on, Kawaii toilet paper? What's the new Tarkov wipe? It's uh, it's basically with this game Tarkov wipes every f every few uh, months. New Tarkov wipe. I'm talking about the next time it's gonna wipe the game. So basically, it's um, going to delete everybody's progress. Everybody's reduced back to level zero. Good guy, Ludi, promising land with the intention of giving land. Of course, Zed. I always do, man. I always do. People get me wrong, bro. I always give out land. I promise. No, I do. I do. I swear. Peace out, Shaxa so Luneburg, quickly. You guys can handle that, right? Of course you can. Of course you can, boy. Of course you can. Ken Watanabe? No, not the right Ken. Liddy, what CM's new ideas? It got nerfed. No, it didn't. What are you talking about, bro? It didn't get nerfed. Hmm. Oop, sala. Hey, Ludi, what's the best new mission tree in the new DLC update? I really like the Ottoman one. I think it's really powerful. I also really like the Spanish one, which I think is super powerful because of the extra PUs that you get and stuff and the new mechanics and the English one. These are probably my first three. No general siege. Yeah, we didn't get luck. We didn't get any, peep, any pips uh, with the generals. We could give out this privilege here, though. Which uh, allows us to recruit a general with 40 tradition, which is almost a guarantee that we will get a siege pip in our general. Which is why I'm not getting it, because it's kind of powerful. You allied to Austria? Yes, I did, sir. Yes, I did. When you give back the wallet? Never, Ali. Never. It was never meant to be given back. Is there any change for Chandar? No, it's not, Abdullah. Sorry, man. Did the Austrian mission tree get updated? Actually, uh, no, the Austrians didn't get upgrade, updated. Chandar has its own little mission tree, and when you form Rome, you got some different shit as well. So, no, Chandar did get some update. They're a Baelic as well, which is a different type of reform. It You get core creation cost reduction, unjustified demands, governing capacity. It's pretty decent. It's not bad. It's uh, actually a, a little bit of a buff for Chandar, for all the Baelics. What's going on, Gampix? How you been, man? Why aren't you playing the best faction in Sweden? I like the Angevin Kingdom mission. Yo, me too, dude. I got a really cool Angevin uh, video coming soon. I haven't finished editing it, to be honest. But I've recorded it like two weeks ago. So, How to quickly colonize as Portugal and any pro tips for every nation. Um, use the age ability that the Portuguese have. 50% extra global settler increase. And uh, explore the world before you even get the conquest for the new world. With the explorer that the Portuguese start with. They have an explorer. You have to build a ship. A flagship as the Portuguese. And the Portuguese get the 100 extra colonial range. So you can explore the in most of the Atlantic from day one. Without exploration ideas. By just getting that um, that flagship. Content I've been looking for. When is the next double chaotic succession playlist? Let's see. I'll talk to Zlevic. Maybe uh maybe in one three five if he wants. 
I actually had a lot of fun with that one. That was a fun run. Blue Portugal be like. I like the new color, man. What are you guys talking about? I love the new color for Portugal. Blue Portugal is the best, seriously. By far the best, in my opinion. By far the best. Eh? Okay, we're gonna keep this here because we're gonna need to get we're gonna need to get a claim on Glogo as well. Glue, 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 glue. Oh man, we gotta siege him down. Force at least destroy the army. What do you know about Danish history? I know a little bit. My wallet disappeared right after I clicked on the stream. It happens. It happens, Kawhi. When I colonize one province, example, in Brazil, how do I spread it very quickly? Um, watch my colonization guide. I have like four of them. Watch any of them, really. I explained pretty much in detail everything, so. Oh, come on, Kjol. You're getting your ass kicked by Aachen, really? Stop making me want to buy the DLC and play. You should, Jeepo. How are you doing, bruh? How is Tarkov treating you, man? Alright, I'm going to get from these guys their soul. And I'm going to make them cancel alliances. Actually, I'll just make them cancel alliances. Uh, with a little bit of luck, we might be able to um, get rid of saxe lauenburg By having their neighbors kill them, essentially. Because they got no alliances, right? All right, who else is left? Gotland and Aachen. Gotland I cannot touch because I don't have a fleet. But I can touch Aachen, so let's go for those boys. We could definitely get a white piece with them. Gain a claim on Telia. What? Hell yeah, man. All right, cool. Um, I might change that guy in that case because I already got the claim that I wanted. Oh, these guys, their army is still alive. Shit, let's catch them. Gotta catch them all. Shimazu into Japan tomorrow? <laughs> maybe, Muppet, maybe. Ludi, is there any old E4 mechanic uh, that you'd like to come back? Nope, I like the new E4. When will you make a U4 1.35 video? I've already made the video. I just, uh, I, I will release it probably in a few days. Just like how there is an auto rebel suppress button. True, true, true. Show me on the puppet where you uh, touched... Uh, what? I like your videos. You really helped me get into you for I really like the structure of your videos. Thank you, Tian. Appreciate you watching them, man. Treat me good. Good. Uh, could easily enough have had if I had uh, wanted to chase it down. The last interchange patch was wild. Reminds me 2020 Tarkov. Um, hope you get uh, Rishala, homie. Appreciate it, man. I mean, I got him like five times so four times today, man. But the problem is I don't have the stupid golden TT, man. It's... It's extremely frustrating, not gonna lie. It's extremely frustrating, bro. Freaking golden TT. And yeah, I like the interchange uh, changes also with the new patch. They're pretty, pretty fun. It makes it actually semi-playable. Still not kind of playable, but semi-playable. Alright, now we're gonna have to wait for a few years. Because we got Gotland that we cannot touch. So, yeah, it is what it is. Poland's already too powerful. Needs nerf. Greetings from Brabant. Hey, what's going on, Kaikas? Let's World Conquest. The best thing about 135 update is the new update uh, for Ambinar. You typically play Tarkov alone. I could uh, never get it done uh, solo. I do play uh, solo, yeah. I actually got used to solo, man. I, I I struggled my first wipe with it, but... Honestly, it's, it's not as bad as you would imagine. Like, um... I actually prefer solo nowadays compared to playing with teams because when I hear somebody around me, it's easier for me to realize where they are and easier for me to kill them. Like, it's a lot better. Plus, I've played a lot of streets this wipe and that also played a massive effect into it because, like, I'm way better at PvP now because of the streets update. Like, I've, I've really been PvPing a lot more on streets. So I've, I've really gotten a lot better because of that. Solo is better in a lot of ways. With less comms mess, good teams are better. They're very rare to get that. Very true. I mean, teams are really powerful if you have a good team, of course. But if you don't have a good team, you can get effed up massively. So, Like, I wiped out a five-man team 
as a scav on interchange the other day so granted killa helped a little bit too but i i ended up taking all of their gear okay and killa's armor because they killed killa Liddy always plays the carry are you still going to gym i haven't been to the gym in a while kira haven't been in a while might uh, have to hop back on you make me get into EU before greetings from Mexico. Heberto, welcome to the stream, brother. I'm glad to hear that, man. Thank you for watching my vids, bro. Diving down. How you been, man? Long time, bro. Yeah, I haven't seen you around for a while. How you been? Are you going to go? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to. So I moved. I, I, I got a house um, a couple of months ago. And I'm going to be moving to the new place soon. And, um... Yeah, because of that, I will need I will need to I, I cancel my membership to the gym because I'm not going to go to the gym, you know. It is what it is. I don't have a gym there. So I'm just going to do my workout at home. Maybe a little bit of, you know, around the house stuff mainly. I don't know. So no gyms for the foreseeable future, essentially. Not for the foreseeable future. To improve with some boys. There you go. Nice. And get this claim. We can get this guy back after. Alrighty. And let's see what kind of claims we got. We got claims on everything we need. So next what we're going to do is we're going to improve with Thuringia. Because maybe just so maybe I'll be able to support their independence whenever they become disloyal, which is gonna happen. Ludi Byzantine 135 when? Soon, soon. I actually started working on a Byzantine video for 135. So remember the guys who went around the country his country putting up posters to get Ludi 100 k I maybe he is in chat now. Uh I don't know if he, he is. Jose, you in chat, man? Uh his channel's actually doing pretty good. He's doing Victoria 3 stuff in Spanish. I hope he keeps doing that because he's he's got it, he's got it on the right path. After watching all of the early videos from Domination Patch, I am more than ever sure that you are the superior for content creator. Well, I appreciate that, Oscar. I don't know what makes you think that, uh, but I think all you four creators bring something to the table. Everyone's different and unique, right? So, did uh, Byzantium get updated mission trees? Uh, no, they didn't get shit. Perfect gym. Morning routine. Stack wipes Ottomans. Uh, three development capital to thirty. Invade Poland. I noticed Brittany Province changed names. Do they have anything else for it? Um, not sure. I don't know, actually. Damn. Oh, man. These guys are going to destroy my prosperity. No, oh, that is what it is. Oh, got to use my diplomat. Let's improve with these guys. Nice. They are recruiting units, aren't they? Okay. Let's see what's up. They're locked on. Hell yeah. They got minus one for crossing, minus one for terrain, so they can go suck a pee pee. Stack wipe, bitch. Get fucked. All right. Boom. Actually, we can probably unsiege this. They're going to come at me again for sure. Where do you live, Ludi? I live in your uh, walls. I live in your apartment walls, Umudu. I didn't want to tell you like this, but now that you asked me, I have to come clean, bro. I have to come clean. Any recommendations on one true faith, uh, one culture? The separatists are killing me. Get humanist if you're killing, if you got issues with separatists. Get separatists, uh, you get humanist ideas, it helps you with separatists. And um, there's a lot of uh, reforms now in 135 that help with separatists as well. Oh yeah, Brandenburg also has the special Margaret, which is pretty decent. Better nothing, I guess. Schnappt and Stack and Weipend. Yeah, yeah. I plan on making one history video like the Battle of Orna one. I'm already working on that, Oscar. I'm already working on a history video for the Battle of Orna. 
because we got the light goal some i started work on that but it takes a while because i i actually need to do my research right i'm, I'm i need to um, check all the it's not easy to get references about that particular battle you know it's not many sources we have like most of the stuff that we have available is books based on previous books based on previous books right not actually um it's hard to get anything before 1990 for example you know what i mean so i'm trying my best to get as much as i can but yeah as soon as that's out i'll uh, i'll let you guys know I'm going to put some teasers on my Patreon and uh, for channel members as well. Have you presented already the new idea sets? Uh, no. You guys want me to talk a little bit about the new idea sets and show them and everything? Alright. Alright. So, um, we got three new idea sets here. We got mercenary ideas, court ideas, and infrastructure. Infrastructure is basically the playing toll idea set, right? So, infrastructure has got construction card... Construction time reduction, expand administration minus a hundred percent, boys. Um, oh shit, let me just quickly take care of Ansbach. Let's go, and I think we can annex these guys. Yes, boom. Um, that's everything, right? Yeah, okay. That means we can do the show of strength mission now. Boom! And the Pomeranian succession. Hell yeah. That means look at this. Hallelujah. 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 Ha ha ha. doo Alright. Oh god, that's bad. Oof. Sucks doing that, but it's gotta be done. Um Yeah, I forgot what was I saying, guys? I completely forgot to be honest. Actually, these guys are better off as my first vassal. Let's go vassal 19.7. That's fine. Let's go in the south. Talking about that, will Orites be even easier in 135 with Ming being weaker? Yes, Orites is going to be a lot easier in 135. The new idea sets... Oh, shit. Yeah, sorry, guys. Um, I got to attention spam of a hummingbird in the words of jack sparrow right so uh yeah we got monthly global prosperity growth 0 0.25 and state maintenance minus 33 that is huge because you have to consider state maintenance can get pretty expensive and early game you know as as much as i you know you, you want to save up every single ducat that you can right in the early bit of the campaign construction cost minus 10 is huge and you get construction time minus 25 later down the line. You get expand infrastructure minus 25% is pretty good too, especially if you play toll. Uh, movement speed is really good too. Uh, governing cost reduction, fort maintenance. For example, as the Spanish with their holy orders, they get minus 50% um, from the holy order. And you get another minus 25 from uh, the infrastructure ideas. You can get another minus, what was it, 25 more from the reform desire, reform progress, the national reforms. The government reforms so you can get basically i i think it stops at 90 percent. i might be wrong so yeah let's say 90 percent cheaper forts which is instead of one ducat you pay 0 0.1 ducats as the spanish for example which is super fucking strong right and then you get dev cost reduction minus 10 once you finish infrastructure ideas most of their policies are really really good as well i mean like um you have to think about it like this, right? You're going to be uh, mixing this in with other ideas groups that you're going to be going for, like aristocratic, like maybe court ideas or indigenous if you're in the new world, quantity or something like that. And look at this, for example, with offensive ideas, you get artillery level available versus fort plus two. You also get movement speed plus five. With the aristocratic at the bottom, you get governing capacity mo modifier plus 10%. Again, really freaking good. Court ideas is so-so, probably not my, I, I don't think I would ever go for court unless I'm role-playing, to be honest with you. Um, the power projection from insults can be okay. The estate equilibrium, of course, can be okay as well. And uh, another one is estate loyalty change on privilege revoke plus 5%, so that's a good thing. Prestige plus one doesn't matter because there's so many ways of getting prestige right now and the game is just always going to be at 100% already without even having this. Reform progress growth is the best one here in my opinion. Uh, max privilege per state plus one again is really good, but 
it's good in the early game more than afterwards, of course. And uh, the um, reduced max absolutism impact from uh, privileges minus 20% is really good too. If you want to keep privileges and have huge absolutism. Splendor plus 2 is good. But like I said, this is role play right here. It's good to take early on. Not so much later down the line. It's good for countries like uh, Ming, for example. Like countries like Ming, it's really, really good. It helps a lot. And yeah, Diplo skill plus 1 for Monarch as well and stuff. Mercenary ideas are decent. Mercenary cost minus 25%. Military advisor cost minus 25 as well. Mercenary maintenance minus 25. Military tech. War taxes cost. Mercenary leader uh, army tradition modifier. Infantry combat ability for the whole army is pretty good too. And then allow mercenaries to drill and mercenary manpower pool as well as discipline. But here's the kicker, right? Unless you take mercenary ideas as your first idea, it's not worth it. Because mercenaries are freaking expensive in E4 right now. Like after Military Tech 7, mercenaries start getting more expensive than regular troops. So by Military Tech 10, which is like, what, 1520s, 1530s, mercenaries are not going to be used at all. So it's pointless having mercenary ideas in 1520. So you're not going to take mercenary ideas unless you take it first. So why would you take mercenary ideas first just to use mercenaries for the first 50 years and then this is fucking useless? No point. But yeah, it is a roleplay idea, let's say. How long are you going to stream? I, um, I'm going to still be here for a while, Schmitty. Burgundy plus mercenary ideas win? Maybe, maybe. I mean, for roleplay, yes, it can be good for roleplaying. And for certain nations that already have some uh, mercenary stuff in them. Um... Like for Switzerland, for example, right? Which has some mercenary stuff. is not bad. But yeah, it's debatable. Whether I'd probably... I'd probably not use it. Alright. Took out their army. That means we should be able to get the white piece now. Yep. Hallelujah. Ho -ho. Hallelujah, bro. Hello. Okay, so we're making them our vassal. We're going to be making them castle some rivals so we get extra prestige. And Booyah Shnoki. All right, cool. Got our first first vassal then. And let's get Teutons as a rival as well as the Saxons. Next up, we're going to be doing our second vassal. Which is likely going to be these guys here. But I want to attack the Teutons because I want to get my province. Oh my fucking god. Everybody wants to help me. What? 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 In the butt. What? Wait, what? All right. So we're going to attack the Teutons now. And in the Teutonic War, I'm also going to vassalize uh, Lunaburg. Yeah, I think that's the play. Yeah, that's definitely the play. 100% the play. What's my A like? Let's see. It is roughly at 27, 40 something with some nations around. Mm. Maybe I should wait for a little while, I guess. Yeah, I guess I can wait for a few years. Not not a bad idea. All right, we can improve relations with nations in the meanwhile whilst we wait. All right, improve with you, improve with you. Finished improving with you. Let's get with, um, with you. And it sucks doing this, but I feel like I'm going to cancel one of my uh, alliances. Hmm. Oh, I got this mission. I completely forgot about this mission, man. Holy shit. Yeah, let's get Papal States uh, in, uh, relations going. Yeah, we can do that first. All right. We can lower this. So we can recover our economy a little bit. And we have any 4%ers? We do have a couple. There you go. Get rid of the 4%ers. Getting one ducat. Not bad. Our, our army is maintained. All right. So now we can speed it up a little bit. No waiting, pew pew. Looty chillin'. No conquer everything. Why waiting? Isn't that a looty video? Imagine losing. Because I'm streaming, man. If I wasn't streaming, I would probably be a little bit more try hard. Because I'd get bored otherwise, so. Um, so how's domination so far? I like it, man. I like it. It's not bad. Um, 
they've put a lot of heart and soul in domination like they've they've really they've listened to the creator feedback massively and they fixed a lot of stuff and they've implemented a lot of things that we asked so they've done a really good job with the with the new dlc honestly in the patch you don't improve relations with trade what do you mean when will you do a croatia video i think i already had a croatia video didn't i came from chewy stream chewy streaming oh uh can you describe the overall plan form pressure dismantling league hre i don't know man i'm just chilling to be honest with you um we could definitely if we wanted to we could um we could dismantle the hre yeah i don't mind dismantling actually so if we are to dismantle we can start doing that by 1460 so let's see how many electors we can ally So these guys are okay. Oh shit. Bohemia has a problem. Maybe Austria is going to go for the Bohemian PU. Let's see. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. It really shouldn't be too bad. I'm not going to dismantle though. I'm just going to chill. Play it out. I was thinking of actually trying a little bit of playing toll with the new infrastructure ideas as Prussia. Because in my video, I didn't go for infrastructure ideas. I want to test it out. Almost about to get that. One more month. Let's go. Hey, now we can seize lands. Boom. We went up to 17%. Hell yeah. You have a Croatia video seven months ago? There you go. That's your Croatia video, bro. Denmark opinion of us. Okay. Sure, we can do that. All right. Let's put some of the new music from the new DLC, shall we? Where is it? Ottomans, Ottomans, Ottomans. Ottomans. Oh, let's put redrawing the map. I don't think we've uh, we've put that one yet. All right. We got new new provinces beautiful all right now we can also lower the autonomy so we actually get the economy from there i think i forgot to do it in new mark also before then i yeah shit man fucking discord notifications they're so annoying what's going on ironhide what's going on ear nor erendil want to form pressure we will yeah is economy going to be uh worth it post nerfs I'm a little bit torn on the economic bit, to be honest with you, man. Besides Paradox, would you recommend any other grand strategy publishers? I don't really know any other grand strategy publishers, to be honest, bro. Oh, we could get these as allies. But they're already allied to the, um, to the Teutons, so no point. Oh, dude, really? Okay, Sternberg. Okay, no. Don't tell me they're going to win. For real, bro. Okay, we won. We got better dice rolls. The game of the dice roll, boys. The game of the dice roll. You do the dice, you the roll. Hey, hey. All right. Um, I'm going to need a spy network in these guys but at the same time I, i'm not i'm gonna continue to improve relations because i need to have good relations for when i take all that land i'm gonna take a big chunk of land from them we can we can lower this for now for game studios you have furaxis and amplitude studios amplitude's doing pretty good with uh humankind to be fair 
Have you ever been to Germany before you, when you're playing uh, Brandenburg? I've, I've been to Germany many times, yeah. Have the buffs for the Prussian militarization changed if uh, you play as a republic or a theocracy? No, it's the same. Uh, how can you beat France and Iberia, Italy until 1590 with Ottomans with domination DLC? It is too much AE. No, it's not. Um, also, AE is not really important when you do a run like that. Especially if you know how to manage it, to be fair. Will playing near Ulm be riskier after the DLC? What? No. It's going to give me 15 nobility loyalty. That's good. Okay, that's really good, actually. We're going to get the second um, second bonus. We're curving pretty fast as well, considering that we're, you know, Brandenburg. So, it is what it is. And let me check my E. It is 42, 41, 17. Okay, not bad. There you go. We got the second one. Land maintenance minus 10%. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so in that case, I think we're... Fairly ready to go to war. Yeah, let's maintain our troops. Mm. Oh god, this stupid event. Is it better than uh, the Lions of the North? It depends. It's got... Uh, I mean, I, I like this one more than Lions of the North because Lions of the, Mor of the North focused on the northern bits of Europe. But it also had a lot of good stuff. Autumn is again losing. Okay, interesting. Um, but this one focuses on the major nations that everybody plays, which is why I kind of like it more. Because like I play as Castile, I play as Aragon, I play as France way more than I play as Sweden, right? What's your new opinion of the best E4 DLC so far? Um, I think all of them work in tandem, bro. I cannot say I have a best DLC that I like the most or anything. What's going on, Dennis? First time catching you live, Ludi. Love your videos. Your style is very entertaining. Well, welcome to the stream, Domel. And thank you for, for watching the videos, man. Appreciate it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? A 304, man. Oh no, what happened to Friedrich? Anybody seen him? Nope, he did. He real did. Okay. Let's go. Luneburg, Stetten. Oh! Oh, oh, I see what's up. Poland would join. Oh, huh, okay. So I could get Poland in if I, um, if I cobbledrate Luneburg. Huh. How's the Dane situation here? Oh my god, 100% liberty desire for the Swedes. Yep, they're going to be independent. <laughs> they're going to definitely be independent. Wait, why do they not want my... Uh... What the fuck? They got friendly attitude to the Swedes, but they got 100% liberty desire. What the F? That doesn't make sense. That's strange. That's really strange. How do you, how did Brandenburg get buffed? They they got the revamp for their missions and a few other things. Uh, militarization is um is changed a little bit too. Can you explain why Ludi in all of the videos but not Historia? <laughs> Would be good for Poland to have a truce. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm going to attack him. That's not an issue. Um, I want to get Luneburg cobalt though. So I'm going to call in the Poles. Because I want to um, vassalize Luneburg. Let's go. Probably not going to take anything from the Teutons right now. Um, number of loans, prestige. Okay.
Could I piece these guys out if after I take um, their capital? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. I like to get a white piece with Stetten. Close. 53. Okay, very close. Alright, let's uh, improve relations still. Let's go. Berg. Dortmund. More like Dorkmund. <laughs> no, not with you guys, because I'm going to attack these bits here. Oh, I should have attacked East Frisia. That would have been an easy vassal, actually. Better than Lunenburg. Ah, eh, it's too late now. Alright, let's see. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Boy. Freaking World War 7 over here. With, uh... With just a couple of provinces, man. Like, come on. Alright. Make him a vassal. Is the whole world gonna get angry? Nobody cares. Awesome. Just the way I like it. Let's go. Uh, these guys. I would love to take these two provinces, at least. Yeah, I could, actually. But then I have to choose between this and Lunaburg. Huh. I could even do this and cut the poles completely, but they already started taking control of the sieges, so I doubt that they're going to give that to me. Look at this. Damn, this song is popping, boys. Let's go to the conquest of Constantinople, though. It's not popping enough. It's not popping us. We need the popping and the pooping and the pop -boop 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 -boop. Shut up, okay? Take both. Ludi, the Scottish standing Romanian who lives in Japan and plays as Brandenburg. That is the most accurate depiction of me ever. I agree. I fully agree. Yes. The answer is yes. Seriously, Kjoln, you actually stopped sieging them once you were about to take the freaking fort. Oh my god, the AI is giving me brain cancer sometimes, I swear. This is why I play Tarkov, bro. Like, that game is chill, man. Fuck my life, bro. This game sometimes is just... Ugh. For real. Hey, you deserve to get fucked now. Most competent BDX, <laughs> bro. Bro. You mean least, right? Come on. The song makes me feel like I'm in Turkey. I like it. I like feeling like I'm in Turkey. Come on, man. Give me knowledge sharing. Austria, be a homie, bro. Give me, give me, give me, give me knowledge sharing, Austria. I love you. Give it to me. Give me! God damn it! I said give me! Have you been- how have you ever been? Where? To Turkey? I've been to Istanbul. I've been with my wife. Erdogan approves. Will you post uh, some of Tarkov content? Yes, I will, I will, I will. Once the new wipes- new wipes here, I'm gonna post Tarkov stuff. Fall to kill. Fall, 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 fall. Hey, Palatinat's doing the, the thing. Come on! Oh, no, no, no. Not like that. Not like that. Shit, they're gonna take Ermland as well, bro. No, no, they're not, they're not. Oh, yeah. oh screw you. you taking Marienburg. You suck, Lithuania. You suck. I mean, thank you, dear ally, for helping me. <laughs> How old are you? I'm uh, a thousand years old. Boom! Destroyed with facts and logic, okay? Um, uh, Do I take Magdeburg?
They would hate my guts, but even though they would hate my guts, it would be a lot faster for me to integrate Magdeburg afterwards. I don't mind spending a little bit of my admin for that. Fuck it, I'm taking it. It's my Magdeburg, boys. My Magdeburg. Always has been. Oh, did they just move away from the siege? Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> what are we gonna do here? We're gonna go for a white piece, or are we gonna take anything from them? You know what? Maybe I will go full balls on this one because I'm not gonna take Stetten anytime soon. They're extra aggressive expansion, and I don't need that shit for now. I don't need it anyway. Fuck it. Let's go. Need a general here. Oh, yeah. And I gotta keep an eye out here as well. Make sure I don't get stacked right by um, the Danish army. Repay. Extend. Oh, dude, are you kidding me right now? Bro. Oh, no, they're coming with reinforcements. All right, back up. We're going to come back there. Um, improve relations. Where are we at now? We are at... Oh, the Bavarians. I forgot about them. And we will also... Call in Austria? Hell no, we don't need it. Oh, man, it sucks doing this, bro. But it's going to be uh, automatically one stability if I don't take this. Yeah, I gotta do it. I hate that event. Really freaking... Oh! They gave me Königsberg! You didn't see nothing, okay? You didn't see nothing. <laughs> oh! I hate this game sometimes. Oh, uh, bro. 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 <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you stupid. <laughs> Come on. Oh, boy. Okay, on the bright side, though, it can only go up from here, okay? That's the bright side. It can only go up, boys. Oh, my God! <laughs> Chattius Maximus. <laughs> Fuck it, boys. Hot damn. <laughs> Hot damn, yes, please. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> see, in the videos, you only see that part. And then you're thinking, Yo, Ludi, I always get shit airs. But you only get good ones. Because I fucking delete that footage, okay? I delete all the bad ones. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch the bad ones, okay? People want to watch the good stuff. <laughs> I'm not saying that. That's literally psycho psychology 101 for YouTube, by the way. All right. Prestige. Hills. Yes, please. We need the prestige. Name him Kemal Kilakdar. What the hell is a Kilakdar? Leonardo, what are you doing, man? I'm good, bro. How are you doing, man? 
How are you? Oh, no, 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 no. This is no bueno because I don't think I can reach there in time with this army. So they're going to attack me. I got to pull out. And I know what you're thinking, but you, they have to siege down Osterod first. Bro, this is AI. No fucking way they're going to be restricted by the fort. <laughs> That's not going to happen. No way, bro. Ain't no way. All right. They can bypass 100%. Yes. Not used to pulling out Ludi. After playing E4, I firmly believe they had a window for the heirs to fall out of when bad. <laughs> what happened to the old way of schooling your kids? Back in my day, if the kid mis misbehaved, we would have just thrown him out the window. <laughs> Least psycho 90s parents, I swear. <laughs> Ford moment. Oh, yeah. Big time. Fortius Maximus. The link isn't work. Guys, is the link working for you or is it uh, not working? Let me paste it into chat. Is this link working, guys? Let me know. Can you show the missions? Shows mission is the same missions. They just uh, restructured some of the stuff. They've uh, redone some of the rewards, some of the events, and so on. So, for example, here um, you get governing capacity plus ten percent in Berlin once you do German Federation, which you didn't get before, right? All right. Um, I would like for you to become my vassal. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Come again. Um, I don't mind taking that fight to them. I don't need to take that fight there, though, to be fair. Do I want to lose the mad power? I don't care about it. No, you know what? We're just going to go here and siege this if we can. That's it. These guys seem to be fairly... Leaning towards peace, considering their country is mostly fucked. 132.539. Fuck yeah. It's exactly the amount of ducats that I wanted from them. The exact, exact amount of ducats I wanted from them, in fact. The right amount of ducats. Not a ducat le less. Rebels and Rugen. What do you think is the beautifulest not famous city? Galat is the most beautiful city in the world. <laughs> totally. Totally, guys. Trust me. Paula got the siege. Yeah, I know. Maybe they're going to maybe they're going to give it to me, you never know. They gave me Königsberg, which is a little bit of a surprise to be fair. Um Oh, dude, do I take this? I know it's a little bit of extra mana points, but I get the extra innovativeness. We already have a 2% cheaper mana points, so, you know. Alright, uh, what are we going to do? Impervious Maximus, Relationus. There you go. Boom. Not gonna improve the northwestern bits too much because I'm probably gonna attack him very soon, so pointless. Who else is in this? The Danes, Lunaberg, and that's it. Wait! What? <gasps> hallelujah! 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 <laughs> yeah, boy! Sweet don't! Sweden seizing the moment. They attacked the Danes whilst the Danes were at war with me. Hell yeah, Sweden big brain right there, boys. I don't speak German, Blower. I wish I, I could, bro. Hello. No, I'm okay. No, I'm a 
from Simon, I think. No, I'll find Bevan, don't worry. What could I do? Do I have to put. Okay. Let me turn the camera off. Guys, just delay for a moment. I need to give eye drop for my baby. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. It's Holy okay, shit. it's okay, it's okay. You need that. I cannot go like that. That's right, that's right. It got in a little bit. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. What is that? Oh. the dragon. Okay, good. Holy shit. Oh wow. Okay, that's so painful. You need that because you keep sweating. Oof. Oh my god, it's burning. Oh god, it's burning. Oh, I'm dying. It's okay, I can continue screaming. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> so dramatic. I'm not being dramatic, it's painful. Oh, this you sucks. Are. No, I'm not. Oh, I shit. <laughs> Thank you. There must be one in the next one. He disappeared. Show Ludi. Whew. Ooh. Show Ludi. No, after, because I'm in pain now. I'm weird as fuck. Holy shit, this is so painful. Oh, I cannot keep my eyes open. Maybe it's so painful. Holy shit. Stop being so dramatic. I'm not being dramatic. Oh, God. I'm only getting two prestige. Fuck my life. Alright. We got our second vassal, which means that uh, we can give out. <sighs> You tell me what we give out, chat. Come on. Tell me what kind of privilege we're giving out now. Holy fuck. We need to give this out, actually. <laughs> Bro, what? Oh, man. I don't have the influence to get rid of that. Oh, I could if I got the prestige, actually. Oh, giving out strong duchies, but we got to get that privilege as well. So we're going to get rid of supremacy over the crown after. Holy shit, bro. Do you speak Japanese? I speak a little bit. It's Impervious Maximus. Oh, they're a vassal? No way. Of Lanchet. Oh, Lanchet, you dirty dogs. You've been vassalizing everybody around. You cannot get your hands on Munchen, though, because they're allied to the Austrians, so. Y'all going done it now, boy. Your camera's off. Shit, is it? Is the camera off, boy? It's not off anymore, is it? Is it? There you go. We can give one more privilege for the nobility after we get this bad boy here. Advisor cost as well. Monthly fla flavor, favor growth modifier. Mm. Or we could go for the nobles electorate. Diplo, mana, admin, and military plus one. But we need to have aristocratic ideas. I feel like this is worth it. What do you what do you think, chat? What do you think, chat? No stability, loss, and monarch death. Nobility, loyalty, equilibrium as well. Fuck yeah. Increases the skills of candidates of the uh, rural election. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe just go for the regular manpower plus 10 or something. I don't know. We'll decide when we get there. Okay, let's focus on this now. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. What's going on, Belkin? How you doing, bro? Did he say something funny? Cookie. Chad never thinks. Thinking illegal. Is not it for regents only? What? No. Oh, no, you're right. This gives the... Yeah, it's only for the regents. You're right. My bad. Yeah, you're right. Didn't even read the fucking tooltip. <laughs> Negative max ups autism new meta. I mean, absolutism is only worth it if you're going to go for uh, World Conquest, though, bud. So, unless you're doing a World Conquest, it's pointless. Losing the Hoa. So, learns prosperous, preposterous. We can't do that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. I kind of don't want to lose the Hoa. Hoa. learns. What's going on, Kevin? 135 debut. For sure, man. For sure. Too many eye drops. Bro, it's so painful. It's like actually burning my eyes. What's going on, Sorin? <laughs> Messi, bro. Messi. Did the Byzantium get any flavor? Fuck all. Zero flavor. No flavor whatsoever. No flavor whatsoever. Ah! <laughs> Should I just take Born home for the memes? Nah, I'm not gonna take it. Fuck that. Don't need that shit. Should I just take this so I can get a foothold into Scotland, bro? I'm, I'm trolling. No, I'm not going to take it, man. I'm not going to take it. I don't need it, man. Okay, stop it, chat. Stop trying to make me take it. We'll just take some of their money. That's it. <laughs> Colonial Brandenburg. I mean, it's an option, right? It's definitely up there. We could potentially do that if we wanted to. Oh. <sighs> What do you think, guys? Should we take um, these provinces here? We would have to be at peace for a while after if we do. Let's check our expansion after if we don't, though. So if we don't, we could um, expand it to Anhalt. We got that claim now. We could do that. And. Yeah. We could also expand it to Brunswick. The truce is about to finish. Mecklenburg 2. Would be fairly easy to do. Yeah, I'd say Mecklenburg and Brunswick would be fairly easy to do. Let's get a claim on Mecklenburg for that matter. Oh my god, dude. I can I want the innovativeness. I know it's super freaking good to get this shit. But prestige again, man. Gotta do it. It's gotta be done. It's got to be done, boys. It's got to be done. Okay? Don't judge me. And we could attack these guys as well. Make sh Verdun. They got 1,000, 2,000 units, bro. Come on. What's my A here? It's actually quite low. The point is that if I do take this, it's going to really help me so much. Like, it's going to boost me up a lot, you know? What I was thinking is... Um, to not take anything, give this four to the Poles and attack them again in the next one and vassalize them in the next war. 20%, 27, 39, 40, 50, 50%. And they got 117. Yeah, so I definitely could, um, I could vassalize them in the next war if I give these four to the Poles. And these are not vital for the, for me. I could vassalize them and feed back these cores after. From the Poles. I could even transfer this to Poland. And I'm pretty sure Poland would take it. Look. They're taking everything they can. 
they would definitely take that as well. That would be the proper play. Don't be greedy. Take it so Poland doesn't maybe. Take just uh, sure Oldenburg will be outrageous for Poland. Hmm. Which religion should you go as Prussia? Um, it depends. Protestants, the main one, to be fair. But Reform's seen a little bit of a revamp in this patch, so I don't know. Hmm. You think this would be too greedy? You think the Poles would cancel with me if I take all of this? Uh, should I just take these two provinces then? Yeah, I guess I could just take this for now. And leave him be and attack him later down the line, I guess. That's one option. Hmm. Danzig and Königsberg. Can't you vassalize two taunts? No, it's 117 uh, uh, war score. So I cannot. Could also humiliate them. Get some extra PP. War reps. Maybe I can take Memel for future expansion in the Livonian lands if I wanted to, you know? Yeah, screw it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think I think like that's the best option. Let's go. Let's go. Boys. Z -z 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 -z. Go go let's. Hey, hey. Alright, awesome. Ba -da -da. One month, then we can do that one as well. Hey, Ferdinand's the new emperor. Fuck you, Ferdinand. I mean, yay. Congratulations. Totally not salty about that, bro. Totally not. <laughs> Livonians, you say? Sure. We've always hated the Livonians deep down inside. Might as well, right? Don't mind if I do. Do, do. Don't mind. Boom. Oh, actually, you guys attached to me. And you're going to divert. You trade Magdeburg. Whether you like it or not, boy. All right. Uh, just for the sake of it, shall we go for this, boys, then? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Ministerial promotion. What do you think, chat? Just for the sake of it, for a little bit of a diversity. Fuck it. We'll do it. There you go. So we can have up to eight privileges as the nobility if we get the um the what was it court ideas? All right, here you go. Hell yeah, boys! Look at this. Court creation cost minus ten percent. It's gonna give more bonuses later. All right, so we got that going for us, and we're at nineteen percent. We could do this and then this. Boom. So we're at 14%, but we got 200 ducats. So we can pay off all of our loans. And if we decide to take loans again, there's 79 rather than 39 ducats, which is a big difference. Alrighty. And also, we can cancel. Oh, it's already. Ah, eh, fuck it. I'm not in the mood to min max. Could have uh, canceled that and uh, reset because uh, the privilege we just took means it's 10% cheaper. So yeah, we would have gained some admin points. That's fine. Sweden's gonna absolutely raffle stomp everybody in the north for sure. They always do, man. Whoa! Whoa! Patsangato, what's up with this? Freaking tell you? Hungry? Really hungry? What the hell, man? What the hell, bro? Oh, Austria would join in on this buffet here. Hell yeah, boys. Let's do it. Hungry is chili. 
rip infinite privileges. Oh, what do you mean, man? That's the that's good to have infinite privileges. What are you talking about? New engine ideas are like 20% core creation cost reduction. Admin ideas plus privilege equals 50%. Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, hell yeah, Austria. I love you, boys. Thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Much love, Austria. Much love. You are the blessed. All right, lower that bad boy. And let's check our expansion now whilst we wait. I feel like the best option is to just take uh, Silesia though. Yeah, 100%. Silesia is definitely the play here. Because the moment we take Silesia, this is really good land. It's going to pro propagate us massively. Uh, same goes for the Teutonic lands, the rest of this stuff, right? We didn't really get massively good RNG with this. Realistically speaking, I would have let the po the Poles attack the Teut the Teutons. They can take eight uh, most of the provinces. They let the Teutons keep like one or two provinces, and then I attack myself and I take that one or two provinces they have left and I vassalize them. I vassalize them, so I basically get no aggressive expansion for this whole region because I just feed them back the course. That's what I normally do in that particular area, but it's fine. We'll just mold ourselves on whatever RNG we get. That it's what I always like doing, so. Um, let's see what's going on here. This is like a fairly easy war here. We can get one more ally as well. Uh, what are we going to get then? Van Mar Alliance. Denmark. England, Scotland rivals. They're losing against the Swedes, though. Do I really want them as an ally? Maybe I'll just get an HRE ally. Yeah. Yeah, I think an HRE ally is the best option. Let's go ahead and get these guys. Oh, we have annulled treaties with the uh, with Köln. Right, the Danes annulled us the treaty with these guys. Okay, no problem. Let's get Hesse. Fuck it. Hessians it is. Yeah, what's going on, uh, guys? Welcome to the stream. Lydia got big PP. Yes, sir. 100%. You're getting so much AE because negative prestige. I know, bro. I know. That's what I'm I'm trying to increase my prestige. We got a lot of bad events. We had to disinherit air three times. So we got 150 prestige minus because of that. If you guys are just joining in and you have any questions about whatever, just scroll back on the... Um, on the VOD. You can do that, you know. Actually, I'm just going to get the burger loans. There you go. Pay that 4%. Or, oh, no. Alrighty. And we're going to use the extra money to... Actually, I want to get the workshops done. Maybe Marketplace, too. In Berlin. Prignitz is actually pretty good too for a fort because it's a forest, right? And it also protects most of this area here. But right now we do have this, so I guess I'll just keep it like this. I don't need to do the other one. We can do it in uh, Berlin though. There you go. Alrighty. Do you want to get the Emperor ship? Not necessarily, no. Mission tree. What about the mission tree? Do you know something about Warhammer 40k lore? Um, I know some things. Not too much. I'm not a big Warhammer 40k lore master or whatever you call it. Who's your favorite Roman? You are, Philip. You're my favorite Roman. Guys, don't spam, please. Rose having a seizure. Yeah, it looked like it. Alrighty.
What is that song? Let's go with this one. No, let's go with Suleiman. Yellow pressure? Hell no, man. Come on. Where are you staying in Japan? Wherever I find chairs usually, man. It depends. If I don't have a chair, then I'll stay on a couch as well. That works. I'm not picky, you know. I'm, I'm easy going. Is that economic ideas worth it after the infrastructure ideas? Uh, if you're going to be going for a plain toll uh, game, I'd recommend um, infrastructure rather than uh, economic. All right, we got a free bird done. Hell yeah. There you go. Not bad. Almost nobody in a coalition. Yeah, the prestige is really cucking us massively, though, to be fair. I want to reset this. I don't have the loyalty for it, though. That's what kind of bugs me. One innovativeness. Of course. Of course. On the bright side, though, we got 22 innovativeness, which is super good. It means that every single mana interaction is 2.2% uh, cheaper now. So we got Sweden, Bohemia, and the um Wait, what? Huh. I'm thinking if I should attack them or humiliate them. What do you think, guys? Should we humiliate and then wait for the A to go down, or should we attack? Bohemia and take provinces. I do have pretty high E to be fair, so I don't mind just doing a regular humiliation war. And, um, because I, I can call in the Austrians, so it should be fairly easy as well, right? And that way I get 300 mana points from that humiliation war, too. Humiliate? Yeah, I feel like that's the best option, personally. You know, Poland and Austria in that. Hells yeah, man. Hells yeah. Alright, screw it. We need the humiliation because we need the prestige to be fair as well. Uh, land shit trend. Yeah, screw it. Whatever. Let's go. Whoa, did they just build a fort in uh, z z whatever Laositz this is? Nieder Laositz? Ober Laositz? I don't know. I think they did, didn't they, guys? I think they did. This is de this definitely was not there before. Uh, let's uh, siege down Goslar. At least we got to take out the small guys, right? Venice is getting its ass kicked. It's getting attacked by Milan before it was attacked by the Ottomans. They are not having an easy game, are they? Alright, let's give orders to the Poles to siege down this area. Come on, Poland. Do it. Do the thing, Poland. Do it. Please don't siege this shit as well whilst I'm sieging it. Brunswick in a coalition doesn't surprise me. Only 54 aggressive expansion and you guys are already in a coalition. Really? Really, guys? Um, probably should attack these guys as well. Before they join a coalition. I was going to attack these guys, actually. Because they're allied to Saxony and um, I could uh, could have gotten a nice truce with them. But too late now. Let's improve relations with the ones that are not in a coalition. So we prevent them from joining. Hey, 7% on that one. That's pretty good. Must weaken everything. True, true, true. Get back some money, some more reps. Do trade dispute. Do you assure mana points with your allies for sure strength? No, you don't.
Like the New England England flag a lot? Yeah, I like it as well, man. It's pretty good. It's a question if you know the answer. I get 1.35 GP buffs and stuff, but will the AI do its mission tree as it is do specific stuff? Uh, Gampix, the AI uh, does uh, behave pretty well so far from what I've noticed. I've had a lot of runs in 1.35 already and I haven't seen any issues. Like the GPs are definitely the strongest by the 1600s. Always. Unless the player intervenes and destroys those GPs before that, of course. I mean, there's also the random games in which GPs get screwed, but it's not as often. Most of the times, they perform pretty well. Sorry for spamming. No worries, Serbu. You You're good, bro. It happens to the best of us. I spam also sometimes. I'm actually screwing myself because I'm not piecing out Verdun. We're getting 0 0.01 from Cold for Peace. I guess we're going to have to give them what they want. What is this fucking song? That shit. All right, we got a new vassal. We went from hardcore rock to boring as fuck, so let's change. Well, I think uh, when you can drink, I mean, true. Brian, I remember gameplay. Just turn up to a new vassal. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. All right, come back. And Trent, Naples, Lanchet, Ingolstadt, okay. We're getting, we got some people sieging down Lanchet as it is. Naples is gonna be an issue to get to though. This is a good diversion, this war to be fair. Cause it's gonna take a while, the war itself. And um, the end result is we waited for a bit for the AE to go down, and we gained 100 of each mana points. So, it's a win-win in my book. Ooh, Austria might peace out, actually. Oh, no, they still have high ent enthusiasm. Okay. Fair enough. Will there be any discount on the previous DLCs? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. There was supposed... I mean, I was expecting there to be a big discount on Humble Bundle in February, but there was no discount. So, those that took advantage last year of it won. Because you never know, right? Nothing good ever came from thinking. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, true course don't think don't think guys why you got to use the brain don't use the brain come on mm. oh we can call somebody else in who hell yeah come in boys come in polatinat polatinat the poles of the tinat yeah we did E4 came from Johan on ice. Schmidt link has timer, the Ludi link. It's 
small head for the win. Yes, always small head. Win. You small, you head, you win. Basically, that's how it goes. All right, come on, boys. Peace out. Peace me out. 47, 46. Come on, really? Jesus, mother of God. You guys really want to fight this out, huh? Land shit. It's not like you're gaining anything. I'm trying to get a white piece with you anyway. It's weird having so many different uh, soundtracks. Like, I only had, like, the basic ones. I never had all the DLCs, right? And I recently, um, I used the code that PDX gave me at PDXCon last year. I actually never used that code. And that code was uh, a code for all the PDX games up till that point. So that was like a, a good 15 content packs for EU4 that I never had, like the music shit and the sprites. I I got it from that one, right? Because I never had it before. So it's weird seeing that stuff now here. Just give half to Poland. No, I cannot give any land because it's a uh, humiliation war. Humiliatone. Can you show us new missions for Brandenburg, Pol Prussia? I will, sir. I will. Rest assured, I will. Ya can rest, ya pretty head boy. I will. Alliance, yes. No more. Bye bye. All right, another one down. Now let's go siege down Trent. Get them out of the war as well. And then we go down to Naples. Naples is the easiest one because we just need to take take down uh, Naples City. They deleted their fort. Oh my God, we're going there right now. We're going there and we're going to like it. Do you like death metal? No. I like live metal. Boom! Destroyed with facts and logic. Um, five per steel. Oh god, I'm losing 2,000 my power from that. It is what it is. Try some Bebra. What the fuck is Bebra? Nerd. Dork. Playing Brandenburg gets boring. Uh, then don't play Brandenburg if you don't like it. That's why it's a free world, sir. You play what you want to play. If you don't like it, nobody's forcing you. Adrian Perdue is even easier as you only need to ally six other electors. You mean to dismantle the HRE? Yeah, it is pretty easy. As as the electors, yeah, it is easier because you just need to ally a couple of other nations. It's not that much. Oh, for fuck's sake. You guys canceled the military access. Are you kidding me right now? Sneaky boys. Yeah, sneaky boys. Yeah, do the sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Finally, we managed to get to Neapolitan's lands. All right. Once we take that fort, we got 100%. Well, we don't have 100%. Was it going to be like 60% war score or something? Because um, we they only have one fortification, right? So It's going to be easy, pah easy. As they say. Nobody says that, but uh, you cannot prove otherwise. So, What's going on, Pedro? Welcome to stream, man. Free world. Looks like CIA. Figure for asking. When is the release date for 135? Should be tomorrow. Tomorrow, bro. Feels like AA Austria hardly tries to ally electors. Uh, I've seen them ally electors a lot, to be fair. A lot of the times they ally uh, Saxony and Brandenburg. These are the two I almost always see them ally. Saxony and Brandenburg. 
Or is it? I have no idea. You good, bro. Vassalize Livonia. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, boy. Oh, shit, Austria, you bastards. You pieced them out, really. Worst events ever. These guys are going to peace out. We just need to start sieging their capital. That's it. So if I send 1,000 units, we should be good. Yeah. All right. Let's go in here. Poland doing the good thing. Palatinate also sieging down stuff, so that's pretty cool. Alright, boys. War is about to be won. What's going on, booty? They are like Ulm. Why don't you make the Baltic your main trade node? Um, I, It's not that good of a trade node. I want to make Lubeck my main trade node. Speaking of, for now, let me just... Uh, Take shit from here and here. Good thing you reminded me of that. Thank you. Alright. 28%. Can you follow 28? I would appreciate it very much. Thank you for cooperating, Naples. Thank you for cooperating. You're the best. All right, get some money from them. Hell yeah. Castle alliance with Castile. Hmm. Don't necessarily care about that alliance, to be fair. Maybe I, instead I can go for war reps. Yeah, that's probably better. Let's go. And we should be golden with this nation as well. White piece. Actually, I don't even need to. I can just enforce this. Show of strength. Let's go, Gucci. And that means we got a second idea set. Nice. All right, cool. Let's go back. Now we can chill a little bit for a while. And we can uh, try and get that alliance with um, these boys. Dismantle with Hesse. Mm. I have three vassals already, actually. So maybe I'll just wait for a while. Yeah, I think I should probably wait for a while. But then again, well, I mean, they got a truce with everybody around them. So it should be fairly okay for me to wait. I'll wait till this goes to 100 relations. Then I can directly vassalize them. The vassals should be fine to keep in check as well. I don't think it's going to be an issue there. Am I the weird one for really liking trade mechanics in this game? No, you, why would you be weird for that, man? Oh, shit. Alright, you guys are going to have to go free company. I love you, but bye-bye. Cool. Don't need to pay for the troops for a little bit. 48 out of 48. Um, what are we going to do with that? I'm going to give out one more privilege here. Something that's actually going to be worth it. This is pretty decent, actually, but it's going to cost us five crownlands. Mm, that's pretty much the only one we can give, realistically speaking. 
And it's going to cost that crownlands. Oof. I guess we're just going to have to fight the rebels a little bit, won't we? Yeah. Brabant, what do you think the best chances that they uh, make in Destination? Make what? The best change they made in Destination. Oh, um, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. I like the new added uh, mechanics that each of the great powers are getting. Like the system of councils for the Spaniards, the uh, stuff that the Ottomans are getting. Disasters and everything. It's nice to navigate through that stuff. Makes it a little bit more of a challenge than just, you know, basically raffle stomping everybody. Alright, it's gonna go up, no problem. Truce with these guys in 70. Six years. Okay, cool. We're actually, we got quite a few um, Diplo points that we stored up, so that's not bad. One base tax in Ukramark, sure. Means we can cancel this because of it. Supremacy over the crown, we can cancel. Because everything else is good. Yeah, right? Yeah. Everything else is really good. But that does mean that the clergy is going to be up to 37 and these guys are going to be up to 45. So we got to boost that up a little bit more now. For these, uh, for the burgers, it's not an issue because for the burgers, there's a lot of stuff like this, for example, right? What well, even better? The issue is going to come from uh, the clergy. Because the privileges that we can give to the clergy do require crownlands. Or just give the oversight by the clergy as an option too. Oh, no, we lost the production efficiency guy. Oh, oh this guy is 50% cheaper. I didn't even notice we have this guy. Damn. Alright, let's recruit some more units. And because we're going to chill, no need to pay for them. Are we able to purchase the DLC now? Yes, you can purchase it using my link. Um, let me see if I can still have it. There you go. Use this link if you want to get it. You, you would support the channel, so I get like $1.90 cents from uh, each purchase i'd appreciate it the cl clergy temple privilege isn't too bad true 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 you were right sir oh this is so good but i want to adopt this first though yeah um yeah let's do it There you go. Saved up a good 200 uh, Diplo points. And we stopped the knowledge sharing. So we're saving up money actually. Because we were paying one ducat for knowledge sharing to the Austrians. Um, this fort. I kind of feel like I want to destroy it. But I'll wait for now. Same with the one in Königsberg. I'll wait for now. But I will eventually take it down. To lower the autonomy as well. The newly conquered provinces. There you go. And um, what else did I need to do? Oh yeah, I got to add to the empire all the provinces that I conquered in the east. These three. No! That sucks. That really sucks. It's a few years of... Um, problemias, I guess. 
But then we got Chadius Maximus coming to the throne, boys. The real MVP is this particular campaign, I'm telling you now. He the real Rastafarian, boys. Can't wait for blue pressure. If they want our wallets, give us the working link. Wooly, is it actually not working for you guys? What are you talking about? It should be working, man. It says not available in your country. What, what country are you from, Tarek? Have to copy paste it. It's up for me. That's just weird, man. It's working for some people. It's not working for other people. Is this the 1480 German borders one? Nah, 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 nah. We're not tryharding in this one. I'm just chilling, man. If I was going to try hard, I would have restarted until I had a better start as well. But that's not the main issue. The main issue is I wouldn't have taken this. I would have gone for the Emperor ship or to dismantle the HRE by 1460. It's a lot of other things. I'm kind of half arsing it, to be honest, because I'm... It's... 4 a.m. for me in the morning, so I'm not really focusing 100% on the game. I'm Swiss, maybe Steam Link. I don't have a Steam Link, sadly, Wooly. I'm, I apologize, man. It doesn't work on Firefox, but it works in Edge. Right, okay, okay. Guys, if, if you're wondering why you don't have the access yet, it's because it's not out yet, the DLC, if you get it. Remember that. You still need to wait for a good 12 plus hours, I guess, or something. I'm not going to improve these guys, actually. These. There you go. And these. Hey, we can do workshops, boys. We're on the right path here. On the path of getting rich. And because I have so many extra Diplo points, I'm actually thinking of developing my provinces a little bit too. We're so close to getting prosperity in some of the provinces as well. Like our main provinces. Very, very close. Like we got 91% chance of getting it basically. Look at that. 78 here. 89. Not bad whatsoever. So Paradox offers a 4 a.m. pay bonus? No, no, no. I'm not getting any bonus, man. I'm just streaming this because I want you guys to see what's up in the DLC. I'm not getting any money for this. East Africa music? Why not? Don't mind if I do. Wait for next institution before devving. Um, I already have a Renaissance, if that's what you're talking about. I already embraced it. Thirty prestige, Jesus, mother of God, the slowest prestige growth ever, man, in any game possible. We actually should do some wars for prestige. Let's do a couple of wars for just prestige and stuff. Um, who can we attack? Let's see. These guys, we could do a war for prestige. These guys as well. They're actually allied to each other, so that would be fairly easy. We could attack these guys. Get back the core. Kobola Drade Mecklenburg or not or just make them uh yeah yeah let's do that let's do that now actually all right let's go looks to me like a good idea instead of just sitting around on our asses we can do something two hours before I go to sleep Livonian vassal oh good point good point I almost forgot about that I'll get the vassal after the war. I'm sure nobody's going to attack them. Oh, wait. No, actually, they uh, the, they don't have a truce anymore with anyone. Okay, I'll get them now then. Alright, 
East Frisia, Mecklenburg. All right, cool. Speed three? Yeah, we're on speed three. Why do streamers, including yourself, never worry about inflation? It could be 20% and most of them wouldn't think that's a problem and it confuses me. Why does it confuse you, man? Inflation is not a big deal. Like, it's one of those modifiers that doesn't really matter much. Because if it's very high, you quite frankly just do this. Boom. You lower the inflation. And it doesn't... It really is not that big of a deal. I would never worry about inflation at all. That's why I don't give a shit about uh, inflation reduction uh, modifiers. Like, oh, it's giving you 0 0.01 in inflation reduction. It doesn't matter, man. It's useless. Inflation is easy to reduce. Um, let's go for this. Okay, East Frisia, Mecklenburg, okay. Very looty at Mussolini, I have you. How do I get a very sexy mustache like yours? Um, grow it? I don't know. It's a weird question, man. All right. Oof. Teutons want to join the Empire? Oh, fuck, no. <laughs> no, you bastards. Reject. Reject. No, fuck that. Oh, you son of a bitch. Shit. Okay, let's go into East Frisia. Not in Turkey, Ludi. Not in Turkey, the inflation. Please say hello to my wife. Hello, Christian Granat's wife. <laughs> For every hour you play you for, you grow one mustache hair. Is that how it works? I never knew that. It's good information. Thank you. I never knew this, bro. Oh shit. Sorry, I was all tabbed. Um Salutos getting the Burgundian inheritance. <laughs> cool. Ah yes, guys, the famous Saluto taking of the inheritance of Burgundy. Someone's getting banned? For what? The most fun country to play in 135. Any country you want to play as, bro.
aka blue burgundy oh yeah all right let's get some of that uh juicy prestige we want to get right boys uh 15 prestige from this hell yeah one month let's bring this guy back there you go boom 15 prestigious all right cool you guys as well cancel whatever alliance Why are they so freaking brave all of a sudden? Oh, they still have an army. That's why. They had an army, to be more precise. <laughs> Poland has a hostile attitude towards us. Color me surprised, boys. Color me surprised. All right. We got back up with our prestige, everybody. Yay. Yay. Wait, what? Why do they have hostile attitude towards me then? Because of three provinces? Are you kidding me? Bro. Use the favors. Oh, true. Yeah, I can do that. You, sir. You got all the big brains in there. I like that. I like that. Oh, you meant use the favors to increase. No, that's not going to work. They got to. It's, it's, it's bad, bro. It's bad. I'm just going to do this. Take the money and shit. That's it. Take the money and scram, boy. <laughs> All right, military access. Get the hell over there. Oh, I feel another one coming. Hold up, hold up. Alright, I'm good. Tr increasing trust wouldn't have helped. It wouldn't have kept the alliance. Because um, it wasn't about the trust. They have trust with me. It was about the, their attitude turning hostile. The only thing I could have done is just... Um, increase relations, I guess, earlier with them. That would have been it. That would have been it. Bro. You know, that's surprisingly very few nations in a coalition. Like, holy shit. I'm not going to take it, though. I'm going to save up my stuff because I want to take a big chunk out of nations in the east. Max that out and cancel rivals for extra prestige. Beautiful. All right. Thank you guys for the for the wishes. Why not renew the one percent loan to pay the four percent ones? Because I already have uh, one percent loans, five of them. I have to pay those off first. Um. Yeah. Sure. Now you might be wondering why didn't you go for military tech six here? That's obviously more important. 
I didn't go because going for the third idea here would gave me two innovativeness and I want the innovativeness plus um, it also means that I get infantry combat ability plus 10 and cavalry is 20% cheaper. So that means I'm paying less and my units are better. And um, even though I didn't take the tech six now, I'll take it in a little while and it's going to be even cheaper when I take it. So win-win basically. All right, awesome. Now after this, kill some rebels, chill, and then we go at war and attack everybody. Tax, England, opinion, or number of loans. Um, I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Tax. Do we have that much admin points? We actually have significant admin points. I don't want to increase my tax though. Uh, I'll go for the English thing. All right, let's get these guys our vassals. Make them a vassal. All right, cool. We're up to 24% crownlands as well. Not bad. Let's go offer them military access. Another 10% uh, relations that way. Trade power two. Plus tech gets cheaper by every idea you take by that group. Exactly. Every single idea you take in... Uh, in the respective group so if you take it gives you two percent cheaper um tech so because we have three ideas in aristocratic it's six percent cheaper to get military ideas see look at the bonuses see minus six percent idea cost because of ideas uh tech cost because of ideas cookie love you too man give me back my wallet it's mine now it's mine thank you for the polish nano burger sir appreciate the 10 nano burgers much appreciated bro cav cost reduction is useless i never build cav it's not useless actually because it affects your maintenance cost too. Did you know that boy? Bet you didn't, boy. All right, let's wait for these guys to trigger, and then we charge into them. Um, what else we need to do here? We need to get little bit more relations there you go that's enough relations have you invented camo yet not yet we're still working on that okay come on give us time man it's not that easy all right um 185 oh actually we can do this now we can integrate them after boom boys hello Fuck it. Let's be three stability Chad Lords. Chad Lord. Chad Lord, Chad Lord. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when Chad Lord come for you? Alright. Looks like we got basically no more rebels. We're gonna get these guys. Uh, should I trigger them? What do you think, Chad? Or should I just wait? I think I'm just gonna wait. Fuck it. Alrighty, we can give one more privilege here. So once we start integrating Magdeburg, we're going to give out the um, integration policy privilege so we don't get the minus three de uh, step st Diplo uh, hit. Steb, Steb, what is a Steb? He misspelled my name, but still love him. Do you play CK3? I love playing CK3, man. Why are you not annexing Stetten? It's worthless. I don't need Stetten. I hate... Oh, my homies hate Stettners. Improve with England. Oh, shit. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, I appreciate that. Let's improve with the English. Oh, 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 oh,
Look at the Chad Lord boys. 533 Mega 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 Schnippeldorp. Mega Schnippeldorp. Not just any kind of Schnippeldorp. It's a mega one. Mega boy. Mega boy, mega boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when mega boy come for you? Oh, we probably should get some uh, uh, royal marriages as well, right? Yeah, we should. All right, uh, nobility integration policy. Where is it at? There you go. Boom. Gonna have to do this though. Temporarily until we integrate Magdeburg. And um, what else was I gonna do? March 42, okay. I would love to integrate these guys as well, but I'm, I'm being a realist. I know it's not going to happen now. That's why we're good. We're good. CK3 at CK2. CK3. Hey, Ludi. Uh, so how are you liking the new patch DLC? Did they give Brandenburg away to form pressure early like they did the Teutons? They did not, bro. And I have to be a little bit honest. I wish they buffed pressure a little bit. They didn't really buff it at all. I mean, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. They did give some buffs, right? But like, for example, the Brandenburg Gate here, it's it's better than before. It's not massive. Like, max effect of absolutism is good. Manpower is good too. But you got to do the missions for those. So it's a little bit later down the line. But then the militarization estate is so bad in my opinion. It's... Let's see when the when the DLC comes out, if they change it, if they do some changes that I recommended. If they don't, it's going to be average at best. It's nothing special. Like, realistically speaking, uh, Castile and England have better armies than Prussia. By far. Much better. And they have 100% uh, army tradition always. They keep it out. At, it doesn't decay below 100%. Actually, France and Ottomans too. All four of them. The armies don't decay below 100. That was literally the only thing that Prussia had that made them special, right? Now, they don't even have that anymore, so. Have 4K max in any army. Build armies as I annex other countries based on the Cav I inherit. Seems about right for what I need for the game. I up at 8K late game, but money is not an issue then. Historically inaccurate, I'm furious. What is going on in the rest of Europe? Let's check. The Ottomans are kicking everybody's ass. It looks like they're about to make uh, Hungary their little schnapps. Oof, reconquest of Lecce. Oh, no. Wait, did they attack? Okay. Um, Mamluk's doing okay for now. They've actually expanded a lot in the Arabian Peninsula. Karakoyunlu also... And everybody here. Oh, they literally destroyed Karakoyulnu. Sorry, Akoyulnu, not Karakoyulnu. They destroyed Karakoyulnu. Damn. They don't exist anymore. Wow. Okay. I feel like this is their pro their only province. Karakoyulnu's province here. Dulkadir surprisingly still exists. And they have provinces from Karaman somehow. Okay. Interesting. Um, Morocco consolidated. Split Lemchen with Tunis. Castile... Holy shit, literally annexed half of Aragon. Okay. Aragon's got more provinces in the islands than in the actual Aragonese lands. It does not have any more proper Aragonese lands for that matter. Because the four Aragonese lands they had are these four. By the way, new monument here. Pretty decent. Established holy order cost minus 5% is good for them. So, they got that. Um... England struggling to unify apparently. France again is a little bit struggling there, but they're overall doing decent. And Bohemia is at war with Bavaria formed. Oh shit, that's awesome. Hell yeah, man. <gasps> oh, they got problemos, boys. They got problemos here. Maybe. Is that a conquest? It is a conquest. Or well, maybe I'm going to take Silesia for myself after. So then I should just keep my AE points for when I take Silesia. And this bit, right? Yeah, that's definitely the play, boys. That is the play. We're going to attack them and we're going to take all that shit. That is definitely the play. <gasps> Ave Maria. Thank you, man. 
<laughs> look at that. Look at that, man. Oh, my lord. This is beautiful. This is actually beautiful, bro. Actually beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to wait until they cancel that pro plane guarantee. A hundred percent they will because it's not close to them. They, I don't think they have any strategic interest in this shit, so. Come on, cancel it. Cancel it, I say, boy. I say cancel. Wait, I don't have claims there? What do you mean I don't have claims? I had a claim on that one. Did it just expire? Bro. Did my claim just expire in these guys? No way, dude. Wow. Oof. The owner, Silesia, is distracted. Time to take it. Of course, bro. Of course. Take Silesia from Silesia and farm uh, mana from uh, Bohemia. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Oh, I'm about to actually get uh, my truce finished with the with the Teutons. So let's do that actually first. Yeah, we got the claims on them. Oh, oh, I see what's up. Right. Okay. You know, in that case, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. Um, Do this. Oh, shit. Come here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be attacking uh, the Teutons, and because they're allied to the Bohemians, I'm gonna recycle my Bohemian truce. Actually, it's five years already. Oof, that's a tough one. Still, I gotta do the the war here. So I'll just. I, I guess I'll just annex this stuff. Fully annex the Teutonic lands, and I'll take this in the future. I'll just get like a humiliation or something against Bohemia for now. Oh wow, that's a lot of points. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's check what we can develop here. We could develop a little bit Volgast and stuff. What's my uh, prosperity looking like? Oh, dude, look at that, dude. Look at that, bro. Yeah, we'll just wait for a while. Once this reaches 30%, we should be golden with this. Or I could also just uh, sell, sell titles. Yeah, fuck it. We'll take 5% after as well. And that means I'm gonna dev this up for fairly cheap. 38 without even any privilege, nothing. Fuck it, why not? Yeah, let's try and get everything to 10 development, I guess, right? Yeah, let's do that. At least in the main areas, let's get it to 10 dev. I know this is a little bit cheaper, but I want to do it in, uh, in Brandenburg as well. Mm. Oh, man. I hate using my military mana, but sometimes you got to do it, you know. not 10 in every one but it's close it's close enough it's gonna help economically massively as well all right uh are we ready for the war where's the truce done december okay we can pay off all of our loans this way as well and we can build one two there you go see the difference instead of getting uh 0 0.09 we're getting 0 0.15 from the provinces we developed a little bit Yo, Lil Wins, thank you for the $1.49, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, Lil Wins. How you doing, brother? What's going on, Ahmad? Uh, what's your thoughts on 1.35? I'm loving it, dude. 
You gotta make a new Byzantine video now with the Ottomans being buffed. Yeah, I know, dude. I know, I know. I have to make a new Byzantine video. I gotta make a lot of new videos, to be fair. Alright. Getting ready for the war. Getting ready for the war. Oh, there you go. They're not guaranteed by uh, those guys anymore. As expected. There's no permit claims on Kulm. I don't really click. Don't click uh, with watching stream on YouTube. And I really so old. I struggle with different platforms now. Um, I don't know. How you been, Meteora? Hope all is good, bro. Okay, let's see. We're going to call in the Palatinat. Not sure we need them, to be fair, but we're going to call them anyway. And make two kill the target. Stetten, I don't need to call Bloodgate. I don't care about him too much. We're going to white piece him anyway. All right, let's go. I will try to rush for most stuff. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rush for most of this to CJ down quickly because it might happen that the Poles will attack him too. And if that's the case, you know, I want to take the provinces before the Poles do, basically. All right, you guys come here. Oh wow, Palatinat's already doing the good the good deed, boys. They're helping us against them. Nice. Do, 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 do. Fifty, fifty-six. If we had a fleet, we could piece them out now. I actually just realized I don't have a fleet. <laughs> I forgot to build a trade fleet. Literally just realized. Um, we can still handle one tech behind. Most nations are still on military tech five, I think. Yeah, most of them are tech five, so we're good. We're actually Gucci. Let's continue improving relations. Forgot how long sieges is, sieges were in this game compared to CK3. Got down four years encounter. Yeah, bro, it's it takes a while. Definitely takes a while. I'm alright, thanks. Looking forward to the new glasses, so a headache stop. How are you, Ludi? Uh I'm good, man. I'm good. Just playing a little bit of chill Brandenburg game here. New glasses, huh? I gotta get my wife as well new glasses. Um we just haven't had the time to go to the place, to be honest. But I gotta make some time for that because that's important. It's very, very important. God damn, that's a good event. Is that a new event? I think that's a new one, guys. Holy shit, we got a hundred loyalty now. Wow. Spoken too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just lost 20 loyalty from nobility, bro. You forgiveth, you forgetaketh away, man, I swear. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So, oh shit. Because we did say we're going to chill, roleplay a little bit, and play toll, we're going to go with infrastructure to see how strong infrastructure is. Yeah, I've never seen it before either, actually. Yeah, pretty much, my friend. Yeah. What's up? Just tuned in. What was uh, the seven out of seven no nobility privilege I saw? We can have up to eight nobility nobility privilege. If we get the court ideas, we can get another one. Uh, what was I gonna do? All right, let's see. Diplomatic relations, vassal, force limit contribution, monarch power. From uh, that's what tributaries don't care. Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa, advisor. Cost reduction. All estates influence as well. Reduction. 
This one's pretty good. Centralization of state 50% is returned. Um, unique state edicts. Reform growth is probably my personal favorite, though, because it means you get reforms a lot faster. So here's my thought, right? I'm thinking to get this now, and then I switch over to centralization when I form Prussia so that I can centralize my states and so I don't need to worry about the governing capacity reduction, right, from forming Prussia. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to centralize all of my states so I lower the cost of um, maintaining all that shit by a lot. The governing cost. What time GMT does the dog release? I have no idea, dude. No freaking clue. So it should be 6 p.m. Uh, Sweden time. 6 p.m. Sweden. Gonna get the DLC for my birthday. Nice. Happy birthday, bro. Um, discipline advisor. Who? What kind of guy we have now? I'm going to support a level two. We can. Fuck yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Let's get a piece with this guy, and we're gonna go for this. Or this, because we get more prestige from that. Um, bring this guy back. Good to see you streaming again, Ludi. Just showing my support. Sad. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much, man. Saudi Arabian Real. Ooh. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Ludi, please try Sweden into Prussia. Sweden is actually better into Russia, man. Like, by a lot better. Oh, their standing army is 8,000 now. That's really bad. Oof. I have a video, actually, where I go into Russia. Like 10 in the morning for Europe. What's going on, Lynch? Alrighty. No! Well, that sucks, man. They found my, my spy. Guess he wasn't that good of a spy. Surprised the Poles are not attacking the Teutons right now. I would imagine they attacked them because, you know. Hmm. Guess it is what it is. Imagine I go like this, bro, <laughs> to get the Keb gold mine. I'm kidding. All right. Uh, yeah, we got to take the capital. That's one of the reasons I really like playing as Brandenburg, honestly, because there's so many options for um, for expansion. And like, even when you're not attacking someone to take their lands, you can attack someone around you for like their money or for prestige or for something like that, right? So it's always going to be really fun. Oh, screw you, really? Is that a... Tarek reference with the gems are truly outrageous. Greetings from Bucharest. What's going on, Acrylis? Welcome to the stream, man. Aren't two times in the HRE? Oh, God. Please don't tell me they are. Oh, I'm so fucked if they are. Oh, they are. Please give the wallet back to that poor person you took it from. <laughs> I'll think about it, Silverfish. Thank you, man. Thank you for the 50 Danish krona, man. Trade ships. Uh, take trade from vassals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, this is fucked. I'm not going to be able to fully annex them, am I? Oh, no. Actually, no. It's not that bad. It's much worse than... It, than it, I mean, it would have been a lot better if they didn't join the freaking HRE, right? But um, it's not as bad. Like, this is actually manageable. Literally manageable. It's fine. Everything but Kum. Cool. 
Okay, more ships. Bark, 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 bark. Get it? Because they're barks. <laughs> boy. Funny, damn it. Cope. <laughs> True. Oh boy. This is a Ludi Brandenburg game. I'd be upset if there was not a coalition war. Master of father jokes, pretty much. Why you pause? Because I'm doing shit in the background. I'm doing the stuff, bro. Okay? You got problem? Mine's got Leipzig. You should have formed uh, Prussia's Byzantium. Did you actually just ask me freaking why did you pause? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I just realized, like, what the F, bro? Who asks somebody, why did you pause? Jesus. Are you like one of those guys that, like, asks his girlfriend, Yo, why did you talk to that guy? <laughs> why did you look at him? Why? 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 <laughs> How you learn English so well? I um, I learned it in uh, in my CIA training camp. They're like, "Yo, you need to be speak like this, son," and I was like, "Okay, that sounds Gucci. Let me of the speak like that." And then I did. Simple as that. That's all you got to do. You got to think about it. And it works. Oh, shit. There's more countries in the coalition now. What the fuck? Why? Why? Why you do this to me, game? Have a fleet larger than Hungary. Army larger than Hungary. That's easy to do. Okay. We can do that. Oh boy. I'm sure even Americans speak uh, speak English that well. I'm not sure even Americans speak English that well. Ludi ever play Speed 5? I do sometimes, man. I do. When I'm recording videos and I'm like, you know, I want to finish the video fast, I do it. When I get bored, I do it as well. When I'm just chilling, trying to have fun, enjoying my myself, then I play on Speed 3. When I'm really tryharding, I play on speed two. So, Magdeburg local fortification. Yeah, sure. American speak American. Is it important to kill the rebels before they siege your province? Yes, it is. If you can, that's really good to do. All right, so that's acceptable. That coalition in my eyes. It sucks that they joined the HRE. That really fucks me up so much, to be honest, though. But I mean, yeah. It's not like I have a choice here. I gotta do it. Alright, cool. Boom. Prussian expansion. Now, we gain Prussian as an accepted culture. This is added with the 1.35 patch, by the way. I guess Ludi was IKO level 5 for his English. Yeah. Can confirm Ludi has very good English. American speak American. Balenciaga or Gucci? None. I fucking buy my clothes from secondhand shop and from Primark and shit. I'm not even memeing. That's true. Um, if the culture is already an accepted culture, if there are not enough slots, you gain 100 uh, diplo power instead. Every province in East and West Prussia will get one random development. And you get closer ties with the Baltic Sea, meaning you get... Permanent claims will Sacha, Silesia, and 50 trade power in the Baltic. Fuck 
fuck yeah. Way better than before, right? Before you just got the claims on uh, Silesia. That's it. And Losatia. Hell yeah, boys. All right. It's pretty good. Now, we are going to get some coalition here. So, we got that going for us. But on the bright side, I don't give a shit. Um, am I going to attack these guys now? They're not going to join in a coalition against me. So I don't need to attack them now. That's fine. Thuringia just attacked the Saxons. Holy shit. I hope they fully annex the Saxons. That would be pretty cool to see. All right. Lubeck. And let's do some of this. And let's also get some more troops. Hmm. These guys would be a pretty easy target right now, Opole. Uh, can I integrate these guys? I need to improve relations a little bit more. I think so, yeah. All right. Now we can integrate them. Now we can invade Lusatia. Yeah, but I have way too much aggressive expansion. I need to wait for a bit. National unrest minus two. Do I care about it too much? What's my national unrest? It's minus four. Almost five. Don't care. Don't care. Hey, we got the morale of armies now and the loyalty for the nobility because we got the extra troops. And we can do this. Boom. And kill off the troops in Danzig. Meaning we went up to 25%. Frakia, boys. Frakia. All right. Um, now, I think I need to change my trade node next. So, I guess I'll save up my AE points and I'm going to attack Lubeck next. Yeah, that's probably the best play. Hamburg, Bremen, and Holt. Yeah, that's fine. Definitely the next play. All right, let's get this guy back so we can annex the HRE vassal. Boom. And wait, what did I just do? What the F? Why did I just cancel that? The fuck? Mm. How about you guys? I could probably annex you too soon. There you go. That's pretty good, too. I wouldn't mind going trade ideas as well. But I want to do the infrastructure thing so I can show you guys how that thing, how it works, basically. All right. Wait, what? Who became an elector? No way. Augsburg became an elector, bro. <gasps> Anhalt, you slimy bastard. You actual slimy bastards. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Burgundy is joining the HRE. Burgundy literally only has two provinces. These two provinces. <laughs> Bruh. Wait, how are they joining the HRE with no provinces in the HRE? The fuck? I am confusion. Well, I guess they don't need it. They just triggered the event, right? Um, no. Screw it. Don't care. Alright, get that. We're going to get any rebels too? No, no rebels anytime soon. We can lower the maintenance. We can get more ships. We can get the burger loans. Oh, but Ludi, you don't need loan now. You got good economy. Yep, but with the burger loans, we can get even better economy. Oh, no. There you go. And we can get a few more ships, actually. Boom.
All right, cool. Now we can integrate these as well. Um, and Exaccio Maximus. Nice. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Yellow pressure. Can you guys stop speaking this heresy in the chat? Thoughts on new mercenary ideas? There should. If you want me to elaborate on it, watch the start of the stream. I explain why. I love a video where you play Riga into Hansa into Prussia. Finish all missions except maybe New World. I did it multiplayer. I love that. Paul, thank you for the six euros. Really appreciate it, bro. Um, I have actually done a uh, Riga video in the previous patch where I had a lot of fun because I literally just stayed like one province and I was making more money than freaking Austria was. But I like it. I like the suggestion. And I'll definitely do a, a new Riga video in this particular patch. Okay, why am I wasting my diplomats here? Um, let's see. Let's get a claim on Lubeck so we have that for whenever we're ready to attack him. And let's also... What else are we going to do? These guys have a lot of alliances for a one province minor Brunswick. Holy shit. Prestige legitimacy. Yeah, why not? There you go. We got that too. Cool. And we went up to the second reform. Nice. Have you ever done American Russia? I have in the past. I've done it as um as a custom nation. Ludi, will the VOD be available later? It will be, yeah. Why do you do protect trade on those trade nodes when it is it when it is making you lose money? Uh, it's actually that it's not making me lose money. It's uh, proportionate to the amount of uh, cost for the for the fleet itself. So it's actually not making me lose money. It's paying for the maintenance of the fleet essentially. Not bad, boys. Not bad. Oh, we can get... Um... Wait, is that our last vassal? No, no, it's not. Okay, thank God. Uh, we can attack the Russians, though, right? Yeah, we can take back Livonia's lands. So that would be a lot of cores. Wouldn't be too much aggressive expansion. And I guess I could take from the Muscovites some stuff. Some money, maybe. They got a pretty sizable army, though. Forgot they got a massive buff in this patch, actually. So maybe I need to get some allies first. Um... Oh, it's just pretty shit. I do need to get more allies, to be fair. Uh, Bavaria looks like my next ally, though. There you go. Beautiful. And one more. Probably should get an ally in um, in the HRE, though, to be fair. Yeah. For sure. Like Munster here. Well, however you pronounce it. Munster. Monster. Well, marriage, fuck no. And halt. Why are you doing it? All right, integrated most of the initial vassals now. Not bad. Um, let's get this guy over as well to protect trade. I want to merge all of my ships because I hate having all of these things separate. All right, there you go. Up to 24%. All right. Um, let's also do this. Protect trade, protect trade. We can do the same in Vols Volsgast because this is a pretty good trade node area. This area, though, am I going to be developing anymore now or am I not? Because if I'm not, then I should just.
whatever you want. All right, fuck it. Nothing for now. I think I'm over my force limit. No, I'm on the edge, on the limit of my force limit. Lose 10 influence, gain 10 of the other one. Sure, we'll go for that one. We just got to wait for a couple of months to get the money, though. And we gained our first admin idea. Beautiful. We're pretty far ahead with uh, admin and diplo, so we can invest all of the points that we get into developing the country and into um, the idea set. So we're good. We're Gucci, actually. Uh, let's see. Truce with these guys. These guys, truce. These guys, no truce, but I don't really care about them too much. I care about Lubeck. These guys, same situation. Not sure I care about them at all. Truce. This is an easy kill, actually, here. Probably could diplo vassalize them as well. I could diplo vassalize them. How much dev does this province have? Five. Oh, fuck that. More like Munsta. I have no idea how you pronounce that. Is the Admiral going to give you more trade trade power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. More uh, more maneuver from the Admiral gives more trade power. What do you like about and dislike from the changes of domination? Um, I would have liked it if they added more stuff to the other major major nations like Austria, like um, like Byzantium. And I know what you're thinking. Byzantium is not a major nation. If you do think that, you're wrong. <laughs> Why not use curry favors with Poland or Austria? You get more favors. You know what? That's smart, bro. I should do that. I really should. I'm going to do that. Good point. All right. Um, how many am I getting, actually? Is it just me or is it not telling me when I'm hovering over curry favors? It's supposed to tell me. Well, that's a bug. I misclicked married Saxia Lauenberg. They became my PO a month later. Oh, shit. Ludi getting Serbian citizenship when? Soon. Soon. Fuck it. I have enough favors. Don't need favors with them. Um, there you go. Trade that for manpower. Oh. We good. Got more manpower than I know what to do with, bro. I'm just kidding. I know what to do. All right, time to attack Laosits or whatever they're called. Actually, maybe I can attack these guys first. Oh, you fucking kidding me? They allied Austria. Are you shitting me right now, bro? Um. Oh come on, even Poland's still on take five. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this. Fuck it. Alright. Let's check our claims. So next, what do we need to do, boys? In order to get the next one, we got to conquer three more provinces in the north. And Ostfriesland's got to be conquered as well. That means we got to conquer Oldenburg, Ostfriesland, and Saxe-Lauenburg. I'm guessing. 
Got a truce with them, so we got to wait. We could conquer Oldenburg, to be fair. Uh, but I don't want to attack him because I want to wait for the truce with these guys to finish. And then I can attack them directly. So I guess I just have to wait for that particular part of the mission tree. Yeah. Yeah, I got to wait for that bit. How about Lubeck? How's Lubeck doing? Lubeck is... Freaking ripe for the taking, boys. What the F, man? There you go. We got it. We got Bremen. Uh, not Bremen. Uh, whatchamacallit. Actually, both armies come here because we're going to need you um, in here, mostly. Station our fleets here because we don't want to lose them right now. We would if we attack now, so there's that. And this claim. Stop with that for now. Mm, who else can I diplovasalize, actually? Only Kallenberg. Gotland also, maybe. And Brunswick. Maybe Gotland's a better vassal. This is between borders is fixed easy. We just got to take uh, golden gun. We integrate them. Um, mm, I don't know. What do you guys think? To be fair, Hoya would be fairly easy as well. Kallenberg to get as a vassal. It's not worth it though for five dev. Screw them, bro. Now we're going to go for Lubeck. Let's go. Get a spy network in there. Leave one unit behind. Oh shit, no. That's not what I want to do. So one unit. Alright, you guys go over here. Military access. Boom. Oh, they're trying to run away? No, 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 no. Cannot let you do that, sir. My diplomat's just sitting around is no bueno. Um, let's improve relations a little bit, I guess. We could do that. Pirate Kingdom. Ludi's war face is intense. You should probably get Gotland as a vassal since it's a pirate nation, I think. Uh, did they go pirate, though? They did. Oh, shit. Yeah. Maybe I should. Hmm. So much for Lubeck's army. Let's ask uh, Livonians to attack this. There you go. Do that, please. Oh, no. Poland made me their rival, bro. Unfreaking cool, Poland. That means I got to destroy you now. I guess you could say I just got a Cass's belly boys. The equivalent of this particular Cass's belly would probably be they looked at me funny. I'm gonna destroy their nation because they look funny to me. Oh, look at that juicy, juicy small year. What? Literally nobody cares. And uh, Lubeck as a vassal is literally the best thing ever. Because um, they're going to massively improve our economy. They have a big chunk of this particular node. Let's see. They got 21% trade power in this node. Which they're going to transfer to us, of course. So, hell yeah. That's literally the equivalent of having 15 provinces from just having them as a vassal. 
How often do you plan to play you for? I would like to watch every stream. It depends, Stefan. It's pretty random, bro. I, I don't have a set schedule for streaming, to be honest. It's like whenever I feel like it, really. Riga 2. Lubeck is uh, the best vassal ever. Yeah, for real, for real. Riga and, and Lubeck. That's why I co uh, Riga 2. They are the best, as they say. Oh, we got the siege done. Nice. Uh, I don't want to waste my mana points. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. All right, construction cost minus 10%, beautiful. Expand administration next, of course. Very nice. All right, uh, tradition, thank you. I like how uh, through this entire war we've been swimming in gold, basically. Um, Marienburg, five, sure. That's easy to do. We need the money, Pop. Sorry. There you go. Easy mission. And I'm going to improve relations with my homies around the HRE. Ludi playing Brandenburg. What a surprise. I know, right, Lecheco? <laughs> the homie's always the answer. Big early uh, Bavaria in the south. Yeah, I was surprised as well that they managed to unify. How did Paradox split countries between streamers to cover in the promo videos? Why did you get Castile? Um, well, they asked us what country we wanted to to cover. So I said I want to cover Castile because I like their mission tree. So I got Castile. I think pretty much everybody that asked for something, they got whatever they asked for. Bremen. Bremen. Is that where all the men of the Bray come from, boys? Is it Bray, men? From the men of the Bray? I'm not sure where I'm going with that. I'll just stop there. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty happy to see Bavaria owning this. <laughs> Why is this army going over here? What the fuck? Did I just send my army over there for no reason? What? Brazil here. Is Domination really the last uh, expansion to E4? No, it's not. It's going to be two more. The next one's going to be called... Um... Joe. And the last one's going to be... Uh... Mama. So I guess together they make up the Power Path Girls. Got him! <laughs> In the Haha Province, the one all the jokes come from. Yes, yes. Who is Joe? Joe Bite! Bite it. Be there. Be there. B I D E T. Okay, don't think about it too much. Don't wanna, don't wanna work up. Don't wanna. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. So here's the problem, though. Mm. If I vassalize both of them, it might be a little bit too much aggressive expansion, I think. So maybe I'll wait and I'll keep Riga for later. Let's see. Oh shit! No, actually, it's not. What the fuck? I can do both. I literally can do both. Hell yeah. All right, that's that's actually really freaking good. Really, really good. All right, awesome. So um, in that case, let me um, 
Where was Conquest of Thuringia? What the? Oh, you son of a bitch. Not cool, Thuringia. Not cool. And they reversed the tables on Saxony. Saxony is in a peer with them now. Bro. Ain't no freaking way right now. Ain't no way. Hi from Ottomans. What's going on, Sinan? I think the next one is going to be in the Middle East. Playing his favorite nation with the new flavor. Pretty much, bro. Pretty much. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Ooh, ooh. It's exactly how the song goes. Don't think about it. Don't don't even don't even think about saying it doesn't go like that, okay? Don't piss me off, man. Come on. Don't do it. Not worth it. 1000 days, a mere 1000 days to take uh, Hamburg. Beautiful. Wait, who considers me rival now? I, I didn't pay attention to that pop-up chat. Alright, we're going to improve with these two guys here. So, um... Oh, wait, my paused. Where are you from, Ludi? I am from Earth, sir. It's uh, it's the third planet in the solar system. It's right between. Your legs. What? No, it's not a ball. Technically, it's a sphere, right? Uh, no, it's uh, it's right between. Uh, was it Mars and Venus or some shit? Yeah, I think so. I know I'm right. Mars and Venus, get your shit straight. Alright, cool. Hey, we got stability cost, we got uh, nobility, equilibrium, leader siege, we got apps. Monthly autonomy change minus zero point zero two five. Hell yeah, we're 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 going up in the world, boys. We're definitely going up in the world. And the best part is this: boom, a boom. We got twenty percent crown loans, and we also made bank eight hundred freaking ducats, boys. Paid all of our loans up. We got extra money to invest in churches and shit, which actually is not so bad in this patch, to be honest, because um. Churches, you can boost up so much in this patch with like reforms and uh, ideas and shit. Like uh, if you add up all of the reforms and for certain countries, you can get an extra 120% tax from ch from having churches and provinces, which is huge. It actually makes them worth it. How do you all battle boredom in the 1500s, 1600s? Well, it depends. Most people start a new game. I like to have objectives. I like to give myself objectives. 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 All right. Um, let's think about this for a sec, shall we? Shrelson is not bad. But we got bigger fish to fry with that money. I.E. We're going to do this. We're going to upgrade all of these bad boys. Hell yeah. Look at that. Now we're going to see that juicy um, economy increase. Change this. Protect trade. Protect trade. Thank you very much. And the same for you, sir, in Magdeburg. Same for you in Straussen, for that matter. Oh, we already have it. Never mind. I probably should upgrade Stralson a little bit, develop it a little bit. Yeah, I really should. Okay. New rival, Poland, Denmark, Poland, obviously. Okay.
Do we need to lower autonomy? A couple of provinces, apparently. Okay, cool. And level two, thank you. This one, level two, I guess. I guess. I'll prioritize Königsberg before it, though. And how close am I to um, to getting these guys loyal? Fairly close. Munster, it was a pleasure knowing you, but I don't need your alliance anymore. All right. We're doing fairly good, I'd say. Like, economically, we're freaking crushing everybody right now. Absolutely crushing everybody. Ship trade power, hell yeah. Did we lose troops, chat? Did we lose any troops or did I have only this many troops? I don't remember. Did I lose any troops? I don't remember losing troops. Hmm. Why do you build a market in Stralsund? Why are you not building a market in Stralsund? I will build one. I will. Are you sad at all to be losing 134? No, why would I? You lost like 5k? Oh shit, did I win? Did I get stack wiped or something? What do you call a, a man without a body and a nose? Kiko Pintas Craft. Do we have plush and brew? We, we do, sir. We do. You lost your wallet. 1k in trend. Oh, damn. I didn't even pay attention. Oof. Did you get strong duchies? Yes. Yes, I did. I got strong. I got very strong duchies, actually. They're like the strongest duchies you can ever have. Oh, love sick. Let me put another cool song. Let's put songs from this new DLC again. There you go. Noise. What do you think is the most powerful major right now? Ottomans, by far. If you vassalize Riga and Danzig, you can almost monopolize the Baltic. Yep, that's why I did it. That's why I vassalized them. Did I just click the army tradition one? Jesus fuck, I'm an idiot. Um, dude, what is up with these events, man? Sweden is going down. My greatest uh, E4 player of all time. Do you think a new Ottoman achievement is impossible? Nah, bro. I actually want to get the new Ottoman achievement on a live stream. So I can show you guys how to do it. It's not a, it's actually really not that difficult. The Ottomans are so freaking strong in this patch. It's ridiculous. I showed at the beginning of this stream how powerful they are. Like you can get as the Ottomans, um... <laughs> a 
You can get us the Ottomans uh, four cannons from day one. Literally before the first month even passes, you get four cannons. And uh, permanent claims on all of Greece and all of the Anatolian parts in one month, basically. So fucked up. And you get like uh, mana points, cheaper coring. You get sea beast to basically make a vassal, the Ayalet. Out of Hungary, out of the Mamluks, out of many countries with a single war. <laughs> it's so fucking broken. It's insane. I watch Ottoman stream with great pleasure, my lord. Why are you making things awkward, bro? Where would Muscovy for Livonia land for you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You reminded me. That's a good point. We can do that since uh, since we don't have any aggressive expansion with them. Well, in that area, anyway. All right, let's go. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go to war. Um, I really want to replace this fortification here, but at the same time, I kind of, I kind of want to put the one in Dromburg also now. Yeah, I should do this one first. Fuck it. Let's go. Do they have military take six? They have fucking seven? What? <laughs> oh, thank God I didn't attack them. Hold up a second, boys. Hold up a second. Yep. Um... We're going to wait until we get military. <laughs> that could have gone really bad right there. How many restarts? Uh, we had like three proper restarts on this one. Couple of restarts we did because I fucked up the privileges. I wasn't paying attention. So Th those don't count. Okay. But we had three because we had shit RNG at the beginning. And afterwards we didn't restart anymore. Yeah, I, I lost 20 army tradition, bro. Like, fuck my life. I, I wanted to click the stability. I don't know why I, I clicked by mistake the other one. So it is what it is. It's fine. Um... I want to get Saxa Longberg so I can build my fortification there as well. So maybe I'll do that. Mm, let's see. How close am I to the new tech? Let's see. Uh, I have almost there. 438 needed to get this tech. Beautiful. Very easy to get that. And look at this, right? Because uh, cause I got all those military ideas. It's 14% cheaper to get this now. Overall, another 10% from the neighbor bonus too. Hell yeah. Really good stuff. Newmark Cathedral. Sure. We can get rid of it later if we need to. Oh, uh, I was going to upgrade this, right? Was it this one? Or this one? This one. Which one do I need to upgrade more? I think... I need. Ooh, trade efficiency, hell yeah. I think I need Kulm, right? Yeah, Kulm I need as well, level two. Uh, what do you guys think? Should we attack him now? Tech seven, we should be able to get tech seven by the time the battles get heated. Um, 92. I guess we can wait until 91 or something like that. Improve, improve. Oh, chromium time, nice. Oh my god, look at that. We went up to 41%, dude. Holy shit. And we're not even transferring from, uh, and 20% here. We're not even transferring from, um, from our vassals yet. Should I change my uh, trade capital to Stralsun now? Or what do you think, chat? I kind of want to change it to Hamburg, so I'm thinking to wait a little bit more. Because um, I'm not integrating Lubeck. I'm going to keep him as a vassal. 
Yep, there you go. Boom one and boom two. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Now let's check it out. 32% from 20% and what's going on here? Sixty freaking two percent, dude! What? <laughs> Holy shit! I literally only own like six provinces in the Baltic, and Sweden's got literally all of them with Livonians and so on. And I have sixty-two percent. That's so broken. I love it. I freaking love it. It's just beautiful. It's literally beautiful. Best life, good land. Change capital, change it. Yeah, I guess I could, sure. All right, so then we can bring this guy over here and transfer from Lubeck into here. Oh, we gained like two ducats from that. So overall, not bad. Um, let's, um, let's do this. Got to pay for our troops first. Oh, truce is over with Stetten. Yo. Mm, should I attack Stetten actually? Who was I going to attack, chat? Was I going to attack um, Laosits, right? Uh, sorry, um, Lusatia. And they um, they took it before me. I think that's what happened. Nuremberg, Opoli. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what happened. We can do a quick war against Bohemia for the two provinces they got here. Because they're uh, they're Czech province, they're Czech nation, so we're gonna get less a. Nobody cares. Because they're not Germans. Oh. It's actually turning into a pretty fun chill run. I'm actually enjoying it. Not gonna lie. I've missed playing. You know, like casual runs with my nations that I enjoy playing usually. Remember to rename Berlin to Istanbul V2? No way. Are you a secret paradox employee? No, why would I be? Just bought domination with your link. I'm looking forward to playing it. Thank you for using my link, uh, Untold. I appreciate that, bro. I actually get 1.90 something, 1.98 or something like that, dollars commission for every purchase. So I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to come out in a few hours. It's it's really fun. Oh, truce is over. Let's go. Uh, Vlohov and Joe Mama. Vlohov and Joe Mama. Hesse Stetten. Oh, dude. Do I need to do a big fucking war for that? Really? Anhalt, Oldenburg. Bohemia. I guess I'll just do a quick war with Anhalt. I don't really want to do much with them. Alright. So I'm not going to co belligerate them. I will call in uh, Bavaria though. And Palatinat. Maybe I can give a few provinces to both of them. From uh, Bohemia. I don't mind doing that actually. Make Bohemia small, and then I release Bohemia and feed them back their cores. Huh? Big brain. Once I fully destroy them.
What? What the fuck just happened? Hold on, let me report this one also. Fuck me, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, bro, hold on. I'm checking the bug reporting Discord we have. Fuck my life. Dude, two wars, boys. That's a bug. That's a bug. That's a hundred percent a bug. It's early access. Remember, the version I'm using, you guys are gonna not use. You're gonna use another one, so don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything gonna be okay. Everything gonna be alright. Ooh. Ooh. I really should get a general for this. I don't want to. I'm gonna make my ear general. Fuck it. If he dies, it's not a big loss. Literally unplayable. Get out of the way. I want to see your two wars. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. You're not seeing. When are they going to release the DLC? Any news? It should be out in a few hours, man. It should be out in a few hours. Hold your horses, boy. Be patient. What happens if you make peace in one war? I have no idea. I'm actually curious to know now also. Let's see. Maybe I get instantly dragged in the other one. I don't know. I'm curious, boys. I'm curious. Tasi. Oh. Um. Until fifteen oh one. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. We'll do that. It's a lot cheaper now to build this bad boy. Hell yeah. All right. Let's see what's up here. Um. You can give me your soul. <laughs> no, I don't want your soul. I want your money. All right, I'm taking two provinces from these guys, and I'm taking trade power, war reps. Probably not going to happen if they're going to get their... the Yeah. Mm, they're going to get enforced by the Austrians after. So I guess just money. Yeah. And release Glogo? No, fuck that. I'm taking that shit. Cancel rivals? Why not? For the prestige. Hello. Nope. Religious unity, clergy influence. Nope. Advisor cost reduction. There you go, boys. Temples and cathedrals give 33% local tax modifier and minus two local unrest. That means minus two unrest overall if you have this in every province and 33% more tax modifier, which 
pretty freaking good overall. Diplomats plus one is really good too, especially if you're gonna need a lot of diplomats. So like if you're in the HRE and stuff, right? I'm actually a little bit torn between the diplomats and the tax and unrest because that one scales up even nicer once you get the later reform. I forgot where it is. There's another one that gives you again tax and manpower from temples and cathedrals. I really forgot where it is to be honest. Around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm totally just looking for it. If you guys know it, where it is, you know. Embrace the tax meta. I mean, it's not tax meta, but it actually makes it acceptable. Uh, you vote, chat. Diplomat or tax? Diplomat or tax? Right in the chat. Diplomat or tax? That is not new. I know it's not new. Okay, we got one for Diplo so far. Diplo, Diplo. Tax, Diplo, Diplo. Tax, tax, tax. Okay. Yeah, most people for Diplo. I agree with you on Diplo, actually. Especially you also get the equilibrium for the estates. It's pretty good. And in the HRE, getting that extra Diplo means you're going to lower aggressive expansion with countries faster by improving relations. You got a lot of stuff you can do with the diplomats in the HRE, to be fair. All right. We got as a province. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm like kind of hopeful. Wait, what? We gain five development? Ain't no fucking way. Fuck yeah, I'm doing it. Hell yeah, man. Five dev in the capital is not nothing. Don't mind if I do, boys. <coughs> Ludi, when uh, face reveal, never. I'm never going to show you what I look like. Who joins the coalition? Literally nobody. I, we don't have a single bit of a coalition. Because we've been playing it chill, man. I haven't been overdoing it or anything. Ba -la 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 -la. Hey, we can get manpower now. Fuck yes, sir. Thuringia declared an unhalt. Ooh. Former greatest of friends are now at war. Oh, no. I feel like Thuringia is the big warmonger of this campaign, though. Like, look at them. They ate Laosits from under my noses, right? Under my nose, because I don't have more than one. Ludi is a VTuber just like... Okay. Okay, I see. We're throwing the V word around. I see. I see. What the fuck, Austria? What do you mean you're angry with me for taking your provinces? Fuck off. <clears throat> if you piss me off, I actually might just destroy the HRE, you motherfucker. Do you really need my help in that Bavaria, for Christ's sake, also? Jesus, man. I'll give them a shot. I'll improve with them a little bit. But if they don't want it, that's fine. I don't mind going to war. If they cancel the alliance, I quite literally will just... Uh, yep, okay. I'm going to dismantle the HRE. Fuck you. Okay, let's see who's going to be willing to be my ally, though. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Did they just fucking pimp the shit out of this event? Bro, did they just pimp the fucking shit out of this event? Yo, what's going on, Negra? How are you doing, bro? Long time, man. Never saw him play this Brandenburg before. Why dismantle when he can be? Bro, I swear to God, they this was not this strong before, was it? <laughs> this was really not this strong before. Holy shit, man. <laughs> 
Okay, let me think about this because this is a freaking huge one. 25 trade power. Bro, 25 trade power. What the fuck? I think I'm going to go for the Diplo, guys. Trade power in the Lubeck node, by the way. This is in Lude Lubeck node, right? Stad, right? It's in the Lubeck node. 25 trade power. Fuck yeah. And five freaking production development. Like, holy shit. Holy crap, man. We improved this 12 times without clicking a single button. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Bruh. Bruh for real, bruh. Alright, let's fully annex these guys as well now. Might as well do it. Oh, Austria just declared on Hungary. Oh no, Austria, you're going on a war path, aren't you? These guys are not allied to the Austrians anymore. Only the Poles. I see. I see what's up. I think it's time for me to get my claims on Poland. Well, actually, I think I... Yeah, no, I'll get my claims on Poland. I think I'm going to attack them. Fuck off, Austria. Oh, uh, where's my fleet at? My admiral's dead? Oh, no. Come over here so we can see this a little bit faster. There you go. Oh, I forgot to get uh, cannons. I forgot I just got cannons. Let's get cannons. All right, boys. We're ramping up like crazy here. We are ramping up. Get Poznan and Naklo. What ideas did Ludi take? Uh, Mr. Peanut, I took um, I took Aristocratic and um, I forgot the other one. Yo, Thuringia just gave the provinces back to Saxony and infrastructure. Their vast, their PU, and they took. Oh my God! They literally completely wiped out Anhalt. <gasps> no way. Okay, I see how it goes. Things are going interesting. Very interesting. Need to improve with the electors because I'm going to dismantle the HRE once the truce is over in four years with Austrians. Sweden no longer considered a rival. Why? Oh shit. 47 PP. No! Fuck your mama! It's literally what happens every time I click that button. Some random dude says that. It's not me, man. It's the game. Okay. Alright, Hamburg. Give me all you hamburgers. Boom. Deserved? Yo, Schmitty. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for the 5 euros, bro. Appreciate it, man. What's your favorite Japanese miner in 135? I, th I have to say it's probably... Um, it's probably the friends we made along the way. I'm kidding. No, it's uh, it's uh, definitely Shimazu. Shimazu is my favorite. I likely will do a Shimazu video, by the way. Liddy, do you live in Japan or in the UK? I live in Japan. How do I change ruler culture? Um, change your primary culture? Or there's some events that can pop up. Agreed. Japanese miner. Hamburg became Nothenburg. Liddy, my emperor. Because his audience is EO, US and EU mostly makes him... Yes, exactly what Nick just said. Yeah. Pretty much 90% of my audience is uh, US and Euro Europe. With um, with a solid 10% from Asia. Like, um, like uh, Japan mostly and some China. And other parts of Asia, of course. You sons of bitches, you join a coalition against me? You join against me, bitch! I fuck you! Can I even give Bavaria lands? Do you guys even border anybody? Oh, I can give them Nuremberg. Hell yeah, boys. Hell yeah, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let You piss me off, Thuringia. You piss me off. 
Imagine joining a coalition against me. I've only given you peace and prosperity. I've been a very peaceful neighbor. Didn't eat any of your other neighbors. Totally didn't do that. Shut up. Have an Estonian uh, stream. What? Ba Balkan lover streamer. Why don't you accept Pomeranian culture? I don't like Pomeranian people. They smell bad. That's why. I'm a racist. I'm, I'm a Pomeranian racist. <laughs> it's a joke. Um, no, it's because uh, I'm going to make them all Prussians. They're all going to be Prussians eventually. I guess I can accept them. Sure. Fuck it. Why not? There you go. I actually forgot about it, to be honest. Karma? To improve with Augsburg, we might even be able to get an alliance with them. Oh, we had war with these guys, too. Hell yeah. Alright, boys. We Poles hate them, too. <laughs> what? Demonetized. My favorite trade node, Ludic trade node. Exactly. The the one and only, right? Hey, thank you, brother. Thank you very much, Saad. Appreciate it, my friend. Another 10 Saudi Arabian Riyals. Appreciate it, bro. Wait, this guy's 100? Oh, shit, he is. When the fuck did I improve with these guys? I don't remember improving with them before. It's weird. Ludi racking in that Saudi Arabian oil mo money. Exactly. This stream is sponsored by uh, by Salman bin Sal Mohammed bin Salman. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Please. Don't slaughter me. Is AI getting smarter? Or is it the same as it was? AI is getting smarter. It's learning. It knows where you live, bro. It knows. Yo, Saad, thank you for becoming a legionary as well, man. Thank you, brother. My man flexing his oil money here, I see, huh? Stream is sponsored by Dead Dino Juice. What the fuck? <laughs> is that what we call oil? Dead Dino Juice? I like that. Can, can we get a petition to actually rename it to Dead Dino Juice? I feel like that would be more accurate. Because oil technically is Dead Dino Juice. <laughs> yeah, it knows you eat and drink. I love how the AI unconditionally surrenders after one year. Bro, if you knew some shit that happened in the early access for this, you'd panic. Don't worry, things have changed. Things have been buffed. Things have been patched. It's all all good now. It's all Gucci. Gucci must Gucci. Gucci as they say. Nuremberg, you say. Nuremberg. Where do I know that country, that city from? Nuremberg, chat. What happened in Nuremberg? Do you like CK3? I love CK3, dude. Oil was formed from the remains of ancient marine organisms, such as plants, algae, bacteria, and EU4 players. Interesting, never knew that. Long time watcher of videos, love your content. What's going on, Jim Rayner? Welcome to the stream, bro. Please no, Odin. Please no. Some trials, perhaps. Nuremberg trials. Mm, never heard of them. What did they trial on these Nuremberg trials? Clearly, they were not famous for me to not have heard of them, right? Clearly not important as well. If only they had marketing for these trials. Yusuf, what's going on there? What difficulty level are you playing on? I'm playing on uh, Schnapple Dupe. That's the difficulty level. It's a special one. Made for me especially. Yo, guys. Can I ask you a question? 
Who's down to play Tarkov with me, but we're not going to team up? <laughs> you just joined the same raid as me, and um, and I kill you from 120 meters away. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Never mind, chat. You're no fun. <laughs> it's totally not because I have a mission to kill players from that distance. It's totally not. It's got nothing to do with it. It's just coincidence that I have that mission. <laughs> uh, being stinky dinky. Maybe. Maybe. We do the stinky dinky winky pinky. Hey man, you got no proof of it, okay? Should have born in heaven is tough one, bro, for real, man. <laughs> uh, Romania biggest mission tree in the game is um, to ban Lionard. What? Why? Why would you say that, Lio? I don't understand you, bro. Why would you want to ban yourself like that? It's weird. Explain yourself. Ha oh, ha. Oh. Screw you, Bavaria. I mean, uh, Nuremberg. Screw you, Nuremberg. There you go. Got rid of Nuremberg. One more out of the way. Even if they uh, come back, they're not going to have the AE that they had with us before. So it's Gucci, actually. All right. And uh, who else is in this? Opole, Saxony. Did I couple you Apollo? I don't think I did, did I? No. Shit. Well, in that case, I'm gonna have to just go for this. I'm not gonna cancel their alliance with uh, Poland, because if I do, Austria's absolutely gonna jump on them. Damn, I guess I'm just gonna do this. That's it. Give up claims. That's it. Boom. Okay. Bye bye. I actually just attacked Thuringia because they joined the coalition. So I wanted to teach them a lesson not to join. I was basically flexing. All right. This is rightful German clay. Okay. Go away, sir. Excuse me. Fifty one AE for this, bro. Come on. Least aggressive Poland ever. Do you know oil is a new resource in one three five patch? Really? I never knew that. What's going on, Hunter? Did you well, why did you move to Japan? I heard the culture shift is hard to cope with. Nah, bro, I've I've lived outside the country my whole life, so for me it's not an issue. I'm actually used to um, different cultures so it's really not an issue for me it's a really not the issue not very nice it's very okay i kind of want to take my rightful clay though bro like this is clearly my lands What else am I going to take, though? Uh, maybe I should release nations or something. And halt, release from there. <laughs> release and halt, and they're going to have exactly the same provinces they had before. That's a big brain. Um, what else? Trade power at war reps. Yeah, that, that looks good. To me, this looks like a successful crusade. I mean, a successful war against them. Fuck is this song, bro? Hmm. These guys are gonna be an issue when I go to war. When's the truce over? 97. Okay, two years. We gotta get ready for the dismantling. So we gotta get ready for that. Poland would join in a coalition. Really? Oh, you assholes. I guess we have to wait until um, January so they don't join in the coalition.
Do you think if I release Lusatia, I would be able to diplo vassalize them? What do you think, chat? Instead of this, should I just release Lusatia? Do you think I would be able to diplo vassalize them? They got how much dev? Five, six, five. I feel like I feel like I might be able to diplo vassalize them. So I've developed my country a little bit, so I have a higher base economy, right? Too big, you think? My Diplo rep's a little bit on the low low, to be fair, though. Oh, shit. I better freeze this. Mm. It's a little bit of a gamble if I release them, though. Saves come. We could save. Yeah, we could save and check. It's worth it, I think, to check. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Confetti spaghetti, as they say in uh, Lusatia, by the way. That's that's exactly what they say there. All right, Denmark, Austria. Fuck all of you bitches. There you go. Come back here. And... Oh, I think I need to... Um, did I upgrade all of these to tier 2? Really? Okay. What about the one in Lubeck? Is it tier 2? Two? 2, yeah, it is. What about this one? This is not, bro. Come on, Riga. Come on. Um, what else I need to do? This, I don't have the tech for this yet. This one, no. This one. Yeah, there you go. Get that manpower, boys. Get that manpower. Should take Anhalt and Vassalize Losatia. Oh, shit. That is a good point. I probably should have done that. Bro, what the fuck? Wait, is this fucking bugged and it's going to be different after one month passes? Please don't fucking tell me that. Because this doesn't seem like legit. Like, this doesn't seem like I'd be able to do three provinces. Okay. I mean... No, it's... It, yeah, yeah. Look, look. 46.35. Oh, it worked. It worked. I mean, I can still do it. No, I cannot. Fuck. I knew it's bugged. Fuck. Bro. Base economic. Can I get a royal marriage with them? That should help. Because that's going to give me an extra 10. Yep, there you go. 56, 40, 48. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it, boys. I should have gotten this. Dumb, dumb. We can do it, boy. Literally, if I did it the other way, if I accepted their royal marriage and I sent the offer this month, I would have gotten the fucking thing. It's literally, if I, if I, if I, I did the wrong order, I should have accepted their offer and sent the fucking thing. Okay, hold on a second. I need to increase my base econo economy. So I need to improve my development a little bit more. Or just alt fucking F4 and do the other way. Fuck it, man. I'm going to alt F4. Stupid. Literally because I didn't fucking... <sighs> this game, man. Oh, shit, guys. This new patch. I don't know, man. It's pretty... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Shit. Wait. Wait, 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 because we just got an update. One sec, guys. One sec. Alright, we're good. Today in six hours. Can you get the PayPal plus one Diplo rep? Oh shit, you're right, dude. I have the influence. I could have gotten that. I didn't need to crash the fucking game. Ah, uh, bro. 
I wish I saw your message earlier, Smitty. Should have brought Diplo Rep guy. No, I could have just gotten it from the Pope, actually, bro. Hmm. You may only domination DLC. PDX shut you down for live streaming before DLC releases. No, 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 no. We good. We good. Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? How many months behind am I? Bro, what the F? There you go, 5950. 5th of November. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> what? Why is this not? No, no, come on. Send me a royal marriage, you bastard. Send it. Can you just send the royal marriage, please? Here you go. Boom. One. Oh! What? I'm so fucking confused. I didn't need the royal marriage. Did I have the relations? How? Didn't it say 166? Bro. Bro. What to this, bro? What to this? Okay. I'm actually going to do this because I do need to divert that trade from there. And I'm going to do that war with the, with the Russians next. Because I need to... Uh, I need to... Get rid of Livonia. So I need to integrate them. Rival. They were rivals. Oh, shit. That makes sense. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Right, right. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for pointing that out. That makes sense. You guys are very smart. I like. You are very smart. I like you guys. You guys seem like guys that go out the house a lot. Yes? Am I correct? What ideas did Ludi take? Aristocratic and um, and um, infrastructure. Plus 50 PP. Oh, shit. Shit. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot. Oh, no. I almost forgot about it. Forget about it. Hmm. All right, should be fine for now. Um, I want to attack the poles, actually. But, um... Oh, not here. Here. But I also want to attack the Russians. I don't know what to do. Because, like, if I attack the poles, I can get some provinces, and I can increase my PP, right? Because right now it's on the edge, right? But if I attack the Russians, I feed back my vassal, and... I um I can integrate them, right? So I, I don't need to worry about that particular vassal at least. Mm, what to do? What to do, what to do? Cause it's like the only one I can integrate right now. Cause Riga and Lubeck I'm not gonna integrate. Fuck that. And these guys I need to wait for ten years before I can integrate them. Russia's probably less AE. It's like zero AE, pretty much. We're gonna get some more cannons for that war, though. Um, let's do this. Oh shit! CB on Mecklenburg to vassalize them. I mean, it's not like it. Nah, it's okay. Not worth it. I think this is better. New mark. 
New Mark. You know, you guys, you know why they call this New Mark? Because it's not the old one. Does the goat reply? What's up, Rado? What's your question, bro? Ludi planning to acquire living space. The DLC is called Domination. Comedy genius. Hey, shut up, man. F? What do you mean F? Stream dies? What the fuck? Are we F or not? I'm confused. Bro. Died for a second. Okay. It died for a second. Then it came back. Boop boom. Bavaria, go fuck yourself. I'm not giving you money. All right, boys. All right. Let's get ready for the big war. Let's get ready for the big, big boys. The Russian boys. Time to get some, to acquire some space in the east. Or I guess we could say that we can just, you know, we're living in there. We're living the Vida Loca, right? Really, that's what we're doing. In the east. So you're gonna burn Moskva? No. I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> Don't know, man. Why you ask me these freaking questions? You're gonna burn Moskva, bro? Holy shit, man. Am I not a great power? What the fuck, Ming? Bro. Come on. Really? All right, let's attack the Russians so we become a great power again. I think I'm going to try and get an alliance with the, with the French, though. That's probably not a bad idea. Everyone be like scared shitless of actually going in a coalition against us. I like it. I like it. It's delicious. I improved with these guys already. How about you? I improved you too. With you too. I didn't improve with Hesse. Let's go with Hesse. Oh, dude. Gelra is literally unifying um, the lowlands. Ah, damn. Soon it's going to be called Gelra land. Hey. How did I just become a great power after mentioning it? Who stopped being a great power? Ming? Yeah, I think Ming. What happened to Ming? Did they just collapse? Ming be like, yo, I'll let you be the good guy. Brandenburg, I love you. I said, yo, that's awkward, sir. Why are you talking like that, Ming? Stop it. Just insisted on keep on talking like that. I don't know. It's just something that Ming does. Here you go. Boom, boom. That infantry fire is going to come in real handy. Okay, we got Latgalia. Let's transfer this over to them. We're basically doing a one on one reproduction of the German invasion of uh, the Soviet Union here. We have a really easy start because there's nobody fighting us. And then when they finish their war with Sibir, which they haven't yet, they're going to bring in their 60,000 horde towards us. And it's not going to be so easy anymore. How do you come up with these jokes? Bro, I don't know, man. I'm just naturally funny like that. <laughs> if you disagree, I'm afraid I have to ban you. Yo, what's going on, Eastgate? You still here, man? Holy shit, bro. 
I think the real question I'm asking is, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Still watching me? What the hell, bros? Come on. Why do you do this to yourselves? I don't get it. <laughs> you go full light tank. Ukrainians will be proud after this war. If they don't die of attrition first. True, true. True, true, true. Are you trying to point out that I'm not efficiently using my units, sir? Is that what you're trying to point out to me? You're trying to tell me, Ludi, why you don't make the attrition friendly movement here, sir? Watching because I can't play the patch? Good. That's right. Good. Watch. Cannot play the patch? Watch. You one of those guys that likes to watch? You creep? I'm just joking. Or am I? I meant the Muscovites. I can't believe I'm watching this stream since start, but it's like watching weekly Ludi show. Not about the game, but about Ludi, bro. It's never about the game. It's about the friends we made along the way, bro. Come on. We're so close to Moscow, I can smell the vodka. In Nikita's storeroom. God damn separatists, man. I hate separatists, bro. All my homies hate separatists, too. If you like separatists or no, no bueno. I don't want to barrage this because I, I don't want to... Um, Waste my mana points. I want to use it on developing and shit. I am after all playing toll, so. Ludicrous for president. I want to have the real power, though, you know? I don't want to be president. I want to be the president's wife. What? <laughs> build spy network on them? No, you. You build spy network on them, okay? Don't tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me. What you think just because you watch? You're the boss of me? I mean, technically, you kind of are. <laughs> Guderian's panzers could see the Kremlin. Ludi isn't close. Damn! Could they now? Never knew that. Sounds like bullshit to me. Yeah, it smells like bullshit, too. It would be Monica Ludinsky. King John Ludi. Protestant in Ferrara. Yeah, I, I saw that, too. <laughs> the fuck, man? Out of all the places. They spawn right now, also. What the fuck? WTF moment. Why you do this now, bro? <laughs> Two fucking thousand? What? <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of money. Okay, that is a lot of money. Uh, what are we taking here? This is Novgorodian? Yes. This is not. Yeah, okay, we're taking this. <laughs> Ludi, you gross. Stop making this sound. I make a Reddit post about you if you don't, bro. Come on, shut up. Wait, where is this song from? Is this like a E4 song or is it from uh, The Last of the Mohicans? I have a tendency of making a lot of Last of Mohican sounds. <laughs> like a lot of them, bro. I think I have a problem, honestly. A Last of the Mohican problem, you know what I mean? It's not just any problem here. You got a serious problem if it's a Last of the Mohicans one. They don't be joking around, bro. They don't be joking around. Weird sounds. Christmas songs in April. Nice. Is there a Ludi subreddit? Um, I think there is, but I haven't been active in like a year plus. So don't worry about it. Did they just finish the war with the Siberians so they can fight me? How kind of them. Who is no guy getting attacked by? Ottomans. 
Oh, dude. Oh, shit. The Ottomans are literally at the doorsteps of Europe. What the fuck, man? They're almost next to... They're at the border with... What? Austria, you have one job, bro. One job, bro. Seriously. What the fuck? I can actually get an alliance with them if I do a few changes. Bro. Okay. Oh, bro. I know, Schmitty. They fucking hate me on Reddit. <laughs> The auto man. I assume that was uh, what people did in China. One child policy. Maybe. Who's to say? I don't like being split like that. Don't like being split like that at all. I'm, I'm gonna still stay like this for a bit because I want to take uh, Moscow first. Uh, actually, we can go to Nizhny Novgorod with this army. I probably should get some more artillery as well. Kotoriazon. As long as we get the the forts, we should be fine. With um, oh, actually, speaking of forts, I should build my fort here as well. Lignitz is the best uh, defensive pr position in uh, Silesia because it covers a lot of adjacent provinces. So not only that, but it's a highlands, right? So it's easy to defend. And look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces adjacent to it are covered by this. Yeah, by this uh, fortification. They're within the zone of control. You're not sleeping today? No, sir. No, today. No sleepy, sleepy. I'm sleeping tomorrow because I, I got to do some stuff today as well anyway, so I might as well stay awake. Can never have too much money. Yes, I agree. Super curious why I live in Japan. Because... Of the reason my gold this uh, late at night has changed from learning how to e4 to making ludi laugh bro appreciate it man you're very kind thank you oh shit that's not good oh that's really not good um i uh i live in japan because my wife's japanese and we used to live in the middle east before we resigned in order to get married. That bitch, she was after my Romanian citizenship, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you now, man. That's her plan. She was after my passport. <laughs> uh. Hey, why are you laughing, guys? You think it's not true? Uh, all them Asians want to be Romanian. I'm telling you now, bro. <laughs> uh, the great Romanian Empire. Got to be careful, bro. Got to be careful. I could technically make my peace deal now. Uh, I don't want to get this just yet, though, because should I get it? I don't want to release another vassal. That's another Diplo slot I have to occupy with the vassal for now. Maybe I should just get this and release it later, though. How's that sound, Chad? Get it, release it later. Maybe even give it to these guys. Yeah, fuck it. I'll get it. Give it to them. Why not? Or I'll just keep it. I'll core it myself and I'll release it later. It's not that much admin points anyway. It's like, what? 33? Fuck it. 
All right, the boss. Oh, we can upgrade the Brandenburg Lit. Prestige from battles plus 50%. Prestige from battles plus 100%. What a great reward, guys. If you like the roleplay. Okay. Well, now we can integrate these guys. What the fuck? It takes that long? What the F, bro? Why? Jesus, mother of God. Oof. Wait, these guys are not possible as my rival anymore. Why? So many questions. So few answers. I'm telling you. It's weird. Muscovy as rival? Yes, sir. Oh. Is my truce over with these guys? It is. It is. Boys. It is. All right, so let's see what alliances we can get so we can dismantle the freaking HRE. Trier, Augsburg, Köln, I think I can get these. One, two, three, four. Five with me, and then Mainz, I cannot get, no, no. So Mainz, and Austria. How the fuck am I going to get mines, though? I probably have to do a separate war to get mines, don't I? I, sh I could attack one of my... I can attack Berg, which is going to call in mines. And then whilst I'm in that war, I attack the Austrians. Yeah, I think that's the play. That's definitely the play. Alright, cool. Let's get ready for that. Need to win the League Wars. Flip the religion now. Um, no need. I'm not flipping religion now because they already have the freaking centers of reformation. I wasn't fast enough because I was at war with the Russians. And, um, and all three of them are taken. So it is what it is. So it's no point for me to flip now. I'm going to keep staying Catholic for two reasons. So I can get the alliances with the electors. As a Catholic, it's easier. And then after I got the alliances and I dismantled the HRE. Is that an earthquake? Then I can um, flip Protestant. Fuck the League War. Oh, I got all of these built? Hot damn. Nice. Oh, shit. The canals of Berlin Köln. Hell yeah. What the fuck? 600 ducats or 85 diplo power. That's a lot of influence for the nobility, though. Huh. What do you think, chat? Should we get... Should we use the money or should we use the Diplo power? You know the release hour of the DLC? No clue. Money? Saw someone outside of the HRE become an emperor but not dismantled so far. Money is a number. All right, I can do that. Mm. All right, sure. There you go. So, let's get this. Indebted to the blurger, Blurgers. You guys hear of the Blurgers before? All right. Mm. Oh, I need the claim on these guys. I don't have the claim. Okay. Let's go. Come over here. What the 
fuck is this depressing medieval music here? Okay, let's change it. Let's change it to something more, more interesting. West African music. Let's go. No, fuck that. Let's go. Christmas, Yuletide, whatever thingy. I like that one. That's a good song. Boom. I've got my alliance as well. I can do my mission. This permanent power. No, it's not. Fuck. I asked them to make this permanent power projection. They didn't do it. My disappointment is immeasurable. Not going to lie. It's literally immeasurable. I'm very upset about this. If you were born 1500, you would be a peasant or a king. I would be 100% a fucking peasant, bro. What do you think? Damn, man. It's literally the only country that doesn't have permanent power projection. I'm so upset. <sighs> it is what it is. So check this out guys if you um if you do this mission and you have 25 universities you get a second golden era Lydia would get conscripted to fight for the ottomans probably yeah this is a really good one so it's good not to do it until you have the 25 universities brandenburg i wasn't expecting that didn't asbach succession give 25 permanent pp now no it didn't Oh, wait, it does. What the fuck? Are you shitting me? Well, we got some bad RNG because we didn't get the succession. Because our heir died, so. Um... Hmm. I see. Well, interesting. Interesting. I guess that's a good point to restart uh, Alte for if your heir dies, so you can get the the succession. This is also a really good one after you conquer Silesia. Promoting a culture will reduce aggressive expansion by three, flat three. So, for example. If you have 300 Diplo points, you could get minus 9 uh, aggressive expansion, which means you could potentially cut off like 10 years of just waiting for the aggressive expansion to go down, which is a big deal. Pretty, pretty good. It's not broken. I think it's balanced. Shut up, man. Don't say it's broken. <laughs> then they're going to freaking patch it. <laughs> uh, what else is there here that's good? We're going to do this eventually with the renovation of Berlin. Wait, I think I have a temple workshop. Right? I don't have a fucking workshop in Berlin. Are you shitting me? Ain't no way. How the F do I not have a workshop in here, bro? That's weird. Hmm. Development twenty five workshop in Temple. Yeah, I need to... Uh, fuck me. I need to build a workshop here. I need to wait for this to finish and then I can build a workshop. Five speed. Yeah, 
I agree, Xi Jinping. I like it too. Why don't you invest uh, infrastructure in Berlin? If uh, building us, that's actually not a bad idea, to be honest. Why not? We can do that. It's a really good point. Makes everything cheaper. All the mana. I know, right? All that juicy mana. Mana, 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 mana. Mana points. Mana points. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can get this one. Alright. Um, what was I going to do? Dismantle. Come on already. There you go. Alright, cool. So, we're ready for this. They still have the alliance with Berg. They still have it. It's going to cost us a lot now. I'm going to increase the amount of artillery I got. It's going to cost us a lot of um, Diplo points. Because we're going to be over our Diplo relation slots for by a lot for a while. One, two... Let me think about this for a sec. How am I going to do it? Do I have a CB on these guys? I do have. Humiliation. CB. Do I want to use Humiliation CB though? Because that means I'm not going to be able to get anyone in this. If I use some sort of Conquest CB, I'm going to get the French in it. I guess I should get a claim on the Austrians too. Yeah, that's the play. Holy shit, I can diplovasalize everybody now. Bro. Hey, Jerry, kill, please. I will, I will. When will you liberate Romania? What's going on, Vlad? Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Welcome to stream. What the fudge? Bruno! Looking forward to play this DLC. Greetings from Brazil. One of these days, make a gameplay with my uh, fellow Tupinamba. I might. I might. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the 22... I'm guessing that is Reais, but I see a dollar mark in there, so I'm a little bit confused what that is, to be honest. I know it's Reais, right, in uh, Brazil, if 
I'm not mistaken. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much, man. Really, really means a lot. It seems like there's going to be a new uh, Brandenburg video. Yes, sir. Of course. Rihanna Keeves, bro. What's the coalition looking like? No coalition, bro. We've been chilling here, man. There you go. Literally nobody. Oh. Three eyes. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That was domination. It's good. It's love it. Love it a lot. It's really good. You're going to need to culture shift to grief for no reason. How about no? Do you take a no for an answer? All right, let's do it. Step one, ally all the electors. Boom. Actually, I could do this too. Um, or is it... Uh, Bohemia, okay. Kiln, okay. Palatinat, okay. Trier, okay. Augsburg, okay. Mines is the problem. Okay. Hesse, Eidrithberg. Okay. Cool. We're going to do this. I'm going to get these guys in with all of this shit. Oh, actually. If I get these guys in with all that shit, then... I'm going to need to actually give them lands. Um, Mines, Nassau, Gelre, Haino. What the fuck, Augsburg? What lands can I even give to Augsburg? They don't have anyone around, do they? I'm a little bit confused. Do you guys see anything I could give Augsburg here? What the fuck? There's nobody in the... No, I cannot give you shit, Augsburg. Fuck off. Yes, it will, Mahdi. Yeah. Present for the Fuggers. What do you think about playing multiplayer E4 on YouTube? I used to do it in the past. No. Big no. Um... Okay, Kiln and Trier, I can give shit. Yeah, all right, let's go. Boom, that's step one. And in one month, we can attack the Austrians too. Actually, you guys can handle that shit. I'm going to go over to mine, siege their capital straight. Oh, I'm going to need to take all mooks also, aren't I? Yeah. That is a big problemos. Or no, I can pass by, actually. I can pass by. Yep. All right, let's go. Siege is down. Once we take this, we can uh, push over into the Austrian lands. Fall at 7%. Come on, do it. Do it for me. Fall at 7%. No? Okay, never mind. Why won't you play any multiplayer? It's uh, too toxic, ends up being too toxic, and I don't enjoy it, so. That is why, my friend. That is why. No lucky 7%, bro, for real, man. Okay, we got mines. Beautiful. Let's go. Next. Call in the French. Should be able to get some help from that. And boom. Ah, la, 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 la. All right. Straight for the capital. Straight for the head of the snake. Let's talk about how sometimes it's best to raise autonomy. It can be sometimes, yeah. Like if you if you don't want to deal with the rebels and it's like a really small insignificant um, province like that doesn't give much economy anyway on an island yeah sure then yeah in that case for sure yeah hallelujah oh no oh no shit oh well, I gotta pull back now.
Oh, come on. You accepting regiments now for real? Bro. Why you do this? Oh, no. <laughs> They're chasing me down, the bastards. Bro. What the hell, man? What's their tech at? Got the same tech as me. You guys are way too, uh... Too quick with the chase here, boys. Okay, I'm gonna backpedal a little bit, and I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna siege Vienna again. Let's go like this, and like this. Well, actually, we gotta recover a little bit, so let's go like this first. Go around, basically. Is Gallery at war with me as well? Damn. Mm, let's peace out Gallery first, maybe. Gelray Baden, get rid of some of these boys. There you go. Baden, please go away. Thank you very much. And who else is here? Austria, Austria. Uh, this stuff here. Oh, dude, give some to Trier, man. What the hell is this? You greedy bastards. See, that fort in Leibniz that I built earlier is helping out so much right now. F? Is the stream dead? What the fuck, man? You don't have to siege Prague also? I do, yeah. yeah let's go Prague first, I guess. Let's bring the rest of the army too. Uh, can I get a white piece with you guys? Really? No? What if I siege the north a bit as well? How about I know? I know should be fine, right? Yeah. There you go. Ludi, I want to buy Danzig and rename it to Mordor. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, thank you very much for the 10 Polish nano burgers, sir. I really appreciate that. In your opinion, with the update... With this update, will it be more difficult to obtain achievements in which you have to beat the great powers? For example, Dracula's Revenge. Maybe a little bit, yeah. You were just uh, overconfident with sieging Vienna? I was, I was. I didn't expect them to actually have anything, to be fair. Didn't expect them to have anything around there. Oh, did I just get a trade from that one battle? Holy shit. That's great. Let's go siege this. Actually, let's uh, intercept these 4,000. Oh, fuck you. Ah, I hate this. Why they intercepted me again, man? All right. Let's go with the whole army. Fuck it. Let's not make the same mistake again. They are after a pretty strong. They're not a pushover. They got more units than me and everything, so. They are the emperor of the Herchari. Alright. Boom. Okay, one down. Should be able to piece these guys out soon, I guess. Holland's in this too? Damn. Didn't even notice the Dutch. Burger brand. Mortar, you said you want me to rename Danzig, right? Alright, let's change it. Mortar. 
There we go. You like uh, Tolkien's work, I'm guessing. I too am a am an enjoyer of the of the Tolkien. He do be right, very nice stuff. Dismantling time, almost there. Got to siege this, and then one more city, and we're done. Oh, man, I was going to barrage and I don't have the mana points to barrage. <laughs> bruh. Big bruh moment. Game just went like, nope, no barrage for you, bro. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, let's give this over to Trier. I think that's going to make him very happy. Oh, damn. France is actually fighting for us. Nice. And we just integrated these lands. Beautiful. Loving it. I'm loving it. You know, they always go like, I'm loving it. But what do they love, though? What is That's my question. What do they love? What is it? What does it stand for, really? What does it actually stand for? POE to bloody stream. I didn't hit the snow, but I kept my expectation low. Can't expect as much as movies every time. You saw snow for the first time? Currently, my AP European history class. <laughs> Have fun, bro. Vienna, 7%. Obviously, talking about you, Ludi. They love cholesterol. Of course, of course. Of course. Oh, we can feast these guys as well. Alright, nice. Trade, war reps. And I don't know, whatever. Hey, boys, are you ready for the button? I'll add all provinces before, okay? Are you ready for this, boys? I'm not gonna click it. I'm just gonna leave. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh no! It is a gone! We gain 25 power projection. It should be permanent power. I'm just saying. It should be permanent power projection, okay? It should be permanent when you dismantle the HRE. I'm just saying. Alright. Nice. Pretty good, boys. Pretty good. And now, it's basically no aggressive expansion when expanding. Mines. Let's give this out to both of these boys. Oh shit, I don't want this. We can give this to Trier. I, I'm pretty sure Trier wants this. Really? Okay. Okay, we got to change our tier one reform as well. So um, we can go for elective monarchy, autocracy, and I'll actually really like autocracy now, or this one, of course. Oh, actually, this one improves our strong duchy's privilege, grants 5% more loyalty. Damn, that's a new one. That's a new one, right? It's still like autocracy more. 
Alrighty, not bad. Oh, we gotta change the second tier one as well. Oh shit, so that does not mean I got seven out of six now. So what happens then? Do I, let's unpause. Do I keep seven out of six? <gasps> Weird. Okay. Uh, what are we gonna go for? Manpower. Hmm. This is not bad to be fair, right? Because it scales up nicely with the other cap costs that I have and everything. But I really want to lower the influence of the nobility. I don't care about the tax modifier too much. The nobility influence is really high. I kind of want to lower that. We can change it later to something else if we need to. All right. Look how big Kjoln is! Nice. Alright, boys. That's it. That was that was the end of the HRE. Ludi, is Ramadan? Go touch some grass, <laughs> bro. Bro. Did you just assume I have to touch grass? What's wrong with you? Alright, we're doing a white piece, basically, here. Just getting some money. There you go, because that war was just to dismantle the tree. Didn't really care about it too much. All right, there you go. Now it should be easy to literally kill everybody else in the tree. Don't feel like I want to do it though. I want to see how it uh, fares with just the ideas that we have in the small lands that we have. That was the original plan, right? So. Mm. Oh. Königsberg peasants? Oh no. Cannot let them thrive over here. So, gotta get rid of them. Whenever this truce is over, we're gonna gobble up the entirety of Opole. Well, except the province of Ostrova. And I also want to attack the Poles. So I guess I'm just going to focus on the Poles, really. Wait, no. Good night. Fees le flip. Bro, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate him and uh, appreciate the... Uh, I'm guessing that is um, UAE Deer Hums. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, man, for the 17 deer hounds. And good night, man. 1 a.m. Cancel alliances. Oh, shit. Thank you for a reminder. Yeah, 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 that's a good point. All right, there you go. I think that's it, right? I think I might cancel the Palatinat, too. Yeah. Do I have a royal marriage with them? I don't. Okay. Bye-bye. HRE dismantled. Yep. Yes, indeed. Isle Deerham. What's an Isle Deerham? These are going to be fairly easy wars against like Oldenburg and these smaller nations here now. Since they're not protected by the HRE Emperor. And the AE is significantly less.
Change your religion. Oh, thank you for the reminder. Good point. Let me do that. Gotta be at peace, though. So, after this war. And attack these guys as well. Wait, what? No. Oh, Munster's in this. What? Some interesting pathing right there. You guys saw that? Basically, nobody cares about this now. Oh, I'm loving it. It's a free buffet. Swedish buffet, whatever you call it. Alright, let's go. Protestants it is. Oh, fuck, I'm defender of the faith. No, I forgot I took this to the war, bro. <laughs> Oh, shit. Mistakes were made, boys. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Woke up with a sore throat and headache. Colon sick. Now I can watch Ludi. Awesome. Awesome. You shouldn't be calling in sick, though, bro. But if you are sick, that's fine. You should, then. I mean, I guess whilst we wait for somebody else to claim the title, we can attack around us. Like, say, attack the poles. Oh, fuck you, really? Can you rename me Tau to Bita so that we got Bita Venden? Sure, sure. Appreciate the, the five euros, Franconian. Be honest, German folk in the chat. Do you do this usually? Do you usually do this in your games? Be honest. When does the Ottoman video come out? Uh, should be tomorrow, bro. Should be tomorrow. I have five paid days of sick leave to take, so no worries there. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Here's some advice I, uh, I honestly give you. I want to give you guys, um, if you have sick days in your job and you haven't taken them, take them. I know a lot of companies encourage people not to take their sick days. Those companies suck dick, first off, and don't listen to them. Take what, what you're entitled, entitled to, seriously. If you have sick days, take your sick days, guys. And use them wisely, you know. Lots of unused diplomats. I know, I know, I know. That's what I'm doing now. Fifty-eight. I can wait for one year and then I can attack both of them, I guess. Three years is too long. I don't want to wait for three years for three years as well. But two is fine. Wait, no, come back. Honestly surprised I didn't have a workshop here. It's giving me 0 0.52 ducats. Almost half a ducat. More than half a ducat.
Okay, let's lower the autonomy. I think I forgot to lower the autonomy in the Livonian parts, didn't I? After I took them. Yeah, I think so. There you go. That increased our land force limit by three. Can't you lose a ward to get rid of the defender? I could, yeah. I could. I could. That's a good point. Hey, it's a new age, boys and girls. Ah, who am I kidding? There's no girls in chat. All right, this is awesome. We get Splendor monthly and Admin points monthly plus one. That is freaking great right there. That is really freaking great. And we get the renovation of Berlin commencing. Empower the Junkers. Army tradition DK minus 1%. It's huge as well. I mean, freaking huge. And it's easy to get now. Just 60 influence for the nobility is really easy to get. So look at this now, right? We're at 66 army tradition and we're barely losing it. If it was any other nation, we'd be losing it so much faster now. Um, 50 army professionalism. Oh, shit. I need to work on that. And then that one is easy as well to get. Hmm. That one's easy-ish. For that one, I gotta convert first. Uh, so after the word with the poles, I can convert. Do you say defender of the faith even if the pope hates you? Um, I think so. I don't think it has anything to do with the pope. I guess I know what's going for told, but yeah. Love you, channel. Watch all the guys uh, that came out by E4YouTubers and yours is the best for both information and detail to the D DLC changes. Thank you. Thank you for watching, Gio. I appreciate you watching the videos, man. Thank you very much. Hopefully you can do a video on the patch notes for the DLC. I really enjoy those videos. I might. I might. Um, next video is going to be probably a States video or Ottoman video. I got two videos that I'm not sure which one I'm going to release first. But likely I'll do the Estates one first. And then after the Ottomans. Let's see. Will you keep the live saber, save, save? Yes, the live stream, I'll keep it up afterwards. What is your opinion about decadence? I think it's a good system. I hope they implement that in more countries. What's going on, Nico? I've always hated the maintain forts modifier for army tradition. Why? It helps. It literally keeps your forts, uh, the forts, uh, you know, it means that you lose army tradition slower if you have forts maintained. It's not a bad mechanic. If anything, it's good. How the fuck is my vassal got colonialism? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay, Riga. Okay, I got some questions right now. Okay? Come on. Come on. Why not domination DLC till 18th? That's when it's coming out. So the number of forts required plus the maintain at 1 plus. Approximately 9 to 10 hours if you trust the Steam page. Not paid to say that, but can I have my wallet back? <laughs> no, it's mine. I lost your chance when you clicked on the stream. You should know this by now. All right, we got Lusatia integrated. Beautiful noise. Let's lower this. You guys probably know this already, right? You get 60 autonomy at a minimum once you integrate your vassals or subjects or whatever. It can be more if they had a lot of um, 
if they had a lot of autonomy as it was before. Oh, can we attack him now? Yes, sir. All right, cool. So we're going to go for Poznan. There you go. Beautiful. Let's go. Hey, we got 20% uh, defensiveness in Königsberg. That's nice. I like that uh, modifier. That event that offers the permanent modifier there. It's pretty good. Pretty chic, bro. Chic. And we got Anhalt 2. Nice. Gotta make this a full court. Let's go. Doing it one culture? Nah, we just chilling, man. Lily, with the uh, changes to Auto Bros and the French, French, French. How was has Austria been performing in your test runs? Um, it's actually been performing pretty decent, Adam. Like AI, um, AI Austria has been performing pretty good. I haven't found any like you know I haven't seen it like lag behind a lot or anything so. Surprisingly good. All right. There we go. Now we have all of Silesia, boys. All for ourselves. That means we can do this mission. Conquest of Silesia. Nice. We got that nice little addition there with the aggressive expansion now. Oh, Lithuania has theirs, right? Oh, okay, I see what's up. Okay, we can take this in this war. So it's almost nobody in the coalition, which is fine. Oh, go to Krakow, please. Um, Thuringia is not co-belligerated, so I probably will just white piece them. Yeah, maybe take some money. Yeah, I could take some money. Fuck it. There you go. Denmark. Okay, let's get rid of Denmark as well. The Danes are not so strong anymore. Only 13,000 units. They lost all of their uh, holdings. They still have N Norway, actually. What? Wow. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. They have less ships than I have, though. Wow. They're not what they used to be, are they? Why not take the statute and restraint of appeals decision to get rid of the Defender of the Faith? Um, you know what? That's actually one of the smartest thing I've heard. Thank you for that suggestion. How am I going to go below 50 with these guys, though, man? Yo, Echo, thank you for becoming a Centurion, brother. Thank you, man. Really, really means a lot, brother. Thank you so much. Don't war toxins cost you mil points? Oh, true, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do that because I already sent them an insult. I cannot send it again. If I ask, they're actually going to fucking give me. Does this does it work with fleet basin rights too? Let's check. No. 
doesn't. Mm. Embargo. Oh, shit. Good, good, good point. Good point, good point. Good point, bro. Ah, damn, you guys are smart. Wait, where's my army at? Oh, it's in here. Okay. Slavic Cat as well becoming a Legionnaire. Thank you, guys. Really, really appreciate it, man. You guys are very nice. Appreciate it very much. Uh, let me improve a little bit. Better. Just don't necessarily know what to do with my diplomats right now. So, um, let me bring this guy back though. It's embargo. It can happen. There you go. All right, we got you now. Fuck yeah. All right, so let's cancel the embargo and we can. Oh, fuck's sake, really? Oh, dude, this is a horrible fucking event. What the fuck? Bro. I'm green now. Yes, you are. Last you conquered all of uh, Germany by 1500. Bro, last I conquered all of Germany by 1476. Live, Ahmed. Live, on stream. Today, I'm just fucking chilling. So calm down. Alright, I'm gonna alt for this fucker. Fuck this event. Spend everything on governing capacity. Nah, fuck that man. Just all there for him. What are the best ideas for playing tall? Freaking green caches all the time. I don't know. I, I cannot explain why, Schmitty. Best ideas for playing tall. I'm going to explain that in a playing tall uh, video soon. Zavik. For the update for the for the new update does ottoman ai take mamluks with the new cb or just uh, lands it takes the entirety of mamluks with the new cb it's called an invasion cb for the alets and you basically make them your special type of vassal the alet in one war is that a bird maybe maybe is economics or trade better for making money uh depends depends on your location depends on a lot of things actually Lily tends to stream more on Twitch. I do stream mostly on Twitch, yeah. It's rare when I play um, on YouTube. Yeah, I'll just do a white piece with the Danes so I can use my army in the Polish lands. Oh, wait, no, they're going to push me. Oh, that's a big stack. I'm going to need to bring these guys from Denmark. Oh, come on, really? Every time I catch him on Twitch, he's just chatting. Most of the times when I do stream on Twitch, I am just chatting or playing Tarkov. That's true.
I don't really play much U4 nowadays on uh, Twitch. Because usually when I play on Twitch, I just literally try to chill and just enjoy myself and have fun. So I play games that I normally play in my spare time, which is Tarkov. Okay, we're gonna have to do this even if we lose the battle because um we want to push them away from that from the fort oh wow we actually freaking won that battle that's pretty cool well last year in the netherlands get pa updates in the next patch i have no idea my spirit streamer. We're exhaustion after reloading. I'm from Brazil. Say please oranges and Portuguese for me. Oranges and Portuguese? What? Portocale? Why do you, why you want me to say that, bro? It's weird. It's just weird, bro. Okay, let's bring this guy back. What ideas did you take? I, t I went for um, aristocratic and uh, infrastructure. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, you know about this, right? That slacking in recruitment doesn't give you a flat amount of manpower. So you cannot just get manpower whenever you want anymore. You actually have to wait for it to go back up. Why no Valachia stream? It's a good question, dude. Why no Valachia stream? Who's the best American? Clearly, sir. Clearly, that is... um. Joe. Joey Chibiani. I still remember the episode. I mean, I'm not saying that Friends is funny or anything, but they have their moments, I guess. Um, I still remember the episode where Joe, Joe, Joey's like looking for an alternate name, alter ego, whatever, as acting, right? And he's like, uh, I'm thinking to be, I'm thinking to call myself Joseph for now on. And then, uh, Oh yeah, uh, Chandler's like Joseph. You should you should add something more to it, like maybe Joseph Stalin. <laughs> like yeah, that sounds good. Fuck. <laughs> I mean yeah, why not? You know what I mean? No issue with that, right? Oh come on, <laughs> one stability again, bro. That's the second time. Joey Sin. Joe Jover. What is Joe Jover? Ludi, where are you from? I am from Earth. The third planet in the solar system. Where are you from, sir? Oh, I'm going to get river crossing, aren't I? Yeah. What terrain, actually? Not the river crossing. Okay. That's fine. All right. Let's get this out of the way. Boom. There you go. Come back now. I can take all the stuff I want already? What? Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> there you go, boys. 
Forgotten as a land. Hell yeah, conquest of Poland. Can you say something in Swedish for me? I know uh Tak Tak Echo and I know um Hey hey <laughs> Thank you brother for the Swedish corners. Ludi did not specify which solar system he's from. What did you do, Ludi? True, true. I need to be more specific about these things. Unbelievable. How dare I not specify exactly? Bro, how am I still the freaking... No, I gotta lose a war, man. I gotta declare a fake war against someone and lose it. That's the actual way of getting rid of this. Lower the autonomy as well. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna have to redo some of these forts as well later down the line. Change a few around here. Alright, who am I going to do a quick war against? Um, I'm going to do one against these guys, but I'm not going to fake it. This one I'm actually going to annex them both. Should I waste that many points? Nah, not worth it. Now the big money is going to come in after we get Hamburg and Bremen. Your life may not be an Iron Man. What? How do you lose Defender to Faith when your leader dies? Uh, no, you, you need to lose a war, if I'm not mistaken. Or you need to have less prestige than um, another person that claims Defender of the Faith. Tells you here. I think it used to tell you. Okay. Oh my god, only 22 aggressive expansion for that. That is so freaking low. Well, actually, I could say... Um, take one of the cities and the other one I could just lose against. Rebellenstein. I see. I see what's up. Now 
Now you gotta concede defeat in a war hound. What's going on, Azores? Take Hamburg, lose that to the other one. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Oh shit! I didn't fucking take colonialism. I literally took those. I wasted like 400 mana points. I thought I already had colonialism. Bro, I literally wasted like 400 mana points. It's okay. Alright, let's lose to these guys now. So, offer tribute, concede defeat. Oh, fuck, they unconditionally surrendered, so I cannot give them nothing. I cannot lose. Well, does this count as a loss, though? If I offer tribute? I don't think so. It's got to be actually me conceding defeat, if I'm not mistaken. Right? I took money, right? I took money. Give them money. Oh, I could have given them money. True, bro. Wait, could I have given them money? Because they did unconditionally surrender to me. I don't think you can give them money. Yeah, it's okay. I'll give it to the next one. Alright, let's attack these guys now. Um, East Frisia, Mecklenburg. We're fighting somebody in Italy? What? Oh shit, no. Ah! Oh, that's bad. Please not kill me. Alright, they're not brave enough to kill me. I guess the Danes would be the big boy here. And let's also get Ghost, uh, Brunswick out quick. Oh, he's really bad, bro. It had to be done, chat. It had to be done. We're 14,000 soldiers behind. Oh, no. I think it's time for us to uh, get some mercenaries. Why you live in Japan? Why not? Eat, eat, eat. Mm. 
this point you can clearly see how tired he is. Is it that obvious, chat? I mean, I entered this stream pretty tired, to be fair. Why does this not have any general? Okay. Hokey donkey. Mm, okay. How much would it actually cost me to hire a mercenary company? So, 10 ducats maintenance for the Grand Company. That's actually pretty expensive, bro. Holy shit. That's like double the amount of regular units. Yeah, that's literally double the amount. No, not double. It's like 25% increase right now. Which is a lot. Fucking hell. I guess I could do a little bit of this then. Oh my god, look at that. Literally went up to 1.3 thousand recruit, uh, units recruited per month. Holy shit, that's huge. That's actually huge. When did Bavaria happen? Pretty early on, actually. We've allied them as well. Exactly, Hound. What's going on, Zom? Do they have SpongeBob in Japan? I guess so. It's like an international cartoon, right? All right, boys. So now, what are we going to go for? We're going to go for artillery cost and barrage. Or... Oh. General War Commission is pretty good, too. Army Tradition 0 0.5 pretty much solidifies the fact that we're always going to have 100% ar Army Tradition. Mercenary cost minus 25 would negate the cost of those mercenaries right now. Hmm. What do you think, Chad? National supply limit is not bad also. Because it also gives reinforcement speed, which is a big deal. Honestly, I'm thinking to go for this one. But, at the same time... I don't mind going for the army tra army tradition, right? Because then, let's check. There you go. Holy fuck, man. 86 army tradition and we're only losing 0 0.7. That is insane, dude. That is actually freaking insane. So once we change to the Prussian ideas, it's going to be even better. Damn. That's really good. All right. Let's lose to one of these bad boys. Um, who are we going to lose to? Mecklenburg, Brunswick. I guess Brunswick. Kallenberg? Where the hell is Kallenberg? I don't even know where they are. Barrage? You keep barraging? I haven't barraged a single time. What are you talking about, dude? I literally have not barraged a single fort. This whole campaign. Not a single one. Talking about barrage. That's why we managed to get so many mana points. We haven't used it. Oh, what the fuck am I doing?
Oh, dude. Can I only do uh, concede defeat to the war leader? Is that what's up? I think that's what's up, isn't it? Eesh. Kind of want to annex the war leader. War reparations? I don't want to give him fucking war reps. Fuck off. Yeah, pretty much striker. It's an old day year. Yeah. What are your thoughts so far for the update for Brandenburg? I like it, man. I like the new changes. What do you think of infrastructure and the other new ideas? Infrastructure is good. The other two are shit. Why are you trying to concede defeat so I can get rid of uh, Defender of the Faith? Thank you for watching them, Douglas. Why do you need to concede to get rid of Defender of the Faith? Oh, Antwerp and Siege done. Nice. Okay, war reps, all that schnapps. There you go, that's fine. Boom, come back. Oh boy, how am I going to even reach Ferrara? I don't think I'm going to be able even to reach them. Come over here, get rid of these guys. So we have three, four more nations, right? Oh, Ferrara. Yeah, four or five actually with Ferrara, I think. Okay, you guys give me a trade power or reps. Oh, come on, not even trade power, really? Denmark? Do you actually want me to come all the way down to fight them, oh? Huh? Hmm. Brave, brave. Foolish, but brave. go got rid of the Danes and now we just need to get rid of East Friesland all right three more provinces beautiful mm. Guess we will have to chill for a bit after. And I guess I also have to go into the south because I cannot um, piece them out without Ferrara's stuff. Apparently at least. Hey, this guy's better. Way better than the previous one, right? No, actually, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> Whoa, what? Autumn is just joining a coalition against me? No, 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 no. Ooh, I got scared there for a second. Was there AE with me? They got no AE with me. Fuck yeah. 
Just the way I like it. I got 16,000 men. You guys saw that, right? 16,000 manpower from Lubeck, a one province miner. Pretty sure they don't even have 16,000 manpower. <laughs> Bruh. This event's triggering a lot more this patch, though. Like, I've gotten it so many times. So freaking many times. I like it, though. I'm not complaining. It makes it worth it to have more vassals, right? Disinherit him, please. Reform pop up. Yes, it, sh it sure did. We're just in a bit of a pickle. Hold up. All right. Hey, more permanent claims. Nice. Can I give them concede defeat? Yes, I can. Fuck. I'm going to do it, bro. I know, but I'm going to do it. What the fuck, dude? Bro. Oh my god, I fucking made them concede. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, okay. Just testing you, chat. I was testing to see if you're paying attention. So, it's, uh, it's a test. You passed. Good job. <laughs> so, it's a good, it's a good, good test. <laughs> Pay attention to weird friends. Wait, what? What weird friends? Why the fuck did the game save right after the fucking peace deal? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> uh, it's all good. It's fine. Slowly dying inside. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Everything is fine. It's all good. <laughs> Alright. No problem. We got this. We gotten this. How can I be? What if I lose all of my prestige? That would also make me lose Defender of the Faith, right? Somebody else could easily claim it then. That would be one way, right? Yeah, AI doesn't claim Defender that much, sadly. Can you test the new mechanics of accepting culture to reduce uh, aggressive expansion? Oh, shit. That's a good fucking point, man. Let's check that. Let me uh, wait for some Diplo points to go up because I don't have it yet. One sec.
Once it goes up, we'll check it. How do I not have a claim on these guys? What the fuck? Hmm. Wasn't it like Gelray owning half of this? How did it end up with Holland taking everything over now? <laughs> this is turning into a very historical game. And what the fuck is France not getting their provinces back still? Bro. What? How? Dude. D Aragon's still not in a junior partner with... Bro, what is going on in this freaking cursed ass game? Abdicate? No. I don't want to. It's not going to help anyway. Alright. I guess we just got to wait. We have pretty big issues with governing capacity, I guess, as well now. Mm. Bohemia, Austria, Genoa, H Hungary, and Holland. French conquest of Sundgau. They attacked the Austrians directly. They got big bulls. Holy shit. Massive freaking bulls. Okay. I like that. I respect that. Let's go. Oh, look, Savoy's pretty good, bros. Look at that. Milan would make an excellent vassal, wouldn't it? Hmm. Pretty strange France, though, that's for sure. Yellow pressure. Nope. Zealots, he's an Iron Man usually. Yeah, I'm in Iron Man now also. There you go. Is that even a question? Jesus. Oh, wow, really? Nice pathing, bro. Fuck. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's go over here. Maybe I can lose to the Austrians. Or not. Some of these freaking songs are weird as shit. Maybe it's because I'm not used to them. Because I never had these songs before, right? But they do be weird. Go back to the Ottoman one. There you go. So much metal on the new OST. Bro, for real, it's too much, man. For real. Oh my god, fucking finally, bro. Come on. Come the fuck on. There you go, boys. There you freaking go. I'm not gonna click this. I'm just not gonna click it. Imagine if I didn't click it right now. How many of you guys would be so pissed? <laughs> oh my freaking glad. Holy shit, that is beautiful as fuck, isn't it? Man, this 50% governing capacity thing really fucking sucks, dick. Not gonna lie. Massively sucks. Army with the state, let's go. Indeed, sir. Indeed, Sad. Thank you, brother, for the reals, man. Hallelujah for his mercy endureth forever and ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, indeed. I really hope they lower the DK rate, man. Like, my biggest gripe with this is the DK is really freaking bad. Like, it's, it's decaying super fast, man. It's really super fast decaying. Like it, it literally is not worth investing 50 military points. How many? 10 times. 500 military points. And you're going to lose that bonus in a really, really short amount of time.
They left the coalition, so I'm literally... It's like a free Swedish buffet right now. Admin ideas are needed for sure. Oh no, in this run we don't need as pressure. Why don't you get the estates plus one governing uh, capacity? I have uh, a couple of those. I'm, I'm gonna get more if I need it. I can get this one for example. The one for the nobility I'll get later. I have other stuff that I need from them for now. Um, yeah, but even with that though, like, you know, it's still not good. I remember this color from a mod I made a while back for E4. This exact color I used for Prussia, man. So beautiful, for real. So beautiful on the map. Love it. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot better now, Jesus. Yeah. It used to be complete trash before. Now I gotta think how I'm gonna attack in what order so I can annex everybody. Because I need like three wars and I can annex anyone now. I got enough manpower to do it as well in economy. Check it out. 70% in Baltic and 73% in the Lubeck node. And in the Lubeck node, I only own this area, right? I don't own any of that stuff. Pretty significant. What looty ideas running? Um, I'm, I got aristocratic infrastructure and trade ideas. Trade with infrastructure also gives global trade power and goods produced plus 10%. And trade with aristocratic gives one extra merchant and trade power abroad. So I get... Four merchants from this set. Four merchants. Trade power abroad plus 50, is it? Yeah, plus 50. Um, trade efficiency plus 10. Trade steering, caravan power, trade range. Merchant trade power. And um, diplomats a lot. Devving up. All that shit, governing capacity, all that. The the policy here also gives another governing capacity plus ten percent and autonomy change. So I feel like this is a really good um, set here for playing total, in my opinion, and for just overall having good economy and army mixture, basically, because it's not pure eco. This is eco with army and with you know good country management here right here this is the meta basically admin gives a 250 governing capacity though it's not worth it though so you get governing capacity modifier plus 20 percent you get the same shit from this and the policy So this policy and this. It's the same shit as the admin. But admin, the rest is crap. I mean, core creation cost is not crap, obviously. It's good. But everything else from admin is fucking crap. Whilst this fixes your economy, makes a strong army, and gives you the same bonus that fucking admin does. So it's pointless to go admin as pressure when you have this. You know what I mean? They don't have any special units, Abdullah, sadly. Is aristocratic a must-take first idea? It is, yeah. I 
I still like influence admin as Austria. Maybe. If you're going for a world conquest, sure. Um, go get both. No, it's, I mean, maybe, yeah, you could get admin after, I guess. Early on is not worth getting admin, though, to be fair. Almost not worth it all. Oh, Finland appeared. When the hell did Finland appear? How did, how did Sweden lose against the freaking Danes? Like, what the fuck? They're, they had, like, so much provinces before, didn't they? Yeah, they did. What the fuck happened? They even have Novgorodian provinces. Otto's just casually eating Muscovite lands. Nice, nice. <laughs> New Granada. Ooh. What happened to the old one? Eh? I don't know why I really like Prussian historical borders. It's weird. Maybe the uh, admin has fifth idea or so. Mm, maybe. Such a shame BB didn't get any love this expansion. It got a little bit of love. Like, I cannot complain. Like, the mission revamp was needed and it's a lot better now, right? It actually does give better shit. How did you make your economy grow? Watch this VOD after whenever you have time. You'll see exactly how, Pasha. What is uh, France even doing? I have no freaking clue, bro. But yeah, my economy is growing mainly from trade and from developing provinces, right? Now it's like this because I just converted to Protestant. But once I fully convert all of my provinces to Protestant, we were gaining like 60 ducats or some shit. So I'm losing 60 ducats because of the religious problem because I just converted. So. And I mean, I'm not even min-maxing or anything. This is literally just a chill game, guys. Because I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule on the one hand. And I got to do some stuff today. And after I do these things, I'll sleep in the evening. Because tomorrow morning, I mean, day after, technically. Well, I'm already in the other day. So I guess tomorrow morning. So not today morning. Tomorrow morning. I'm going to the new place and I got to install some stuff and do some work. So I got to stay awake for another 20, 12 hours. No, I got to stay awake for 18 more hours. Yeah. Can Ottoman AI create ELIT? Yes, it can. What is your job? I'm a full-time content creator. You think espionage offensive is a good start for Brandenburg? No, I think it's shit. Unless you're fucking role-playing or just bad at the game, that's fine then. What is the most broken thing this patch? Like, don't get me wrong. I get what you're saying with espionage because of um, cause of the aggressive expansion impact reduction. But, bro, if you really want to get, you know, if you want to expand, aggressive expansion is pointless. You literally just dismantle the HRE early on and that's it. That fixes all your problems. And it's not hard to do also. The rest of this is complete crap. Why would you take a whole idea set for just one idea when the rest is shit? Then offensive, it's not bad, but it there's other stuff better than offensive. And like a lot of the points that people make with offensive, like siege ability and shit. First off, it's really RNG regardless whether you get that shit or not. And second off, you could always just barrage if you're really that desperate for fast sieges. Not saying offensive is not bad it's probably second or third best uh military idea but aristocratic is by far the best would you agree they made pressure worse no i wouldn't say they made it worse i say they they made the other nations really buffed do you see uh merc ideas as any good it's crap so mercenary ideas it offers this right mercenary cost advisor cost not bad that one Mercenary maintenance, military tech cost, war taxes, and um, infantry combat ability is not bad. Mercenary manpower and uh, mercenary units to drill, possible conductary, and mercenary discipline. Overall, almost everything is mercenaries except th these two ideas. Well, three with the military tech also. But here's the thing, right? 
mercenaries you only hire in the early game in the mid to late game you're not going to get mercenaries because regular units are going to be significantly cheaper like if i was to hire now in 1519 mercenaries they would cost so much more let's test so a band of 24,000 costs me 10. And this is the cheap boys, okay? These are the cheap boys. The regular boys would be, look at this, 14,000 ducats for 20,000 units. It cost me seven ducats to pay for 20,000 units. It's literally double the fucking price already. And I'm just at military tech 10. So when I'm at military tech 16, it's going to cost me three times more to have mercenaries than it's going to cost to just have regular units. It's going to be fucking pointless. So mercenary ideas only works in the early game. So you would have to take mercenary ideas as your first idea set. But here's the big boo-boo. If you take it as your first idea set and then you're not going to use mercenaries afterwards, you have to either cancel it and take a new one or just have an idea that literally doesn't fucking help you with shit. Except the infantry combat ability and advisor cost, but that's negated because you're might, most likely going to get pretty stacked up modifiers for that shit anyway. So it's pointless. And then the um, the policies, again, pointless because it mostly affects mercenaries and shit. So it's a pointless idea set. Same goes for court ideas. Court one is very specific for, for certain countries like Ming and actually pretty much only Ming really. Nothing else, really. Doesn't Aristocratic mainly buff Cavalry? Nope. So, Aristocratic does give you combat ability for your Cav, but it gives Def Cost Reduction, Manpower plus 15% as well. And then, Cav Cost also affects the Maintenance, by the way. And also, the Big Boy, Army Tradition DK minus 1% allows you to keep very high army tradition as your countries. Diplomats plus 1 and general cost plus a minus 10%. Huge. Unjustified demands and cost to fabricate claims minus 50%. Again, huge. Ab absolutism and autonomy change. Huge. And leader siege and nobility equilibrium. Again, all of it is fucked. It's like having two idea sets. Because look at these. Most of these give you two modifiers. So you have two, six... 8, 10, 12, 14, oh fuck, they, actually all of them, except the first one, what the fuck bro, 17 ideas from one idea set, Jesus fuck man, I just realized how much they buffed this shit, wow, okay, yeah, point in case, and all of these are shit that you're gonna be using, you know, court ideas are crap, they're very situational and only good for certain countries. Predominantly Ming. And not to mention, aristocratic ideas have some of the best policies. Some of the best combos, as you say there. Yeah, some of the best policies. Look at this. You get Diplomat with uh, Infrastructure, which we just got. Diplomat and... Um, sorry, with Infrastructure, you get Autonomy Change and Governing Capacity. Diplomat, you get from Trade. Sorry, Merchant, you get from Trade. What was I looking at? Diplomatic ideas. Diplomat. Okay, never mind. So yeah, you get merchant and trade power, and you also get the uh, monthly autonomy change and governing capacity. It's really freaking good. Like it's really really good. If you if you mix this shit in, it it boosts your country so much you don't even feel it. Like you don't even need to do nothing passively. It completely just um, boosts up your economy and your manpower and everything. Like I'm making now 700 manpower, and I probably developed like what twice in the whole campaign a couple of times uh, manpower dev i didn't even dev that much simply because of the ideas and shit oh yeah you get 20 uh, manpower with exploration as well yeah if you go exploration ideas you see it um in the middle of the policies there you get national manpower plus 20 percent so this is it used to be plus 33 percent by the way in 1.34 patch they nerfed it in this one um so, like, the English, the meta for them is aristocratic and exploration. So, you can both explore the new world and you got a really strong army and a lot of manpower from the policy. And you also have aristocratic, which makes your army good and stuff. So, it's really good. Should I still take quantity over aristocratic first when playing small nations? No, I still recommend aristocratic. Unless you really just want to have a big army. Yeah, sure. 
I mean, to be fair though, Aristocratic does give you manpower as well. 15% manpower. This one gives you 33% um, now, so it's more. But depending on what policies you go for, you can get more manpower from the policies than you would from quantity. So if you go Aristocratic Exploration, you get more manpower than you, go, than you get from quantity, which is weird because quantity should give you more manpower, right? But no, <laughs> Aristocratic gives you more if you go with Exploration. What is the Eagle thing? It's new. It's uh, for militarization. It's telling you that you can do this. Boom, boom. Hmm. I think I'm going to finish it for today, boys. It's already 8 a.m. I got a few things I want to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I had a lot of fun. And... I'll see you in a few days. I don't know if I'll stream on YouTube. I'll definitely stream on Twitch again. On YouTube, video is coming out, so keep an eye out for that. And that's about it. Really appreciate all the all the support today. You guys have been amazing. I really appreciate you guys chilling with me. A lot of you I see have been here from the beginning of the stream, so thank you guys for that. And yeah, get ready for Domination, boys. It's going to be fun. <laughs>